Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. to be someone else I would and let go of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious fuck it I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Did the lettuce win the race because the tomato couldn't catch up? Doesn't matter where we go and destination or no, I don't care where the motor stops. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Yeah, I want it. Oh, I want it. Let's go. Look around. Where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life. Hit me with it. When I want it, then I want it, yeah, I want it, oh, I want it, let's go. And I won't look back, yeah, I don't care about the bad shit back home. It's Cincinnati, baby, I just wanna let it go. Nothing matters when we're way out here, oh, I, I, oh, I, I, yeah. Baby, I don't have to know your real name. I'm just addicted to the way you take the pain away. Nothing matters when we're way When I want it, then I want it, yeah, I want you uh, Everything stops when you move like that And I wanna get in close to you It's what I'm gonna do, cause right now I'm in it I feel kinda dizzy when I'm staring at you And I won't go back, yeah I don't care about the bad shit back home It's Cincinnati, baby, I just wanna let it go Nothing matters when we're 
Chato, it's Tuesday. Coming up today on Building a Nation with MTK, the Champions League returns with our second leg against Dortmund. After a narrow defeat in Germany, we take them back home to give their bodies a big old German spanking. In other news, we have the youth intake. Hopefully, Emmett can deliver us an absolute dreamboat of youth players. We'll promise 4.5 stars. Will we get dog shit? Will we get something special? All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Budapest. Fuck! With Butterpest chat. You've heard of Butterdog, and now you've heard of Butterpest. Oh, damn it. I got too cocky. You're right. I literally got too cocky. <laughs> I was like, this is going remarkably well. I was like, our hands in the air. We've got this. And then, nope. <clears throat> Butterpest. I'm just hanging up here. I literally, I was, I was Ross Barkley that time when he missed that open goal. That, that was me right there. Oh. And similar to how, um, oh god, who was it that was celebrating with the, the Arsenal's fourth goal at the weekend as well? Was that Vieira or was that Martinelli? Either way, same kind of thing. No dancing. I can't dance. You can't celebrate when you can't celebrate failure, right? You can't dance while failure is still happening. <laughs> Comparing yourself to Ross Park is incredibly humble. For him, call an ambulance chat, but not for me. Oh dear. It's oh, was it both? Oh really? No, I was thinking of the. Mm. As soon as he played the pass. Oh, did he really? I didn't see that. All I saw was um, Martinelli put his arms in the air. Then went, hang on a minute. I probably should take another touch, which is really, really good. <laughs> I did all the... Literally, that was the equivalent of me picking up the ball in my own half, taking it around like two or three offenders, going wide, then like chopping back inside, preparing to bend one in the top corner, but then faking the shot, sitting the defender down, going around the goalkeeper, and then slicing it wide. That was basically what I just did there. <laughs> so that's all fun. Hey, Mike. Uh, no, we have not won Europe yet, but weirdly, we have won Asia. Um, don't ask me how. Probably colonialism. Strange, but there you go. We we've uh, we've reversed Genghis Khan. We're I, I don't know where I'm going with this. He was oh no Genghis Khan. I'm thinking of Attila the Hun. Regardless, we, we're Attila the Hungry. Jiminy, thank you very much for the three months. Oh, this is a long one. You were talking about ADHD a while back, and I was like, I didn't know it was like that. That sounds like me. Shit. Anyway, two days of hyper-focused research later I'm booked in for an assessment appointment, which is coming up this Thursday. So, I wanted to say thanks for being so open about it, because it might have changed my life. Much love. That's fucking awesome. Uh, obviously, you know, having any kind of medical condition is not good, but being diagnosed and actually potentially being able to be treated for it can change your life potentially you know from what i've heard from people um i'm sorting out the final few details of some stuff i've got to get in order before i get in touch with the private clinic but i'm probably going to have that in order by tomorrow so that's going to be sick so i should be able to do that as well uh, moxie thank you for the follow during the intro as well and tim thank you for the three months I, oh sorry four months i do really really do appreciate that what a wholesome start i know it's been too much wholesomeness lately I don't know I, youtube comments have been em embarrassingly hope i almost said homeless embarrassingly wholesome on the last video like to the point where i'm like I'll just oh, feel, having like a couple of minutes of like self doubt. I'll just go check them and be like, right, we're back. It's great. Oh, 10k in Alicante, nice. 202. That's plus you got to go to Alicante. I mean, like that's the dream, right? Well, it's a dream. Oh, I'm probably going to sign up for the Northampton 10k. That's my plan. Well, who's me? Thank you for the 17 months, friendo. 
Oh, hello, Matto. To change that Another cannibal. month gone by. You can't bring I me down. I think I'm going to stay. I mean, it's up to you. You might change your mind, right? Oh, thank you, Paul. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely do. There's no way I wouldn't. Honestly, when it got like, when it was in at like number four, I was like, solid. That's good. People want to see it more. But then yesterday morning, I woke up and it got picked up by the YouTube algorithm. So now I'm very much doing it because it's gone up to number two and it's got like 20,000 views. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and the comments seem to follow the similar path. I know there's a couple of things I can do better on the next one, but that stuff I'd already decided before I'd even decided to do, before I'd even got to the comments, frankly. Um, plus I've got several different variations planned as well, which I think is going to be really, really fun. Yeah, so I'm going to do the, the, hopefully sign up for the Northampton 10K. It starts at six fields and actually ends at six fields too. And that's in May. So that will give me enough time to get a little bit back into it, then do a 10K training plan. I should be good. Um, Plus, as of today, speaking of that, I'm now officially down one stone, which for you Europeans uh, is 14 pounds. Don't ask me in kg. It's probably like four or something. I don't know. Editor Matt, he comes in. The problem is I spot things when I'm editing that I don't notice when I'm recording. Obviously, it's like stream of like seven kilograms. Is it really? Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah. So I'm down about seven kilos this year. Then Christ, not a bike. I did not realize it was as much as that. I'll take that. Next stop, Gas Boys. Maybe. I could. I wore my Fulham shirt that Pog got me for Christmas for the first time this weekend. Uh, so I'd like to apologise for Brighton as it clearly brought them some fucking good luck. It's the first time I was able to get into it. Uh, I love it. I'm going to start using like other measurements. Um, I'm going to be measuring myself in shillings. We'll, we'll take it. Yeah, I'm down from 14.1 to... Oh, sorry, from 15-1 to 14-1 since the start of the year. So, which you could sort of see, especially around my face, I think. Rest of me is still a bit frumpy, but I think it shows around my face when I have a shave, which I'll take. You know, I will take. Don't you mean the US? Oh, I didn't mean anything, Mike. <laughs> I never mean anything. All these marbles. I'm losing some of them. Apparently, I've lost six and a half kilograms of marbles, which is a lot of marbles. This Brazilian costs 200 guineas. Oh... Thank you, Disky Rick. That's very kind. Um, and big up anyone else who's doing this. It wasn't really a New Year's resolution. It just happened to be there. I just kind of got sick of being fat, honestly, and just started trying to take care of myself a bit more, you know, self-love, but in a good way, not in a wanky way, <laughs> which is why the running will then come next as well. Hibos with a, with a bloody channel VIP. Yeah, I, I know it's used in the States as well, Mike, but we're like, we use stones more than specifically pounds here. Uh, it's mostly just... um. Yeah, it's mostly stones. But we still use pounds, but it's like stones and pounds. It's, yeah, bizarre. I grant you. To the point where the scale kind of goes, Matt, are you sure? Oh, I nearly wrote hungry, hungry, ha hungry, hungry hobos. <laughs> God damn, I can't type. Curse you lot in your long Twitch names. Hippos, help me out here. I need to see. <clears throat> Lose it happens. Yep, that's what I'm using. Lose it is brilliant. It's so damn good. Would highly recommend. It does everything that my fitness pal does, except you don't have to pay for it. Um... Lost weight all the way. Exactly, yeah. It's just been like a steady decline without anything major. Bear in mind, I haven't even changed my diet that much. I've just changed some quantities of stuff a little bit and stopped eating as much bread. Like, literally those two factors. I still have a massive dutty pizza at the weekend and it's all good, you know? It's kind of mad. That's a lot of self -love. I know, just think... Because when you think about seven kilos of anything, that's quite a lot, but then you don't notice it on yourself, right? 20 to 12. Hell, my friend did the exactly same thing, Bill. Um... And he kept off for a long time. Not that he's like fat now or anything. He's just like a slightly bit. That's usually what happens, right? You lose a load of weight. And then if you keep it off, you tend to gain a little bit back. But then you kind of just find this equilibrium, I feel like. Ragnar with the 17 GGs. months. For this month anniversary, I oh, will sing Lord. you a song that was one of my fav songs when I was a child. Here he goes. That the rigning og mor karog main lead skugga ar myrtle sandy og vergi skjolath fath that the verge of fin bilath ev gar candy og vergi hook the name steth ar ar siow eyes cold you licky eyes cold you licky eyes cold you licky og gotta lick your eyes chat keep up the okay work to quote Aerosmith and then I then I licked your eyes and thank god we're together also uh, Russell sounded an awful lot like when you're asked to read a passage from the textbook in class ice cold you licky Keep up the okay work. I love it. Icelandic solid insult. Yeah, you love to see it. Oh god. Um. So basically, nothing's happened between here. Like last stream, we did Dortmund to finish things off. I played Malfa Havar midweek. We beat them uh, four 0 Apparently, Stanislav's name is actually pronounced Suhi. Um. So when he plays well, he'll be Suhi. When he's bad, he'll be Saki. Well, uh, uh, lose it. It's got like an orange scale icon as the one on Android. I, don't know if you, I assume it's on iOS as well. I rise. Richard of the Lazy Town K Sock. <laughs> We've actually got a lot of shit today. We've got Champions League. We've got 
youth intake, we've got FM Christmas. There's still other Hungarian sides in Europe, bear in mind. We've got four sides left. No, three? I can't remember. Let's find out. Molfe Havara there. They're playing Celtic, so they're bunged. Bunged? Uh, Ui Pest are playing Applewell. And then Ferenc Farage got through as well, didn't they? Because they're playing wrong. Yeah. So we've actually still got four Hungarian sides left in Europe. It's February. Look at us go. Fitbit graph. Oh, mate, those graphs were so good, right? Um, I used to use a Fitbit. Before before I actually started running, I just had a Fitbit to track some like exercise stuff on the exercise bike. Obviously, when I started running, running, Fitbits were useless for that kind of stuff. So I got the uh, my Garmin watch that I haven't turned on in about two months. But <laughs> needless to say, I'll get that back on in a couple of weeks. Oh, That's the other thing. It was to couch to 5k. If you're looking to... Like, obviously, losing weight is great and you don't have to do exercise to do that. Um, and you need to find that exercise that works for you. But... Which side fail? Oh, that was Kishvada. They only got six points, sadly. Country and FIFA rankings? Uh, no idea. Haven't really thought about it. Uh, South Uganda. Long way around. Uh, country is 57th. They've actually dropped off quite a lot over the last few years. Um, it's about finding the exercise that works for you, right? But Couch to 5K, if you do want to start doing any running, running will be really good for your mental health more than anything else. <clears throat> Starts trying to lose weight, matter logic. Yeah, well, it's because this is really only useful for... Honestly, the main reason is because what Pog bought me a really nice watch for Christmas, and I wanted to wear that instead of this. So I'll just wear this when I want to go for a run now. <laughs> it dropped off the moment they started calling up him and Petra, so... <clears throat> but Couch 5K is brilliant. Pog did it. Uh, my mum did Couch 5K as well. It's just really, really good. A friend of mine who was like an elite... <clears throat> an elite runner... Like, I say elite runner. She's not an elite runner. She's just an extremely fast runner. Particularly given her height. Um, when she had a kid, she used um, going to a country's first. No, that's nothing. This tape has nothing to do with the national team. Uh, we're trying to build the league, not the national team. 5K to couch. That's the dream, isn't it? It's when you walk home from the shop with a big bag of sweets. It's really far. Friends with Mo Farah. That's right. Mo Rachel Farah. That's the one. But yeah, she actually went straight back to 5 She did couch 5K. Um, after she had a daughter, I think it's a daughter. And because she lost so much fitness just in that period, but she was, was even for someone who's an elite-ish runner, to the point where she has like endorsements, that kind of level. She's not like a professional or anything. She's just a very, very skilled amateur. But has like quite a massive Instagram and like um, a lot of, like she has like sponsors and endorsements, that kind of shit, you know? Basically like a running influencer, I suppose. <clears throat> Never heard before. It's amazing. It's so good. Particularly if you can get loads of different versions with different, um... <laughs> Mo Rachel Farrow, down like that! <laughs> oh, dear. No, I would highly recommend it. I actually never did it, but I wish I did. Because I fucked my uh, shins up when I first started running in like, 2019. I gave myself shin splints because I went, Oh, this is... Like, I hated it at first, and then I liked it, but I liked it too much. And it meant that I overdid it in the first couple of weeks, and I fucked my knees up because I wasn't sure... I didn't know how to land properly. So my stride was all messed up. So I was, I was heel striking, and of course, he puts a lot of um, stuff up your... Yeah. So fast. <sighs> yep. Yes, I am. Um, unfortunately, I I'm going to react differently to last time. It's just how I speak. I do apologize. Actually, no, I don't. You know, uh, it's just the way I speak, unfortunately. I realize for maybe a non-native English speaker, it's quite difficult to understand sometimes. I sorry, but it's the way I speak, you know. I can't help it. Hey, you never know. If I do get medicated, it might slow my speech down. Look at that chat. <clears throat> I resisted the temptation to say listen faster this time. I'm I'm I didn't want to put another uh, a pound in the you're being a dick jar. So <laughs> Couch five kids before Christmas got into it, end up doing five nine Yet yeah, castra exactly. Weirdly, I've not been injured since then. Remarkably. Speak softer. Oh, I'll do it. <clears throat> That's true. It, if I if I spoke slower, we'd have an eight hour stream. You you'd hate it. Found the missing badge. Wait, which missing badge? I'm curious now. Also, I love that stuff you showed us last stream, Saz, about this skin update. Because, like, I listen to my... Oh, you mean Cali voice. We'll do a bit of Cali over the Champions League music here. As Dortmund come out, the referee's grabbed the ball. He's looking sensual in his black shorts. Look at him hold that ball. I wish he would caress my balls. What a view we've got here from the gantry. We can only comment on this half of the pitch. Ah. Artist badge. Oh, yeah, it does show. That's weird. I wonder why it went away. It's looking at... Was he Italian again? Or was he? Willie... Oh, it's Willie Collum! Big old Willie Collum. Finally. It's about damn time. Right. I think... Well, this is the thing, Thomas. Like, I listen to podcasts on anything from 1.5 to 2 speed. 
And I've been speeding it up lately because I was just finding it irritatingly slow. Pereira's into the box. Can he find Josef Ehring? Pull it back. Yes. Oh, I'm concerned that this is going to be one of the... No, it's, it's the first chance of the game, Matt. Don't start with that nonsense. It's just a miss. Misses happen. Look at me go. Positivity. We got this. We're creating chances. We look good on the ball. We've had a huge chance, which wasn't that weirdly. I don't think. Mm, okay. Possession starting to trail back again. We've had some like... Hmm. Possibly. Our OPVDA is opposition passes per defensive action. So to like to layman it, it's basically how quickly you win the ball back. As in, how many passes the opposite? Wow. Okay, that started well and got real, real bad. This is not even as edit all the time. True. Yeah, unfortunately, because of my um speed of my PC and whatnot with the scrubbing, I have to edit my videos at normal speed. <laughs> Which is irritating, believe me. Although, admittedly, sometimes I still feel like I'm talking too fast even then. Once a week. That's not bad. When I get back into it, I'll be doing three days a week again. Probably Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Because I'll be able to do Park Run again now. Since I don't stream on Saturdays now. Uh, let's get Malero in for a... Wait, it's half time. You know what? Actually, to be fair, Silver was doing so poorly that I think I'd rather have Malero on. I criticised him a load at the start of the season. But he's actually got one of our better assists uh, records of the year. So, to be fair to him, I should I take that back a little bit. Oh, still PC can handle. It's not so much that. It's just that um, when I'm rec when I'm listening to it back, I'm like, oh, you said that real fast. Sometimes I'll get into like a flow state when I'm speaking a long paragraph where I don't stumble over the words and I can speak it quite quickly to the point where if, if something doesn't stop me and slow me down, like having to think about something, my brain will just get faster and faster. It's almost like every time I start speaking, it's like you're dropping a ball down a hill. And unless something gets in the way, like a it just speeds up and up and up and up and up and up until eventually it crushes a small village. <laughs> I.e. your brain. Did I say paragraph? <laughs> paragraph? Sorry, I just turned into Jonathan Watts for a second. Yeah, that's what it is. The camera's just scared. It's like, bruv, take a beat. Uh, I'm going to just turn on, uh, turn off Workable of the Box and we're going to go be more expressive. We've been the better side, but since when does that matter? We haven't actually created much today. And airing has been pouring. It might also be Suhi. Soon. Literally, Bill. If we get to 65 minutes and he's still looking poor. Oh, no. Watch Dortmund score their first chance of the match. Or maybe a counter-attack from us. Yes, go on, Malero. Come on, where's that ball? That's the ball. Uh, it's a ball. Go on, push up. Oh, dear. I was hoping we would kind of get that. Mm. I don't want to go out in a, like a... Because we were good in the first leg, and I think we are unlucky to lose 2-1. Oh, go on. Yes, Pereira. Slip him in. Come on, Henrique. Oh, no. Oh, and he's still got it. Right, come on. We need to build up to a good bit of play here. FM stuttering like mad now for some reason. Abdul Nabi. Malera's in. Malera! So if the bag yes! vanished now, it's probably because Sounds it needs to months. be removed and re-added when I sub. Here, take my money. Test ah, is over. It's there. I can see it as we take the lead against Dortmund. And would you believe it? It's substitute Alberto Malera. Thank you very much for the two for the 14 months at tier two. What an assist from Abdul Nabi. Great first touch. Wonderful finish from Malera. We're level. What year? This is uh, season seven. So 2029. Uh, February 2029. Come on. Glorious. Right. Now... We've got the momentum. It's two all. We're in the ascendancy. Time for Malero to... Oh, it's a red card. Christensen's going to get sent off for pushing over Brahim Diaz. Right, now we've got 25 minutes. Chat. We might be on for a quarter final here, potentially. <laughs> Slip of it. Hit it. Watch us lose on pens. Okay, so what system have they moved to? So they've got rid of their AM. Gone for two DMs. I honestly wonder if pushing one of our guys into the center of midfield might not be the worst idea to get a further forward option. Or maybe change... Hmm. Play after Dortmund? Uh, we don't know, because this is the knockouts. It is not quarterfinal. Wait, what? Oh, you're right. It's not, is it? Because it's the... Yeah, for I forgot we didn't get top eight. I forgot there's the extra round. But either way, lots of extra money if we were to get through, because we'd get the double money. Abdul Nabi. It's a big tackle on him. And oh, big tackle from Yoshi. He slipped it through again! Is that offside, though? That is the question. Jack, Kalen, or Jacqueline, thank you very much for the three Happy months. three months, Matto. Thank you, friend. That's very kind of you. Hopefully, that's good omen. When Saz subbed, we got... Ah, oh, it's offside. Damn it. I was hoping that the sub would bring the goal like the previous one did. Yeah, you're right. This is the playoff, isn't it? Um, okay. <clears throat> obviously, there is an element of, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, obviously. But we're still not looking amazing at the moment. We haven't made one sub, actually, to be fair. So I think my first sub is going to be to get Suhi on. I just wonder if pushing Nakanishi up here 
We still need another go to progress. Yeah, at the moment, we're going to extra time. I just want a little bit more... No away goals, no. Move for looking tight. Yeah. Ralph? Maybe Ralph, actually. This could be the first... Imagine if Ralph is the hero. Diaz has been a bit poor. This could be a, a time for Navarro. Yukubu's flair. Good point, actually. Fuck it, yeah. With... Let's do it. I do want to just shove him up a little bit further, though. Because Ralph is actually competent in that role anyway. That's where he'd prefer to play. So having him a little bit further up might just give us an extra body in some of the attacking areas. Push him back a bit more. Seth, thank you for the seven months. How are you, my friend? Oh, God. Obviously, there's every chance we could get caught out at the same time. Which is what hopefully isn't going to happen here. Good save. Oh, okay. It's well placed. But I think we're going to have to require that extra... 30 minutes here. It's annoying because I feel like we've been the better side over the legs. Like, the first game was pretty even and the fact we lost it is disappointing. Today, I think we've again edged it. Are they time-wasting? Come on, Joao. Yes, come on, buddy. I think this is going to be end of highlight, though. Or maybe? Maybe not. Okay. Maybe not. I just want Ralph pushing a little bit further forward than what Nakanishi was. In that exact area. Ah, okay. But now, look, he's, this is what I mean. He'd have been sat like here before, whereas now he's going to be a slightly more advanced passing option and maybe even a, an attacking option getting into the box. Abdul Nabi's throw, he's going to shoot, isn't he? Oh, why is he shooting there? There's four players in the box with you, bud. Hey, Otto, how's it going? Welcome back, friend. Okay, so we've got a lot of yellow cards today, haven't we? But then they've got a red, so that's what matters. I like what we're doing. He just lacked the bang. Uh, ooh. It's a tough one here because, yeah, I think I'm just going to use my personal talks with the players to try and G them up rather than the main one. As long as we can get most people on green. Okay, Sushi's look nervous. Oh, great. Bex, nice. Worth saying again. Coefficient points, well, that will actually help you when you do get to the Champions League because you'll have slightly, um, you'll have a better coefficient, which means you should, in theory, get a better draw. By the way, FC Copenhagen beating, uh, well, it looks like they've beaten Nice, actually. Right. I don't want us to go to pens, but I'm concerned that it might. I think we're well placed. I think we've kind of done what we can. I think we've made the right changes. I think the substitutes are the ones we wanted to make. We've got some fresh legs in the right areas. It's just kind of up to fate now to see what happens. But yeah, look at the extra space in the midfield. Unknowingly, it's Velazquez that's the one finding the space and not Ralph. But, oh, Malera. Imagine if you could find another great pass. He, that was really weird. They sort of crossed over instead of trying to play the correct pass. Nice, here we go. Right, now find Ralph. Yes, this is what I want. Malero, here it comes. Why is FM being so weird? That's because Champions League, isn't it? Abdul Nabi has... Surely that's not a foul. Frankie Moore Gore, thank you very much for the two months. Every time someone subs, it happens. Doesn't mean it's a good thing. We've had a goal and a no goal, but we might be about to get a penalty. That looked really soft to me. Okay. To me, that was soft as fuck. But it is a... Ch Who's taking it? Because Eric's not on the pitch and Jarju's not on the pitch. It's Alberto Malero. Oh, <laughs> hero of the hour. MTK2, Dortmund nil. you love to see it. What? I mean, I'm glad we made the substitution of him at halftime because he's provided both goals. Literally, since I criticized him two streams ago, he's been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's because it's the Champions League, isn't it? It's weird though, isn't it? He really has turned this game around. We've deserved this. We've been the better side. Um, Now, we just have to get through this. Maybe one more. You never know. Some one of the defenders. I don't think we can. I think we've already used five subs, haven't we? No? Yeah, we've already used all our subs. I wanted to freshen up that midfield because I knew that's where the running was going to be done against their 10 men. So I wanted to make sure that we were as strong as possible there. <gasps> oh, good effort from Ralph. But you're right. They are a bit knackered. In fact, what I'm going to do is lower the... Uh, I don't think you get... A, do you get a sixth sub in extra time? If you do, then... Oh, my God, they're dead, aren't they? Right, who's on the bench? Uh, we've got Flavian Moores. I think it's going to have to be Flavian. We had to substitute one of them. Yeah, I didn't realise you got uh, got stuck in on. Yeah, we do. But it's the only way we can win the ball in this match engine a lot of the time. I just wanted to slow the pace down a little bit. Try and rest in possession. Just try and suck them out. And just keep hold of the ball for a little bit. I find sometimes you actually end up scoring a lot of late goals when you're on time-wasting. I think it's because your team just sort of plays the ball around and eventually chances just emerge. Like this one for Yakubu Yaboa, who's drilled it wide. Oh. We've turned it on since the 10 men. Come on. 
Hell yes. MTK2, Borussia Dortmund nil. We've knocked Dortmund out of the Champions League. Malero with the brace. He was fantastic. XG of 1.49. Half of our, like, scoring was just him in terms of his quality there. How did he only... I suppose it was only a penalty, wasn't it, still? Uh, Ralph looked pretty good when he came on, honestly. I think moving him into the midfield worked because he was just getting in those slightly more advanced positions based on their tactic. I don't think it would have made much difference, but, you know, it looks like I did a thing, chat. So I'm going to take that. Oh, huge result. I mean, who we get in the next round is kind of irrelevant at this point, right? It's just a case of... So, yeah, FC Copenhagen win on penalties in the end. But they are through. But we could get FC Copenhagen. Oh no, could we? Aren't we guaranteed to play one of the sides from the top eight? In real life, you'd expect it to be that. But this is this year's FM. So for all we know, it's completely random, right? Uh, no, we've got actually three other sides in Europe, Casper. Uh, we've got Ferenc Varus playing tomorrow. And in fact, I'll show you. When are they playing? Is it 22nd? Oh no, they're not playing until... Wow, okay. So yeah, their next game's aren't until the 1st of March. But yes, they are still there. And what about the Conference League? Yes, they've got a little while yet, but they'll get their games in a week or so. Oh, did we end up playing Kishvada? That would be incredible. <laughs> Eight million pounds as well. And remember, uh, what is the skin? The skin is Saz23, exclamation mark skin in chat, and you will get yourself a download link. See you later, Bill. Have a good day. So yeah, one of the things about us going through this round is that we've now guaranteed ourselves another eight million pounds, whereas if we just straight qualified, we'd have got less money. So that helps out the finances a little bit. Back up to 53 million again. We'll get another 8 million when we lose probably in the next round. It's great. Aaron, thank you for the follow. Malero was an absolute boss. Absolute boss. And the gate receipts. Yeah, I can't imagine they're particularly... I mean, they're probably decent, but... Uh, it's a shame we can't really see. 144 grand. It might not show up yet. You'd expect it to be more than... Then again, our stadium's not very big, is it? At the moment. But don't worry. Because the new stadium is sort of maybe coming. We don't know. It's what we're up to. St they're still searching for a site. They've got a planned capacity of 17,000 nearly. And you think they would have like maybe found a site first before they decided how big it's going to be. Just, just an idea. Okay, we're through. Uh, oh, that was us. That was us signing. It's a good number. I just wish it was 16669. They've missed an opportunity there, haven't they? They really have. Cause a knockout shock. Really? Is it a shock though? Like we finished above Dortmund in the group. So, you know, suck it. Biggest achievement in MTK. It might well be, honestly, Aaron. The thing we just did, which is just knocking Dortmund out of the Champions League, to be fair. Or it's either... I don't know. Chat, what are your thoughts? Either it's us knocking Dortmund out of the Champions League in the playoff round there from coming 11th. Or it's last year where we actually came sixth in the group, then got bashed by PSG, unfortunately. Carl Ando, thank you for the follow. For the matter, it really is. Um, someone was... I think it was in the general channel chat. Disappeared. I don't know, Michael. I couldn't possibly tell you. I had a good TDS man. Have you tried refreshing? Sometimes it flashes on and off. I've had this happen to me before as well with uh, streamers I'm subbed to. Mainly Mike. <laughs> but the problem with reputation is that it doesn't really, it doesn't have any entropy to it. It only ever seems to go up, which means that you have to sort of catch up with clubs who are also extending their reputations, but they never seem to drop all that much. Like you'll see clubs go down in reputation, but it's usually just because other clubs have overtaken them and not the other way around. It's certainly with leagues as well. Uh, Silver's going to be suspended. And honestly, I'm not even fussed by that because has entry but only in LLM saves. Yeah, I haven't touched LLM for such a long time. Just ain't my vibe anymore, chat. So we're going to plummet to the minute. Really? Oh, damn. That just sounds like an insanely buggy bug, to be honest. But then, welcome to life, I suppose. Uh, Montiel. Like, he's fucking insane. I probably want to start working towards maybe a new contract for him relatively soon given that he is just filth. He's probably... I'm not about, actually, I'm not sure. Thoughts about that. I think Montiel could have gotten that Treaty United side. He's that good. Like, this, these attributes here. Uh, this, we're into Season 7, Carlando. So, yeah, sort of halfway through Season 7. Future cap, nah, he's already got his future caps. Um, He's got 14 caps currently. Oh, yeah, we're about to draw PSG. I mean, who could we actually get? Is this 16 teams we're going to... It doesn't say anything about seeded. Oh, no, we haven't been seeded. So that means... Yeah, we kind of figured. So let's go to... Um, overview. Okay, so... Teams we can play. I mean... It's just English sides. Spanish sides. And PSG. In it. I'd like Spurs. Japanese clubs. 
Uh, I'm not sure, Asha. It might be because of the licensing thing. Right, let's uh, set the speed to three. Start the draw. Yeah, also the seeded and unseeded is wrong. Spurs? I think the Spurs probably aren't beatable, are they? That's the thing. All right, here we get. <laughs> okay, well, it's been fun. Uh, hopefully our other compatriots fare better. Atletico gets Spurs. That's a really tough draw, actually, for both of them. FC, I wonder who they get. Liverpool. Yeah, they're left. That's kind of weird that they don't have... I assume it's to do with the licensing stuff, right? We've got a support profile. We always... We, we do get it, but you never see it now because it always happens off stream because it happens just after the season finishes, but we never quite get enough to finish the season. Like, for example, today, the plan is going to be to finish the season off, but you'll never see the end of the season anymore because like, I always have to finish it off stream. Uh, the Belgians, I believe, only have Anderlecht left, but they're playing against Everton in the Europa League. So we should be okay. Uh, obviously, we're screwed here. But as far as I'm aware, particularly as we just got some more points too. 14.1. Yeah, at the moment, we, look, we've got 1.1 points on them now. And I think the only team they have left, as far as I'm aware, only two... Yeah, we're still miles away from the Dutch, but it doesn't matter because look at the next few seasons. We gain four points on them next year without even doing anything. Uh, and then another four points the next year without doing anything. Look at that year. That's nearly nine points. The Dutch are done. We we'll get the Dutch in the next couple of seasons and get seventh. And then it's just a question of building up to fifth and sixth, which is the real tough ones. Interesting that Italy have gone second. Usually it's England, then Spain. And yeah. European titles. Oh, God, no. We're only seven seasons in, remember? And we did start in the second division. Hey, Kaka. How the Dortmunds went? Yeah, we actually won 2-0. Uh, Malero came off the bench, scored a brilliant finish. Then we got a penalty, and he scored the penalty as well. Shit in the pants. Oh, no, we're, we're doing... The other teams are doing great. We've got uh, two sides in the Conference League, round of 16, which doesn't play until next week. And then we've got Ferenc Varosh in. We could get 15 points. If one of them goes through, I think there's a real chance of 15 points. Oh, I already, we obviously had a, a mid-week game there, too. Uh, right, let's get some of this stuff sorted. I was doing some tactics tests with this tactic because I'm making a video about the tactic and I wanted to choose different teams across like different types of save if you like to show how it could work with and um, I did a test with Wrexham oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh it absolutely was me I sent you another one today just to clarify a couple of bits because I'm going to try and ring them tomorrow but I want to sort of get my ducks in a row first because I'm insanely neurotic apparently <laughs> sick of treaty that's insane uh, right Hello. Oh, it's only reasonable at the moment, but... Ah, it's because Mexican's really expensive. Oh, wow. This is just a full scout report that only has 19 and under in it. Nice. All right, let's see. Most of these guys can go around again. Lots of free Brazilians in here, though. Note. This is the key thing. Fun nation to try your mm, Belgian filter. Um, chat, what, what other nations do we have a lot of success with the Belgian filter? Croatia can often produce some quality. France and Spain, honestly. You can find some really good players in the amateur French leagues. Netherlands, yes, Netherlands too. And Costa Rica. Sounds strange, Costa Rica. We signed maybe four guys out of Costa Rica. Because they have, uh, some of them were actually close to their national team. Uh, League database, yes, uh, exclamation mark database, Toby. It'll take you to the database video with the download links and everything. Uh, so, Djordjevic. Good physicals. Mentals are a bit meh, but he's only 18. Crossing's good. Good consistency. Probably would be a bit expensive. It's going good, Rick. We just knocked Dortmund out of the Champions League. Which is very good. Yeah, I'd say, Sp I'd say France is better than Spain. There you go. Mikey, thank you for the 34 months. Bit of, bit of Don't Mike? stop. Button Never broken. give up. My Hold your broken. head high and reach the top. No, Let broken. the world see is. what you have got. Bring it all back to you. Bring it all back now. Bring it all back now. An early lunch. Two, two bacon sausage, egg and cheese bat. Oh my god, Millie. That sounds amazing. <laughs> sounds goddamn amazing. Any ideas? Do you know what, Quimby? I, I think what I'm going to do when people want save recommendations now is recommend per chance because that seems to have got some people some really cool saves. So I would say either maybe check the Make This Your Next Save part of the Discord or maybe check out per chance if someone's got the link again. We need like a per chance um, command, really, don't we? Really cheap for Andalek. Interesting. He's actually a guy they poached from uh, Vasa Beveren. High injury proneness, low determination. Not for me. Pile on the shillings. 
Uh, there's Sebastian Cardon. Centre-back with no jumping reach. Yeah, he's he's just one of those players that's like, I guess you're a DM. <laughs> and yeah, he's, he's way... And he's 17. For me, he's not... Oh, there you go. It's the thing that um, Beige just put in chat. Basically, it generates FM save ideas randomly, which I think is pretty sick. Obviously, you don't have to follow everything it says, but it's I think it's pretty cool. Let's have a look at this guy. I'm just curious about money. I mean, he would be cheap in terms of him himself, but I feel like they'd want loads of money. If they'd let me have him for like 100k or so. Five hundred twenty-five. I feel like five two five is too much for him. He just. I think we could find better for cheaper. I'm just not overly convinced by him, particularly with not the amazing left foot either. He's more of a winger than an inside forward. For what? Obviously, the other clubs could use him, but I just don't know. I think we could find better cheaper than him. Cool. YouTube for some reason recommended me a video of Bangles Live. It's one of those people that's aged incredibly well. I, I hope to one day do that. But obviously, it could be weird. Be weird if I did it now. Although someone did say I looked young the other day, so I'll take that. Not the amazing left foot. Mm. Wait, is, th is this a joke about Mike? Or is this just another streamer that's actually called that? Because I've seen some strange things with FM added to the end lately. Plays 50 games. I guess, but I still think 300... If I'd have gotten for like 200, I'd have probably been okay with it. But, oh, wow. It's only three days to Real Madrid. Shit in Christ. They don't, they don't fuck around, do they? Uh, I'm going to manually change a lot of these players then. I'm going to start Suchi. I'm going to start Yaboa. I'm going to start Silva because I actually want to start Malera for the second game. Uh, stop second game. I want to start um, him for the next leg. I think he's earned it. Uh, I want Effie. Velasquez has settled in really nicely. Ari... I'll put Terra Nova in. I still can't go over that. This is a great name. Flavin Moores. Maybe Dala. Monty, I might have to play, actually. Yeah, I can't remember who they were. One was Ndai, wasn't it, actually? So Ndai was one. Uh, Silver was another, so that's fine. And there was one other. I think it was Montiel. So him playing here actually isn't the end of the world. It just means it'll be more Moores and Alvarado. I think it was those three, anyway. It depends on what you consider a cool club, I suppose. Like, it depends on which nation. Uh, oh, of course, we've got Petrus up front and Wretch. And a guy called Mathias Sales. I like that. Nine goals for Petrus, though, this year, despite them... We should absolutely hammer these guys, bear in mind. There should be, should be no doubt about that. Oh, Jarju's banned for this match. Cheeky. Hiding out on the bench. That's why I like doing um, team selection advice, because it at least removes, like, suspended players from your team. <laughs> hey, Boynstein. Oh, thank you, Alano. Yes, I'm very much looking forward to making some more of them. I cannot believe how well that video did. Genuinely. Um, it made me feel so good that it was a risk just because I was like, I have no idea how people are going to receive this, but people have still received it very well, which is nice. I also put a lot of work into the thumbnail. And it's the first one, I think it might be the first time in ages that I've not actually been in the thumbnail. Maybe I need to be in it less. I think it's one we've seen before. I think I might have done Millie. Let me just have a little look. Because I have done one online. Yep. Yep. I did that exact quiz. I think I got like 17 out of 20 or something on it. If I recall, the only stuff that I was a little bit low on was things like... I tend not to forget appointments and stuff. But that's only because I have like... I guess coping mechanisms. I like set loads of reminders and reminders and reminders to try to... I have reminders for reminders. <laughs> oh, thank you, DMC. Using custom views to judge. Hmm, interesting. I've just kind of... I, the main reason I use team selection advice often is because it will usually deal with any issues like suspended and injured players like that. Especially when you have it set to unavailable players being hidden like I do, which means that you just don't see them there. Over four is... <laughs> maybe it wasn't 17. It, maybe it wasn't as high as 17. It was, it was... If I recall, it was well, well high though. Especially on things like focus, concentration and stuff like that. Uh, extremely well, Disky Rick. I think it's got like 20,000 views now. Because um, the YouTube algorithm picked it up yesterday morning and kind of hasn't let go since, which is really nice. So it means mostly it's been like new viewers for the last couple of days too. And they've been clearly 
in theory, enjoying it. Um, based on the, what, based on the trends I've noticed from the comments, the suits you. Looked up, it's actually Thursday. Yeah, Jimmy, this is the thing. I think this is why people have struggled to get diagnosis because of stuff like this. Um, you might notice that I had my appointment with my GP about this in late January. And yet here I am, still having not got a private clinic one. Because again, <laughs> I keep putting it off and not doing it. <laughs> it's Navarro. Oh. oh, this isn't where I park my car. Uh, ooh, uh, Zeruan. Thank you very much for the follow. It's real estate. Yeah, it's uh, chat. I'm a little bit concerned about the player that's currently got the ball. Remind me to save the game after this, just in case. Uh, I am not sitting here for six hours again, not in a billion years. Well, that's one of the ways I can justify the private going private with it is because um, I feel like it'll earn me back a lot of productivity that will allow me to make better content. Although what I would say is yesterday I was fucking on it. I in a in a bad way, honestly. Oh, I did that too, Jiminy. The only reason I got that original appointment was because I gave my phone to Pog and said, "Hey, get me an appointment," because <laughs> I would literally not have done it otherwise. <laughs> oh, now yesterday was super focused because I was just riding off the back of things going so well on the video. I wanted to get start to work on like obviously I had to do some prep for the recap for uh, Thursday. But I also was working on the tactics video. I started, I've done a simulation for the next career resurrection as well. I found some really interesting players. There's one player that I wouldn't have expected to require a career resurrection after four seasons, but I think he might be the poster boy for this next one because it's a player that everyone has fucking heard of. It's not like I hadn't heard of Noel Amina or Keenan Yildiz before this video, but um, believe me, this is not a player you will not have heard of. I'm actually very surprised. Silva! Holy shit. He's making up for that poor performance against Dortmund here. He's been fantastic so far. Yeah, I mean, bear in mind, um, my doctor told me it was going to be a two-year waiting list if I went through the NHS. Uh, and I'm still going to have to go through the NHS eventually, but I'm going to do it parallel. For Auckland in the waiting room. Interesting. I must admit, it is kind of strange, isn't it? Need to ring up. There you go, Millie. I'll remind you later. <laughs> to pass the spelling test to be seen. Yeah, um, it's... Yeah, I think it's not on purpose. I don't feel like what they could do to make that easier, honestly, because again, you still have to sort of be proactive, but it's difficult to be proactive about things like that because it's very easy to put it off and forget, isn't it? Uh, but one of the things I've as well noticed is I feel like um, back in the day when I used to just drink caffeine all the time, it sort of allowed me to mask it a bit better, I think. But over the last year, I gave up caffeine because I just wanted to and I felt like it was affecting my sleep. And I think it's got worse because of that. But so it's like, what well, the good Lord giveth, the good Lord taketh away as Navarro just heads one in. I uh, know it said, well, I come of Inga. Hang on. Prugelknab. I got you. <laughs> Did that just hit him in the face? He's already stooping to head the ball. I love those animations where they're already stooping to head a ball that they could pos not possibly um, ever anticipate. But I don't mind it when it's gone our way. <laughs> I'll take it. We're quite far ahead. The worst thing is as well, we, we know for a fact that we are literally unable to do better than last season. No matter how well we do for the rest of this year. Actually, I suppose we could have a better goal difference because I think we are going to score more this year. I think we're going to get close to like 120 goals, mate. Look at your power. He's got two men on him. He doesn't care. Piggyback time. It's like Luke 9 Oh. Nope. It's just a random one. Come on, just get on him. Uh, we have no players back at all. <laughs> it's Wagbay down the left. He's about to take over at Binner, but in before he slits it to Petra so wide. Oh, I was telling him to have off me. Got sacked for it. What the fuck? That's insane. I mean, I... That's just... I'm sorry you had to go through that, Digimon's on it. That's appalling. To, I, there was me thinking that once I got the diagnosis, maybe that would be the end of it. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I'm not expecting that to happen to me, but um, still, the fact that that's even a possibility is mad. I mean, to be fair, this could have all gone horribly wrong for me as well. Silver for the hat-trick in the first half? Oh, cheeky boy. Like, because it, it, if I'd have seen any other doctor up there, I think it could have gone down a very bad route because that's why I was... That's another one of the reasons I didn't want to... Um, make the appointment because I just didn't trust those doctors but luckily it was a brand new doctor and she was absolutely wonderful so I will be insisting on seeing her every single time I have an appointment up there because 
Yeah, once you find a doctor that listens, you don't let them go, right? <laughs> My sister suffered um, horribly. She had, um, like, it was a rash, but it was causing her, the skin on her arm to basically, like, almost disintegrate, basically, to the point where it was, like, you know, intense amounts of pain. And she would spend... I remember driving her and my mother up to the hospital three or four times a week, and we both had hours. And eventually, they just had no idea what it was. They were bringing all of these like specialists. This was up at Addenbrooke's in Cambridge, and she went to one appointment with a private doctor um, at this place called the Rivers in Bishop Stortford. One appointment, and he went, "Yeah, that's infected eczema." And then he gave her this stuff. Within two weeks, oh my God, an insane mad, isn't it? Imato, Vodir, I have been playing FM for over the years, but you have completely transformed the way I play the game. From the save I choose to scouting, views, filters and even the sexy sass skin. Keep up the great work, Matt. Big love from Hungary. Um, thank you very much for the £50 donation. Apologies for the look on my face. That was actually just because I was trying to concentrate to hear the message because I forgot we still had Mature reading out the goddamn TTS on donos. Fucking thank you so much. I'm sure you'll see this on the... Oh, no, you're here. What? <laughs> that face when Matt thinks it's from the VOD. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. I'm an idiot. Um, thank you so much, though. That's ins just ah, insanely nice of you. Christ. Um, where's the... Yeah, fuck it. Uh. <laughs> you will see it on the VOD as well. But for some reason, a part of my brain went, oh, yeah, you'll just have to wait to the VOD to see that. I'm like, he's literally here, man. <laughs> I'm actually a VOD of a human. Strange. But there you go. Uh, oh, seriously, I don't even know what to say. That's so unbelievably nice of you. I don't deserve it, but thank you very much. Um, I'll have to give it a proper read afterwards. But yeah, if I, hey, I'm glad I could have helped in any way, even if it's like, probably made you worse at the game, honestly, let's be honest. <laughs> a hod. I guess so, yeah. Our whole life is a VOD, yeah. True. We're all just created oh, by chat GPT. It's Matt GPT. Oh, Jesus. Oh, direct winger, thank you very much for the follow. Silver's had a, the first half of Dreams here, by the way. We're five up in the first half with the rotated side. I know I must have missed lost a lot of chat in there, so I just want to... Oh, but, oh, you went to the rivers as well? That's sick. Yeah, that, I don't know. Uh, that was actually one of the things I was considering, but then Millie um, put me onto um, this other clinic, and I think that's what I'm going to go with, just because the recommendation. Yeah, so I think that the one that I've seen a lot for the UK, uh, Digimoz, is called Elvansa or Elvance or something. That's I, I follow a couple of people on TikTok, not that are like influenced in that matter, but people that have only just been diagnosed and are sort of documenting how they've changed. And I feel like that's something that's quite useful for me potentially to get an idea of it. Oh, we haven't had it yet. Um, the youth intake isn't, won't be until the start of March kind of time. Rather than general health concerns. Put it this way, right? Uh, the reason I don't like to talk about, I, I try, I mean, obviously I have more recently, but usually when someone else brings it up, the reason I don't like to is because again, I haven't had a diagnosis yet. I've only seen my GP currently and I'm looking to get the private appointment with a a doctor to talk about this further so i don't like to speak on things too much because i feel like self-diagnosis on stuff can be really detrimental to people's health particularly with the way that social media is trying to sort of i feel like a lot of people convince themselves they've got lots of things when in fact they don't and that is a bit of a concern i don't think that's in this case but it can be it's another goal for silver yeah oh Elvansa, yeah that's what i heard anyway but i also feel like there's still a lot of mental i think it's because they use examples of things like hey look the rates of this are going up and it's used as an example of people perhaps not actually but then at the same time maybe it was just underdiagnosed before which i feel like was not like adhd could very well have been the case well not even it's very likely that it was the case wasn't it <laughs> usually around march 9th is when you get the youth to take yeah sidetracking right now yeah it's <sighs> you'd be like will still concert to xl did have to give me xxl millie <laughs> It's another goal. It's seven nil. Yeah, because I'm not one of those people that just sort of see things and go, "Oh, that must be me." I like the only reason I even considered this was because multiple people started saying things to me about it, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." And it never even occurred to me. It's uppers, yeah, because because basically one of the, uh, the the like treatments for it is essentially like a massive stimulant, isn't it? Which I would have thought is like almost. The exact opposite of what you'd imagine. But I guess if it improves the focus elements of things, then I guess that's why that works, right? 
I think I won't know one for a bit. And I'm trying to bring on players that I know aren't going to play in the next game, like Herriman's. And oh, big old Bents. Bents the fence. And also Ralph for Effie. Basically, speed. Well, it is, isn't it? It has a very similar chemical component, if not not identical, but like similar, I imagine. Treating binge eating. Well, I mean, chat, uh, riddle me this. How many times did I say, so I was eating bread and cheese in bed last night. Uh, a lot of my statements started that way, did they not? I mean, admittedly, I've actually got myself off of doing that anyway, but yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> things start to make a little bit more sense, I suppose. And it's now, oh my God, it's nearly eight. No, it is eight. It's eight nil. It's eight nil. Why is my chat not scrolling properly? There we go. Beer in the bath. <laughs> to be fair, I rarely ever beer in the bath. Uh, I've only done it like two or three times, and that's usually relaxation things, right? Leveling up. That's really interesting, Millie, the stuff about left-handedness, right? Um, off the bar, down it comes. Beautiful. It's 8 nil. We're 8 nil up in a league game. Doesn't. Yeah. Um, I have to really try a lot. The weirdly, yesterday was a rare example of me not having to try because I went into this like fucking fugue state of focus. And if it wasn't for the fact that luckily Pog finished work early yesterday and I was going to be picking her up from Cambridge, so I had to leave at like half four, which was nice and early. So that that forced me to stop, but I could have just kept going all night otherwise. <laughs> like I was sat there doing like um, simulation tests with this tactic. I got through like four different teams already, <laughs> but the Wrexham one was mad. 121 points in the National League with this tactic with Wrexham. Paul Mullen got 63 goals. <laughs> so yeah, it, it'll, it worked for those sort of sides, I would say. I'd love a ninth. If anything, it looks like we're going to concede one though, because they're just not tracking back at all. <laughs> ah, he's missed. Did he get another red? Of course he did. They'll probably still win though, because they've got Jockey Monster on the on the team. Yeah, we're doing I'm doing a tactics vid about this tactic, because I feel like well, <laughs> this isn't the best example, but we have one 8 0 here. It does seem to work, but not just work. It works for a variety of teams. I tested it with Bournemouth in like rank, you know, expected 20th, ranked rock bottom, eighth. Came eighth with them. Uh, with this tactic first season. So, and um, Dominic Solanke got 27 in the Premier League. <laughs> and if I can make him score 27 in the Premier League, I think there's something there. Mr. MT89, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, what was my next test I was going to do? Oh, Christ. I've done Wrexham after Bournemouth. I want to do one with, like, um, a team that's maybe in Europe, but from a small nation, like a Zagreb, to see if I could get, like, more European success. So that's us already qualified for the... What a game. Four goals and two assists for Brown and Silver. Oh, you're right, yeah. Got to make sure we save because of Wag Bay, just in case. One in nine with Club Brugge. Um, I hate to say I told you so. Unfortunately, I knew that he was not going to be a success. Also, I bet the football's been fucking dire as well. Because that's the thing with Scott Parker. When it goes well, it's still bad, but at least you're winning matches. So you can kind of overlook it. But as much as... <laughs> But the moment it starts going wrong, you realise just how bad it is. No longer... Oh, nice! Stan's happy again now. This is even better. He is getting dangerously close to potentially even taking um, his spot. He's he's brugged it up. He has. Well, I mean, Leaf, honestly, what I'd say is... Talk to... Oh, yeah, it's very different to... But there is actually a dysphoric element, apparently, to ADHD, a Leaf, which someone told me the other day. It was um, Springtime. Mentioned something called rejection sensitivity dysphoria or something. I don't know. I'd, I'd heard it before, but I had no idea what it was. But it might also be why <laughs> sometimes I just get really down. I suppose I'm in the wrong job for that, really. <laughs> Manages how we play. Just goes round and round. Literally. I don't know. Have we got any Club Burger fans in chat? I know there used to be uh, some that were res residents of the chat. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I thought they sold him. So how do you actually... What do, you, what do you think, Coyle, about his... I mean, I'm guessing bad from his appointment. Um, I, I must admit, I was sceptical. What the hell from his appointment on was... Krollis has just given Kishvara a chance at staying up, maybe. They just beat Ferenc Varos. I don't like this for Ferenc Varos. Maybe it's because they're going further in Europe. I have a Scott Parker fan. Ah, you're the, you're the one guy. I liked him as a player, just as a manager. Like, obviously, he got us promoted, but it's just the way it happened, man. I mean, maybe that's just because I've seen the grass is... The grass was very much greener on the other side. <laughs> the Marco Silva side of the pillow. Because holy shit, we've got the... We've had our best start to a Premier League season ever. They're on the round of 16, but bear in mind, most of that happened before Scott Parker. In fact, I believe all of that happened before Scott Parker got to the club. Um, that was all of their... Now, 
from what I've heard, weren't they doing really badly in the league under the old manager as well? But they were just doing insanely well in Europe. Uh, which team? Uh, which team what, Jen? As in, like, which team am I managing? Because um, at the moment, uh, MTK Budapest. Point. Yeah, they could smash it, to be fair. So there is that. Bear in mind, next season, though, we are going to be... Um, where is it? So we're going up to 10th next season, which means we get guaranteed group stages and they'll get to go up a spot as... Wait, no. Yeah, we're going 10th. So they will get to start in the second qualifying round here. Wait, didn't they? Oh, no, they were already in that one. So what does that difference does it make? I think it means our Europa League teams get to skip. No, they were already in that as well. It definitely does make us... There's definitely a difference in there somewhere. <laughs> Since Wigan, yeah. And it keeps happening as well. No, no, yeah, but we're already 10th, but for next season, that's when the 10th place actually starts because it's like a year delayed, isn't it? Um, uh, uh, Zanfafel. I'm sorry if I've screwed your note there. Uh, how many seasons? We're in the middle of season seven. Sorry, whole lunch to sell. Well, I hope your lunch was still nice. But thank you for joining us. I'll see you on the VOD. And then I can make a fool of myself for a second time. Uh, Marco Silva's always been a good manager. I think it's just that he's one of those guys that i feel like could have his head turned really quickly and i think i think like he's kind of moved past that now how much time jen um five streams so yeah i'd say about five streams worth now because it's three streams a week and we're about a one off this time between five and six but this year it was five and i think next year it'll be five as well because we're skipping the pre we don't have any playoff rounds further than their first season epl yeah i think it's been a while it's been since wigan Seems like a weird chap. Has no clue how to make this team work. And that's... Yeah, I, honestly, Coyle, I... He's, he was like that at Fulham too. And I don't know if any Bournemouth fans in chat too. Let him be a manager where Fulham are. <sighs> well, but yeah. <laughs> we have overperformed a little bit at times this season. But, you know, you need to have a little bit of luck. Hey, Mando. Ah, good old Mark or Silva. Right, okay. That's lots of suspensions. Luckily, we prepared for this. Cut faces of the Nugan pack. Yes, um, there's also a DF11 face Nugan face pack pack as well. If you wanted to fit the skin perfectly, which at some point I might actually upgrade to, but for now, uh, Suchi. Ooh, do you know what? I actually, might start Suchi here. I feel like he's almost earned it. Malaria's still unhappy because. Oh right. Well, you are starting a lot more lately. Surely. Oh shit. Okay, it looks like Yaboa. We're getting big boy Yaboa. Uh, that's not happening. We want Nakanishi. And then who's left back for us? Dala. How the hell has Dala fallen off the packing order slightly? Lost his first match with 10. Hasn't lost since. Sounds better than that, actually. Isn't it just because there's loads of draws? Yeah. Inform Fulham. I think that Fulham, Fulham Wolves game is the type of game that we might we could very well lose. Because Wolves obviously will be... Wolves are weird. I keep feeling like they're about to break out and be really awesome. And then they're just kind of like, oh, it's... Like, beating Southampton with 10 men, obviously Southampton are gash, but they beat Chelsea, but then Wolves go and lose to Bournemouth. Oh, Real Madrid, shit, you're right. <laughs> Potter out, I mean, okay, but then what? Like, oh, basically, clubs are absolutely, they'll be queuing up for Potter out. Every other club, because the first club that sacks their manager after Potter is sacked by Chelsea will be the beneficiaries of the entire thing. Because they're going to be brilliant. True, yeah, I suppose, yeah. I mean, to be fair, we're taking four points off Chelsea this year. Yeah. Heck, I'd take... Obviously, I wouldn't take it. Got Brahim Diaz. We do have Brahim Diaz. Yeah. Don't have a striker. Yeah. I take it Raul Jimenez has just not been the same since returning from that horrific head injury. Saints and... Pa I'll tell you what. The problem is, it might be too late with Saints. How we got Brahim Diaz? Um, we signed He was released by Real Madrid and he didn't get a club for like six months. Oh, shit. So we just offered him a trial and eventually his wages were just such that we could actually sign him. Yeah, Potter's a part, it would work at a club like Fulham as well, but obviously we don't need him right now. Um, however, if Marco Silva was poached by... I don't feel like Marco Silva goes for another English side, though. I feel like he... Um, oh, he's a very good player, Jen. He's been fantastic for us. Voyenstein with the Tier 1. Thank you very much. That's so kind of you. Welcome aboard. So a lot of Tier 1... Look, brand new Tier 1s lately. I, I very much appreciate that. Oh. Lost the yard of pace. It's attacking move that's been lost. Yeah. I still don't think Wolves will go down. Um, 
think there's just worse sides to them. Particularly with Lop I think Lopetegui is a good enough manager. And so I feel like if Silva goes anywhere, it would be to uh, a large European side. Or even just like one of the big Portuguese teams, potentially. But I just don't know where else you'd go in England at the moment. I think I'll, I think Newcastle should regret selling Mitrovic. But I feel like if they don't... What I would say, Rick, is that I don't feel Mitrovic has the career he does if they don't sell him. I, I feel like he doesn't develop the way that he has if he stays at Newcastle. I think he needed that kind of... Almost being like thrown to the wolves a little bit, you know? Because let's face it, Mitrovic could beat up a pack of wolves. <laughs> Yeah, Alaba, I think he was 39 when we played them last time, so he must have got even older now. Such, he's in! It's deflected over. So, a star striker. No, no. Uh, we're just sort of experimenting with the idea of maybe giving um, Suhi a bit of a chance in there as well, because Ehring has not fallen off, but we always knew that his ceiling wasn't quite that high. And I wonder if now Suhi might get the opportunity to make something happen for us, as that could have been a pen, but it won't be. We're doing okay here. Rafa didn't like him. Yeah, I can see he's certainly a, an, an abrasive character, but he's a sort of abrasive character that when you get him right, he... Hey, look, chat. It's that world-renowned defensive AI. Should we take a little look? I think we should. Cool. So. <clears throat> Alvarado. Left side of centre-back. Moores. Right side of centre-back. In their correct positions. Notice how everything's good right now. Vinicius Junior making a run across the defenders. Not a problem. Just keep running back. Close the space down. Not an issue. What is Moore's doing here? What? 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 What is? What is? What is that? <laughs> what even is that? But what it is is about to be Real Madrid scoring. That literally happened so they could have a penalty, didn't it? Uh, we actually knocked Dortmund out of the Champions League. Uh, a risk go. Uh, we in extra time, admittedly. Ah, now Mitrovic is, um, he's a bit of a maverick, but he's a cracking player. If particularly under Silva, the way that Silva's got him playing. That was a classic FM special in that we need to get the ball into a certain position so that this can be a penalty for Real Madrid. Let's just make your centre-back stop. Oh, he's done it again! Big wow. With the absolute hand of, hand of sex. What a brilliant save. And now we're on the counter-attack. Oh. Wouldn't shoot from this position. Oh. That's true. <laughs> like... Yeah, when you see like... Oh, dear. Ah, here's the passing errors. Although, maybe one from Real Madrid, potentially? Nah. Oh, hang on. So he's in. Oh, the... Oh. Yeah, actually, I, on a, I made a TikTok of the, um, you know, the goalkeeper error, the Wolfsburg one, right? I actually got a comment basically saying that it wouldn't have looked weird in 2D. I'm just like... What are you on about? <laughs> so he's in again. He's got right... He's got right side. Suhi! Oh, God. This game's been really fun so far. <sighs> Never only been fun. It's true. Uh. Wow, this is, we've actually had chances so far. What a tackle from your Boa. We do. I think Fulham's recruitment this year has been spectacular. Uh, there's a couple of little oofs in there. Kevin and Babu, I'm looking at you. But he's gone now. Still better than everyone. I mean, Courtois is a goalkeeper, so I can see why he... I think he's 38 in this save. No, he's 36, isn't he? In this save at the moment. So I, a 36-year-old Thibaut Courtois is probably still a fucking insane goalkeeper. Alaba? Yeah, he is fairly old in this one, I must say. Oh, look at the touch. Look at the touch. He's in again. Navarro! Yes! Come on! MTK 1, Real Madrid 0. We're beating Real Madrid. <laughs> We're beating Real Madrid and we deserve it. Well, I say deserve it. They've had a penalty. The bad touch set up the goal, literally. Because their defender wins it back. And then, like, what's Fafana doing? We're not even on the press. Look at that finish from Navarro. Wait, hang on. Navarro? Did I say Navarro? I meant Malero. Also, by the way, Malero, again. We said about Courtois. Like I said, he's, he's only 36 in this save. So, to me, a 36-year-old Thibaut Courtois is going to be a hell of a goalkeeper, right? Oh, Wheelie and Wheelie? Healy Williams. <laughs> this is I think it's Wheelie Williams. Oi, oi, indeed. Hopefully, that's the dream. Thank you very much for the four months, though. Oh. And Malera, I believe, was at Real Madrid at one point. Yeah. Real Madrid is trying to play out the back, and our, our press is actually working against them. I might. Trigger press their back four. Only the back four and goalkeeper. No, not the goalkeeper, just the back four. They're playing out from the back quite aggressively. And I feel like we can get in on them there and try and force turnovers. 
I feel like we are going to get a red card in this game, though. Uh, that seems inevitable. Another bad touch there. We'll still lose the game like 4-0. 4-0? <laughs> All right, that should be a nice easy one. Yeah, I think we'll still get hammered in Madrid, for sure. But, um... Oh, look at that. I love that for Yaboa. The way that he brings that down on the chest instead of trying to just, like... Ah, shit. Now, here's the ball. This will be a goal. And to be fair, it's a great bit of play. Yeah, that's fair. We'll score minus one. That's how bad it will get. <laughs> uh, that's just a nice goal. We just get caught out. It, the crossfield pass there from Yakubu was, ex was basically a suicide ball because... It guarantees an interception. And the moment that we have to push out on Silva, it's just a really good goal. Kamavinga, great run from midfield. Uh, he'll probably be featured in the next career resurrection video. Because <laughs> he's just not playing for Real Madrid in that save. It's going good, Quince. Uh, ignore the fact that we just conceded a goal there. Outside of that, it's going pretty damn well. We've given it a bloody good go, though, so far. I've been genuinely impressed with this. Uh, I'm going to yell at them. Fuck it. Okay, Joao really didn't deserve that. Like, man's already saved a penalty in the first half. Real Madrid haven't done much in this game. Like, they scored the penalty. They missed the penalty, which was match engine nonsense in the first place. And they've got that goal, which was good. Uh, this is the round of 16, Quince. So we knocked Dortmund out in the... Oh, Lord. Yeah, we knocked Dortmund out in the last round. 3-2 um, on aggregate. Oh, this is a nice football sack. Can somebody get across? Just simple block. Yes, nice. Good stuff. Yeah, so on the sim I did last night, Otto, he has made three starts in the last four seasons for Real, which means that he's a perfect candidate for a career resurrection video. I'm thinking of doing him and Fabio Carvalho for the next one, potentially. So that could be a really fun one because they're both like names, recognizable names, especially Camavinga. Okay, here we are trying to play out from the back. It's sort of, we're both kind of doing the same thing, but look at us. We're just doing it better than them at the moment. Like, I'm enjoying our work. They're not... Oh, Abdul Nabi with that ferocious pace as well. And again, losing the ball, though. It's situations like that where we just need to move the ball faster. Vinny's in behind. And they score. Because Real Madrid. Hey, Gova! Uh, no, I won't be Gova. Um, Let's Play content just doesn't work for my channel. Uh, yeah, it did, Quince. It did extremely well. Uh, like 20k well. But yeah, unfortunately, Gova, it's just content I can't make on my YouTube channel because it's just not viable anymore for me. For a channel in my exact position, it's just not viable. It's a great finish, to be fair. Um, as far as I know, Stewie, they haven't. But unless someone knows anything, that'd be awesome. I'd love to hear it. But it clearly, it won't work exactly the way that it's been planned out here. I, I can't imagine it will do. It simply can't, right? Because there's so many things wrong with this current setup because they're just sort of copy and pasted bits of it. Like, they'll need to work out a new sorting method for a start. Um, I feel like they'll have to change some of the way the coefficients work for the extra knockout round that's now in it. They'll have to allocate more coefficient points. Oh! <laughs> it's Diaz against his old club. MTK2. Real Madrid 2. We are not taking this one lying down, are we? Brahim Diaz. Was that an assist from Yaboa again? Oh, it was Dala, I think. Or was it Yaboa? No, it was. Yaboa has actually really been good today. His flair and agility has just made... Look at that. Great pick out. Bang. Where am I from? Uh, I am from Cambridge. Well, sort of. It's too all. And you know what? Okay, they've obviously had a higher XG because of the penalty, which they missed. But I think we're actually giving them a bloody good run for it. Even if we just took a point against... Not a point. You know what I mean? Like, took a 0.2 point off of Real Madrid. I'd be super happy with that. I am going to get airing on, though, because that's actually been a weak point for us. And Velazquez has struggled a bit, too. If Jarji wasn't injured, I'd probably bring him on as well. But... rest of the bench is a bit light. Plus, we'll actually have our... um. We'll get a lot of players back from suspension next time. Why don't I play Cambridge FC? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't really understand the question. Oh, fuck. <laughs> As in... I, I don't think they need a striker like me. Um, I'm about seven stars away. Uh, right, so he's been on the pitch how long? He lasted all of five minutes. Okay. Next. <laughs> in FM. Uh, because I don't want to. I mean, the, I, I could give you a long-winded explanation, but truth be told, it's just because I don't really want to. I'd much rather do this. Oh, surely not. Raheem. Oh, it's, it's actually in. MTK3. Real Madrid 2. I, we're, we're beating Real Madrid again. Alvarado with an absolute stonker. I actually have Otto. Yes. Thought about exactly that. It's on my list, potentially. Look at that. What is this replay? Hi, I'd like to see this goal again, but I'd like to see it from, like, a different city if it's all the same. Oh, we're giving them a go. Oh, shit. 
insta highlight from the kickoff. This game, this game has got everything, hasn't it? Like all the different FM tropes. We're gonna concede straight from the kick. Oh, maybe not. Nice. Imagine if this is us scoring a fourth goal. <laughs> like we'll still lose the second leg by like five nil. But look at this performance, Ari. That's better. Oh, just keep that ball moving. Yes. Good. I think our main thing of beating Real Madrid here is just keeping the ball away from them. Because they're being very aggressive, but leaving gaps. Oh, here we go. If this turns into a goal, then it'll be amazing. Because we're playing some lovely stuff here. That's my... <laughs> He's about nine years offside. <laughs> He's about nine light years offside there. Ah, he, he might just be a smidge offside there. Not making defensive changes. Ah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Defensive changes don't mean you aren't going to concede. Defensive changes just... What? Oh, no, it is offside. Okay. <laughs> sometimes, it, yeah. The way it does that tricks you sometimes. Like, I don't do loads of defensive changes because the only thing I'm going to maybe do is start... The, the one. This is how I do defensive changes. I slow the passing tempo down, turn the time wasting up a little bit like that, and I just increase it over the final 10 minutes of a match. Because to me, if you start putting loads of defensive options on the pitch, all you're doing is saying, hey, come and attack us. And because they're Real Madrid and the way that FM works, they'll just start getting tons of chances. And they'll probably score a long ranger. That's usually how it seems to go for me. But Larry could win that. And he has. And it's through. Brahim Diaz is in. It's four. He's missed the target. We won. But at what cost? Uh, for training, uh, I would suggest, Jen, check out the link that's just been put in chat there. RDF's training. Fantastic. That's what we've been using, and it's been working well. We deserve that. I, 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 we deserve the win. Um, Brahim Diaz was phenomenal. But we should have been... It should have been four. Like, he had a chance at the death there. It was... Gumb. I can't believe he's missed that. Just hit the target. You don't have to, like, score, but just hit, hit the target at least. What? I can't believe we've just beaten Real Madrid. We're going to lose 4-0 in the second leg, by the way. That is a guarantee. But it doesn't matter because it's extra coefficient points, right? That's all that matters. Oh, Porto taking a draw with Chelsea as well there. Coefficients, exactly. It's another... Oh, damn. That's a long time out for airing. It looks like Suhi's going to get a chance in the team then. Because we've got no choice. It's a concern, but it's just... It's basically going to give an opportunity now for Suhi to have a run in the team and see if he actually is good enough to maybe take that role next season from him. You know I have the chance. We're technically we're time sitting time. in. Oh, yes, very soon. They are building Jen, thank you for the follow. We're tenth currently, in terms of the actual coefficients, but the provisional coefficients have us eighth currently. Hurt his pace. He wasn't super rapid anyway. Broke his leg. Ah, you don't want to see that shoe, but no. Uh, right. So we've got. Oh no, this, the game still aren't till. Oh yeah, they're, they're on Thursday, aren't they? So let me just set up a. We're not actually going to watch the game, obviously. We're just going to go to... Uh, I want to make sure that it reminds us on the day. Otherwise, we might just sim past it and forget about them. So that will have got us another four, one point... F no, 0 0.4 points, won't it? But we've still got another... There's still another six games. No, seven. There is a minimum of seven more games to be played for Hungarian sides in Europe at the moment. Minimum. Because we've got our second leg, and they have both their second and first and second legs of three other ties. This is exciting, man. Oh, come on. No, Stan. Bud. Uh, three days. Yeah, it's fine. We'll send him home. He'll miss the Debrecen game, but they can come back for Real Madrid's second leg. There's no way we get a result there, but we've given ourselves a shot, right? I can't believe we've done as well as this. We've had a better shot in the Champions League this year than we did last year, despite us actually doing better in the group last year. That FC Copenhagen defeat feels kind of weird now. Get a bit of Vix on it. It'll be fine, yeah. Wow. Debrecen only just sneaking past uh, Kapo Shvari. Oh... This is going better than I ever dreamed it would. Think of all the extra curve, all the extra money as well. Like, we're going to get another £8 million just for playing in this round. So we're going to be back up to £60 million again. Uh, oh, yeah, Arbas, really or Arabas. Thank yeah, you very much for the follow. Nakanishi. I swear the last time I got this news article, he was at three stars. But maybe that's just because... Other... Look at the state of him. He is... Actually, ignoring these because of the most recent match, I think. Let's see if he's actually made any progress in terms of attributes. No. I mean, okay, his acceleration has gone up by one. It's going to take a little while. That's fullback defend anyway. Most of that time would have been spent him trying to learn the new role first. Little green dot. Uh, to be fair, he was already... It just shows you how good he already was. Uh, Semi-final. We'll just skip that. We don't care. We're going to win it anyway, probably. 
Okay, right. So, we've got today. There's... Oh, wait. To Molfehavar and Uipesht. And then, obviously, we've got Ferrich Varrosh in the other one. See you later in the video. Enjoy your run. Let's do it. Show me the goods. Just want to see some points. Just some points would be nice. Okay, I'll tell you what, chat. That is not the order in which I thought that was going to go. Uh, Molfehavar just took a two-all draw against Celtic. Huang in bomb and Callum Doyle with the goals for Molfehavar. They've got more points for us. And then, unfortunately, uh, Joe Tarko gets the two goals for... <laughs> just remember who that was. <laughs> Uh, oh, Everton didn't fucking hell, Everton. The one time I needed... Hang on. Surely not. Oh, I thought it was Michael Sharif for a second there. Yeah, Uipesh lose to Applewell. But... Are you joking me? I think that means that they've got a really strong chance at winning the home game and should probably be able to get through. But that is very irritating that they've created that much and didn't even score a goal. Oh, sorry. Didn't score more than once. This presumably was a muggery. Oh, my days. Uh, so Celtic were very lucky. Uh, that I did not expect. Molfer had to be that. Hey, look at that. That's so basically, as is often the case, both of them were insanely unlucky. Uh, that they both should have won. Disappointment. Uh, let's do a bit of yoga. Yeah, I, I did not expect them to play that well. I st I think though Celtic win the second leg because they just will. But I think Uwe Pesh beat Applewell in the home game. So I think we should get. But it's annoying that they didn't get anything else. So that so far that's point four for us. I mean, it makes that point six with the point from Molfehavar. I guess it just becomes a question of... Uh, it sort of does, Chris, but usually only on very old players. Um, so, like, we had a 40-year-old... No, 41-year-old central midfielder at the start of this save who got a knee injury that he decided to retire from. Right. The question is, Ferenc Varos versus Ron. There's no way. Chat, today's going to be very fun. Uh, Ferenc Varos won. Sorry, Ferenc Varos two, Ron one. Aguila and Mosquera scoring goals for Ferrich Varosh. They're actually potentially in a chance to go through. I'd say that's probably... I mean, in terms of... Like, 1-0 might have been a bit fairer, but in terms of the scoreline itself, in terms of the, pro the proportional scoreline, I'd say that's about right. See you later, Leaf. Have a good sleep. Enjoy the land of Nod. Both the Dutchies lost too. That's good. We're not even that bothered about the Dutch at the moment, really. Um, That's insane. So that's... What, we got 15 points now? 15.1! We're the fourth best league. We are currently tracking for like fourth best league. These are the kind of numbers that it took us like 15, 20 years to put up in Ireland. 15.1! We've now gapped the Nether the, the Dutch, sorry, the Dutch, the Belgians by 1.7. I'm amazed. This is what I was on about. We can have success here. Damn. <laughs> We, they're all three of them, sorry, all four, no, yeah, all three of them still have a chance to go through. I will be extremely disappointed if we don't get at least one of them through. I think the one that's going to go through is Uipesht. I feel like Ron will beat, um, why does he do that? I feel like they'll beat Ferrich Varus in the second leg, but hey, we'll take that. They got an unexpected victory and that's fine by me. Uh, oh, Keiki's there now. Okay, right, get rid of some of these. Lots of random cheap Brazilians. Not that many, though. Christ, this is really getting down to, like, the the good players now. Because I'm not discarding, like, 60 guys with every report, which is nice. Top 10 position. Yeah, it really is. I, I can't believe the progress we've made over the last year. I keep thinking it's going to stall out. But this year, I thought, oh, we're maybe getting one spot. But this year, it looks like two is on the cards. And next year, I think we could take the Dutch. Or certainly get bloody close to it. Okay, so there's mostly still those guys. Just see if there's any randomly high-ranked players popping up in here. A B, Gaston Fina, Boca Juniors. Okay, quite expensive then. I should be able to ask for all of these at once, right? Just about. So those guys around again. Nice. Yeah, the other side's doing well is so damn important. Because think about it, we're getting some okay points for the Champions League, right? And we are actually holding our weight this year. But it's the fact that with those three sides that were in the Conference League, the sheer amount of points they can get is insane. Because they're getting like 0.4 points for a win currently. But I feel like we've got the confidence and the strength now that even when we get the ten si uh, the seven sides in, I feel like they'll actually all be able to handle it. Which is sick. Right, okay, let's have a look through these guys, see if there's actually guys... That ah, a couple of free Brazilians that might be worth just bidding on just to bring them to the nation and get them in. Uh, so there's Lubisa Alexic. I remember we had a guy called Tomislav Alexic last save. Susan Rodigeng, Willie. Intriguing. 
he's okay. 221 caps to Bosnia, though. Aerial reach is decent. Reflex is okay. Six foot one. Okayish personality. It's like. Don't know. Hey, slow jams forever. 35 months. Hi, Dad. Hang on. You've changed your name. You must have changed your name. Is that you, Rad Nauseam? Maybe? I think. Ah, oh, it was Rad Nauseam. Okay. <laughs> That's your third name change since you've been subbed to the channel. I remember the days of Valinsky. <laughs> 35 months. That's the longest I've seen so far. Jesus Christ. Someone's getting their three-year badge soon. Then there is actually a new sub badge at three years. Ah, oh, damn. Thank you. How's it going, man? Oh, thoughts on the Villa game at the weekend? Uh, this, yeah, I, I don't know. Let's have a look. If he's super duper duper cheap. Eh. Is he 350,000 pounds worth? Forgot a 35. Oh no, there are some ridiculously long sub streaks that maybe you won't have noticed or seen very often. But no, he's not. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, most of the time I remember. Like there's some 30 plus sub months that you might not have ever seen in chat. Like Niran, for example. <laughs> uh. Uh. Yeah, we'll get rid of you. Okay, Marcus Antonio. Solid name. Hey. Oh, he's interesting. And most importantly, free. We, we're getting him, right? Handling, uh, reflexes, aerial reach, higher determination, good on both feet, six foot two, driven personality, great, great physicals for a goalkeeper. He's really good. I love these free Brazilians, man. They're so good. What's this, Thomas? Holy shit. I can't, I can't believe you've actually managed to do that. That's mad. It's also notably how... It's interesting how England... Oh, I suppose it's because it's mid-season. Still, they're not that... Like, I've had them in, like, to the 130 at some point. Better than less than lost. I guess so, yeah. Yep, we're getting you. Uh, with him, though, we are actually have going to have to... Wow. He's so cheap. Hey, Lord Richard. How's it going? We'll get you on a free. That's, any free Brazilian that I get that little bit of four star on, I think we'll just pick up. So Renan here, unless he's like absolutely gopping, uh, he is a bit gopping. Cool. Like Varanopolis is a cool club though. I've not seen much of them before, but I think he kind of just, yeah, I think we've got to draw the line somewhere. I don't think, other than his good tackling, I don't think he's that great. Because see why, they were both ranked at C minus though. That's kind of mad. Okay, Genk guy. Uh, Portia's actually doing quite badly on loan. I had a look at our goalkeeping stats because I was bored, and he is like minus three in terms of goals prevented, which is not ideal. Okay, so this guy, Helmut Roland. I want a player called Helmut. I really do. Although, I don't want him. I know he's only 16, but there's just a lot of... He's kind of fast. He's got okay crossing and dribbling. But the problem is, we use inside forwards, and he's got no real... He's just no consistent. I mean, obviously, he's only orange consistency. He's just meh, you know? Forward determination as well, yeah. Uh, all right, this guy's on our shortlist. So, oh, he's already... Yeah, so he's shortlisted. He's still only 16, so he won't talk to us yet anyway. Great winger refuse. Yeah, but the problem is, we don't use wingers, so it's kind of pointless for us, and it's a question of money, isn't it? Farid Nuali? 14 crossing on a left back. Things you just things you wouldn't have had on FM22. Just 14 crossing on a left back. Physicals, okay. Mentals, actually really solid for a 16-year-old. No tackling ability, though. His defensive abilities are pretty awful. I might still shortlist him, though. To keep an eye on for later. We can't sign him yet because he's only 16. But to look up later, potentially, he might be one. Okay, so Marcus Antonio is going to come, which is sick. Youngster, which means that he'll want a one-year deal. I'll give him a five-year deal. In fact, screw it. I'll give him a... How about an eight-year deal, Marcus? Would you like that? I'll give you a job security. Uh, use and take... It's happened around March 9th or 10th, the last couple of years. So we're expecting it fairly soon, although we've got two more games in the way. Ah, he'll go into the... I think he'll be a solid goalkeeper for like a second-tier side in our division, and that's fine. Or even maybe a top side. I mean, Felix Peters done really well on loan. Formation. What we, we actually kind of play got a default. Not default. It, it started off default, and then it started to get more and more sort of uh, 
bizarre, but I see bizarre. It's not really that bizarre. This is what we're running at the moment, and it's been working very well for us. Went unbeaten in the league last year. They actually have Rashford. No shit. How did they get that? Was it? I'm guessing a free transfer, maybe. He like, did he do a career resurrection for us? Is that what happened? How did the first leg of Madrid go? Would you believe me, Toby, if I told you that we beat them 3-2 and they missed a penalty and we missed a missed an absolute sitter in the final seconds? Because that's what happened. <laughs> I'm doing excellent, Cambronia. We just beat Real Madrid. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we're actually on match day anyway. I could have just done that. I, RPM. I really like an RPM and anchor pairing. I've come to enjoy that a lot so far this year. Wow, we are really struggling for strikers. I feel like I'll do a Wono. Pereira, Malero. Uh, no, I won't. Oh, shit. I might start Brandon Silver again, actually. It was half decent result. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, I want Navarro there. I want Effie is fine. Jarju is fine. And Dai will be able to play the second leg. So we'll start. Oh, I'll start turning over, actually. It's actual pancake day. Hell yeah. I haven't had pancakes in such a long time. I think the last time I went had pancakes was when I was at Centre Parks, of all places, having pancakes. On the day we left. First leg was at home, yeah. Highest division. I mean, you can do a save. We can do, you can do a save with anyone you like, Lomboy. Like, the reason I start with a team in the second tier is because if you start with the top flight side, they're going to be stronger. And which means they're going to probably, because of the way FM works, have more chance of being stronger later in the save. Whereas if you take a small side and make them better, you're adding to the strength overall. So it just gives you a better chance at achieving success. That's the reason we do it. Uh, Alvarado actually played the last game, didn't he? And Jarju's there. I think we could probably do with getting a few more centre-backs in the summer and not loaning them all out or selling them. <laughs> just a thought. I might leave it at that, actually. Give... Uh, no, I'll start Flavian Moores instead of Alvarado. Really, an RPM and a deep-line playmaker. Wow, that's a lot of playmakers. Oh, they've got Drake Calendar. This should be fine. And obviously, Andres Pushka. He is... Oh, you yeah, look at the state of him. He's just so good. Well, that as well. It also allows you to find a club that gives you that... Cli like you say, the climbing element of things, which I really like. So, with Troms are starting in the second tier. With 3T, obviously, they're a perfect second tier. Oh, Linda's on the bench. With MTK, with a huge history. And obviously, with Polonia of Orshavar, when I did it, that, I started that building a nation save in the fourth tier. But obviously, it was Polonia, so it was a bit different there. A bit of an exception. Uh... Oh, nice. Actually, we'll leave it at that. Five. Oh, sorry. Three, five, two lately. Or extremely bad. No in between kind of technique. Yeah. I was testing out this bizarre one, which was like a, a three, two, two, one, two, but all in the middle. <laughs> With the idea of creating the ultimate. Um, narrow system where it's got wide centre-backs and a libero in the middle and the first game I played it was the Super Cup in or whatever it's called the Cruyff Cup I think in the Netherlands and I beat final 8-0 with my Ajax side playing that system but I then beat Fortuna Sittard 6-4 on the next match day and it just kind of got a bit weird from there on Silva it's in I said I wanted 15 and 15 out of Silva this season and he's really picked it up over the last few matches ever since that dreadful performance in the second leg against Dortmund I think he's got like five goals and six assists in like his last three matches or something ridiculous. He's just popping up in great positions constantly. Admittedly, horrendous fortune there. I don't know how that's even his goal. True patch. Thank you for the eight months. Da. I forgot to cancel again. Bugger it. I just need my Hulk yoga again <laughs> for the month. I'll have to wait till after the match to do the Hulk yoga just in case it fucks up the um the graphics. You shouldn't, shouldn't have to say that, should I really? But here we are. Halfbacks. No, I had an anchor and I had a roaming playmaker next to them as well. Um, and then I had a CMA in the middle. And then... Oh, no, actually, I actually had... It wasn't that. I had two AMs as well. That's going to be a penalty. Yeah, I had two AMs because I was playing Kudus and Klaassen, I think, in there. I had one as an attacking playmaker and one as just straight up AM. Then I had um, two advanced forwards because I noticed that the DLF was just getting in the way. It was really fun, but it would probably not work for a, like a good side. Well, like a, a, a bad side, rather. Jarge you from the spot. It's an... What a strike! Hey, but, no, we haven't had the youth intake yet because we had some um, Champions League action to get done first. And as a result, the youth intakes still not actually happened yet. For once. Usually it happens quite early in these streams, I realise. Yeah, so the stuttering you're seeing occasionally on FM is... Once again, that's actually FM itself. I'm not dropping frames. It's super... And this isn't even a uh, Champions League match. They really need to look at that in the winter it's update. good uh, you came in summer. Uh, in winter. OC Lula Gaming, thank you very much for the follow. Are you from Down Under by any chance? 
I'm just taking a guess because of the OCE part. Fullbacks, wingbacks, wingers, and advanced wingers. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> You'd love to see it. I was trying to make a system where I put as many defensive players as I physically could to try and see if I could just not concede goals. It just doesn't work like that. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, eh? Who'd have thought that you need more than just lots of players back to actually not concede goals? Anyone with a lot of time? I mean, depends on what you've got time for, I suppose. Because life, after all, is fleeting and temporary. Says the man playing football manager. <laughs> All good ball. Nice. No, I didn't have the chance to do that, Bay, I don't think. I, was, I wasn't paying that close attention. Basically, I just wanted something to do on Saturday morning while... Oh, sorry, Saturday afternoon while I was watching the Villa game. <laughs> I was like, I can't just sit here and do one thing because, God forbid, um, I need to have something else to be doing at the same time. So I was watching the Villa game on this monitor and playing that IX save with this tactics test on the other. Oh. Something on the goal line. Why five? Why not make a six? Go the whole hog. <laughs> it's just like us. Yeah. I can usually watch a Fulham game. Fine. Although, to be fair, I was just sort of pulling my hair out watching us on Sunday, on Saturday, even though we won in the end. It was not an ex it was not a kind experience throughout that game. Put Ralph there too. I think I am trading him in that role. And Linda. You know what, Linda? Yes. Let's make Linda from accounting making her debut. About bloody time. Can't have asymmetric tactics. Oh, you know I love me some asymmetry. Absolutely. Yeah, we are playing well, slow jam. Well, so that's the thing. We actually played like dog shit against Brighton. We were appalling. Uh, it was like the Fulham controlling a football impossible challenge for the most part in that game. And yet somehow we still ended up winning. I, I just don't know how, but we did. We're 22 points clear at the top as well. I am a bit concerned about Molfehavar. Luckily, we're doing them a favour, actually, by beating De Bretzen here. So hopefully that's going to put them back in their box for a bit and allow Mull to get their shit together. The problem is because of their European success. Ooh, I'm also liking Budapest Honvied having a good season too. They have to say, oh, I don't think staying up is Fulham's concern anymore at this point. Like we, there's no way we are getting relegated. We've got 38 points. I think most seasons that would keep you up already. I think the average is like 34. Oh, we fully did. Literally, Kaka, when that goal went in, I immediately thought of you. <laughs> I was just like, oh no. <laughs> but after the celebrating, obviously. <laughs> after the jumping around the room and going to Pog. Pog, it's Mana Solomon. He needs to start a game. That man needs to start a football match sooner or later. He is phenomenal. I love him. He's got like, the ball is like attached to his foot permanently. He's brilliant. It's the fact that he only took one touch as well before scoring that, which was mad. Yeah, Deserby's Brighton are really, really good though. Um, Like watching the play I, I got this is the first time i've really sat down and watched brighton for a full match since deserby took over i obviously saw them under potter when they played us back at the cottage and i remember lucky there as well actually because it was an own goal i think in that game mitoma is obscene the way that he runs with the ball it's he doesn't even look that fast but i, I figure he probably is quite fast but he's so brilliantly agile it's amazing just watching him run with the ball it's a joy now brighton are fucking insane they're so good and their recruitment is fantastic. I know that they... Didn't they pick up a couple more guys in January as well that are like you'll probably see in a couple of seasons? Who's Masobi? Oh, that was Linda. That's Linda. Uh, oh, okay. A win for Patchy with Goof grabbing a goal or two. Did Linda actually score in that game? Or am I an idiot? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought Linda might have scored. That shows how little attention I was paying there. Yeah, it, it's the, the gate. The way that he runs. It has got a Grealish-esque sort of element to it. Hello, Hov! About good football teams I had to watch just play on Sunday. They went at Tottenham. Oh, who did Tottenham? Oh, it was West Ham, wasn't it? Bowen had some good chances. Was it? Yeah, it was West Ham, wasn't it? I didn't actually watch that game. I don't know what I was doing. What the hell was I doing? I have no idea. <laughs> no, our defence has been... I say crap. It's, our defence hasn't been crap this season, but it's not been... A, we've, we've conceded eight goals this season. Which is what? It's just worse than last year. Rubbish. But we are scoring more. We only got 103 goals last... No, it was 100 goals. We scored 100 goals last season. But we've still got another nine games to get nine more. It's better than what it's doing. I don't know. I think I was just reading a book, actually. If in doubt, I was probably reading a book. Look at Abdul Nabi's progression. He is, like, legit... Like, he's starting to justify that wage a little bit. Even though his performances have been a little bit odd in the Champions League. 
If he's not the type of player that's just going to become a monster that we maybe sell on for stupid money at some point. And Silva's what now? 14 goals and 11 assists. That's perfect. Uh, oh, so last season, Wills, we conceded seven in 33 games, which was mental. Oh, we get Marcus Antonio. Nice. Another one for the lone farm. Oh. Bruno Notte looks really good. Yeah, he, he has some good chances. I feel like Bruno Notte, I don't think he's quite grasped this. I think he was just a bit selfish in a couple of positions. He could have maybe played that extra pass and we probably would have conceded. There was a couple of shots he took that were a bit rash in the latter stages. They're insane. George is finding form in the second tier. I mean, look at the... What's the dev center? We're at 79 players out on loan now. So who's got the most goals so far for them this season? It's actually Latoury with only 19, which is quite a drop-off from last year. Papa Fader with 18 in the top flight. Radojic with 14 is really solid. And he's got a lot in Europe too. Jordan Ross in there too. Mazzini with a nice amount. Top assister. 10 for Val Schmitz. Nice. Best average rating. It's probably going to be Semlich. Semlich just harvests his rating. I don't know how he does it. He's had like a 7.4 rating. For the, for the three years he's been out alone. He's an absolute monster. They just need a promotion. But then just never quite there, unfortunately. Looks like Budafok are back in the, uh, back in the fight again. Wow. Not good for Shiroksha. I think Booty's contract expires this summer, unfortunately. Uh, I think it has to be out of tactics, just because the quality difference is nowhere near as great as it has been in the past. We've had insane... Oh, I did do a yoga. We've had insane quality differences in the past. Like, think of how it was with Treaty United, where they couldn't play any players against us, basically. So they often end up... I feel like there was grayed out players in their team sometimes. That's how many, like, low knees. Whereas in this league, they, they can play all our low knees against us. So I think at the moment it has to be out of tactics, especially given that we're only seven years in as well. Same attention. I don't know, Kaka, because I feel like the players that have played well for Fulham, like Polina, I feel like it'd be weird if he left after one season. And I don't think he will. I, unless it was an insane bid. I just don't think he leaves after one year here. Um, and Tim Ream. And bear in mind, a lot of the players that have done really well for Fulham this year are players that I just don't think are ever going to get a big move. Like Tim Ream. Tim Ream has been one of our best players this year. No one's buying a 35-year-old Tim Ream off of Fulham at this point. It would be really strange. Um, I think Diop has only just joined us as well. And he's been superb lately. Anthony Robinson's one that maybe could go. Maybe. I feel like he might actually be the next, like, Cucurella type transfer, where they pay, where a club pays way too much money for him. <laughs> like, that, that could happen. Mitrovic, just don't see that happening either. Uh, Pereira, again, only one season. I can see, like, I just really don't think I can after one season. Unless it was for, like, 80 million quid. In that case, it's like, well, you know. <sighs> and Leno, again, only just joined us. That's one of the beautiful things. A lot of these signings are brand new signings, too. So it's not like they've been here for a few years and have developed, which has definitely helped. I'd love to see Tim Ream play. Like Pep said, it was like, like, if you were 10 years younger, I'd buy you or something. Like Tim Ream has been an absolute dreamboat this season. Love him. What a guy. Him and Issa Diop have been amazing. I can't believe West Ham let us have Diop. Well, I know that the people had some troubles there, but my God, he's been superb. Like the fact that he's keeping Tolson Adarabayo out of the team comfortably now. Um, he's so... I love when he drives into midfield with the ball and he does it so more often than any other centre-back I think I've ever seen for us. Didn't know you needed. Literally, yeah. True. Totally. And and like Kenny Tete at right back. It's Did they get him for free? I mean, let's be honest. Uh, no, they got 15 million. A lot of interest. Yeah, interest is not the same as leaving though. Um, Because, uh, don't get me wrong, I think he's one of the best DMs in the league, which is why it's so strange that we got him. But I still don't see him going this summer unless it was for an absolutely insane... Um, bid because he as you say he does seem to really be like i've never seen a player that's joined us so quickly and is like kissing the badge when scoring goals and he does score goals which is weird <laughs> I, I wonder how if it was to do with the surround like stuff around him and maybe he just didn't suit the tactical style because for us he has been really re he's his anticipation is really good but also that in that he reads situations and he's really good at getting those last little ditch touches But we will see. I'm curious. I'm curious to see where our recruitment goes from here. Because we've got to be looking at the summer going, well, we're not getting relegated. That just isn't happening, right? So we need to be looking at where do we strengthen? We need to do what Brighton do. We need to be looking at that same type of model as far as recruitment goes. Because that's that's the way to do it. That They've proven that. Uh, yeah, 4-0 in the end. Liverpool beat them. Um, of course, the ties are staggered still, aren't they? Tottenham are only just sneaking past um, Atletico. Last-ditch touches. Yeah. 
that position this summer. I think Fulham can set a price. I, I think that we could basically set our price. Um, that's another... Fulham have an advantage in that being a club based in London, in a very sort of trendy area, I suppose, it does have an effect on that. I think it allows us to sometimes keep hold of players longer than maybe... I think than other clubs. That's why Mitrovic, I think, maybe stayed a little bit longer, you know? No, an insane bid for... No, 50 million would not be an insane bid for Polina. Like... I think that's that would be a completely reasonable move for, for Polina, but given that he has some of the best statistical defensive numbers in the entire league this season. I think his tackles won and interceptions made. The only player that even comes close to him, I believe, is Ducore. Add players. I think it's about finding good deals. We need to be looking at... Um, what we need to be looking at is who we get in now that isn't good enough yet, but will be when Polina inevitably does leave for 60 million quid. And in, I would probably imagine next the season after. That's what we need to be looking at. We need to look at that player now. We need to be looking at the, the long-term successes to Tim Ream uh, and people like that because he's 35. He's not going to be able to do it forever. We need that next young centre-back for me. That's where I think we need to be looking because the squad itself is actually pretty nice. We Maybe do this a bit, a bit more depth in the fullback positions, particularly with with Mbabo, Mbabu going. Uh, right. Okay, so it's Real Madrid. Nice and easy. Tim, I mean, I still think Ream could do it. Ream has now completely adjusted his game to the point where he's made up for his lack of speed because now his first five yards is in his head. He's so good. Joe Bryan comes back on loan. Yes. I can't believe it. That we, I can't believe Fulham got Polina in the first place. That, to me, shows the... the it shows that you can still find players that are going to be able to do that. It, it's, it's nice that the statistics haven't completely ruined football to the point where clubs can't pick up these types of deals. Because it's not like he was an unknown player. He was at Sporting. And his stats were still really good. Much more than 50, 60 million. Uh, well, the point is, basically, the man signed a six-year contract. So we're not in any kind of... It'd be different if he had like two years left on his deal or a year left on his deal. Then obviously there'd be pressure there. But at the end of the day, he's only just joined. He's signed a six-year contract. There's no, it, there is no like pressure on us to sell. We don't have to do anything, particularly not if he's happy here as well, which he seems to be. You know, um, yeah, no, he had a, he signed a six-year contract with us, which was mad. Which I think just shows that he was looking for that move, and I think he obviously felt it was there. It's. Like, we're in no position to sell. We could basically name our price. If someone wants him this summer, they can pay 100 million if they want. And Chelsea might, you know. Like, at that point, it's like, okay, you know. But we don't have to. That's the beauty of it. Newcastle could offer silly money for him. They could, yeah. Um, But. Uh, right, hang on. Let me just set this team up. Velasquez. Oh, they've done it for me. Nice. That's actually who I was going to pick anyway. Unless. What I really like, I, I, he's a player that I've really, he's the best player I've seen in a film shirt since Moussa Dembele. For me, anyway. Clarky, thank you very much for the follow. Well, true, yeah, indeed. Obviously, anyway. I think the thing is, Newcastle, obviously they have had some quite large transfers, but I feel like they're doing their transfer business a bit smarter. They're not just looking for like big money players. They're looking for long-term success. And sometimes that does come at a price, like Anthony Gordon, who's still very young. But I feel like they're not spending... Generally speaking, they're not the team. Even I think that I don't think they're going to become the team that's going to drop seventy million on a twenty-eight-year-old type of player. Not that Pelini is, I don't think. Uh, or is he? I think he's twenty-six. But I don't think they'll ever be like that. I think they're doing things differently in terms of their recruitment strategy. Anyway, it certainly seems like it. I think if anyone would do that, it would be Chelsea. Look, actually, trying to stay. It's twenty-seven. Yeah, there you go. I just don't think they would. I, I think they could find... They'd have to pay through the nose, like an insane amount through the nose. And they'd be getting a guy that's 27, probably 28, more likely even 29 by the time this actually comes around. And I feel like they'd want someone that's more like 22, 23. That's who Newcastle would probably drop that kind of money on, based on their current... from what I've seen from them so far. Bubikar Cameron free. Yeah, he's the left back, isn't he? Or am I wrong? I think. I was doing... A I was doing a test yesterday because I wanted to maybe do a video where uh, this is kind of strange. It's almost like FM Battle Royale. So basically what it is, it's a Premier League season, but every single time a player is score, scores a goal, they're released. <laughs> it got a bit mad. Oh, it's a DM. Okay. I only say this because I saw him scoring in the save I was testing yesterday. Okay. So four or five. Yes, but again, six year contract. Let's go. We're actually leading from the first leg. 
I can't believe we're leading. All we need now is a nice boring game. That's all we need in this match is a nice boring performance with no highlights where we just draw nil-nil. That's all I want to see. But I just don't think FM's going to allow us that piece of joy today. Oh, if Endai had looked inside there. They're still pushed up quite a lot. Oh, actually, hang on. I'm going to do the same pressure strategy we used in this Real Madrid game last time. I think it paid off for us. Just pressuring their back four specifically. Because they seem to be really dwelling on the ball a lot of the time. Mm, Nakanishi, it's getting really congested here. But we're playing okay. Okay. Look how long we've held onto the ball for, by the way. We've had the... This must be about the 30 or 40th pass we've made in this single move here. Darla, look at the space! Oh, he could have played that pass. He's got two men on him. Finds Malero. Oh, dear. What an awful first touch. Unless Nakanishi, Silva. He's still got the ball. We've... Oh! Oh, no. All that. Ideally, one want to go. I mean, ideally, yeah. Ideally, I'd like 10 goals. But I'm trying to think realistically here. That What a strike that was nearly. That was such an insane effort from Silver there. It was nearly a banger. Yes. Okay, we look composed. They're not pressuring us as anywhere near as much in our um, back line as they were last time. They're allowing us to get the ball here. And look, he can look back inside again. I feel like we might actually, they're allowing us to play out from the back, which I wouldn't have thought they would have done at home. Now, this is on key highlights, I think. Yeah, this is key. And again, look, space for Nakanishi. We just need a good run. And unfortunately, that is not it. But they're going to be really lethal on the counter-attack. And here's the goal. Here's their goal. <laughs> oh, nice. That was extremely bad. <laughs> like, Vinny did not need to chip that there. He was never going to chip the goalkeeper from that. Oh, hello. Ball in. Nakanishi! No way! If this is given, if this is fucking given, chat, <laughs> if Yoshi Nakanishi has just scored a header against Real Madrid, which he has, <laughs> Yoshitaka, five foot three, Yoshi Nakanishi scores a header at the burnabout and we're four two up. What on earth? He's five foot three. Why is he even forward? Incredible. Oh, I don't know the sound. Whew. Okay, we've got something to hang on to now. Still going to go out there and play. We're not going to sit back. That's just not how we do it. If we're going to lose, we're going to go down in flames. 25 jumping reach. <laughs> okay, they're finally starting to offer some... Oh. Okay, how on earth he didn't get brought down there? This is going to be a penalty in a minute, isn't it? Oh, very lucky. Yeah, they're just like, we'll leave Losh Yoshi alone. He's just a little dinosaur. No one will notice him. We are so fortunate. Look at the number of shots they've had already. Who was marking him? I believe it was no one. <laughs> it certainly felt like it. He doesn't score often. Look at the possession. They're actually letting us control the ball. Oddly. It's like they're actually trying to play on the break. Which could definitely work. To be fair. But it's just surprising. Oh. And again, we've won it back again. Now we can rebuild. Just patience. We've actually for once aren't misplayed. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, we aren't misplacing passes and getting things intercepted randomly with bad touches. But we'll probably concede off this now. Vinny, Camavinga's going to... Oh, lovely. Oh, as if! Oh, well. They got a penalty in the first leg, too, and similar sort of stuff. Um, luckily, we saved that one. We're not saving this one. At least we scored. It's back to, back to level again. Nah, just a smashing great. Ah, that's unfortunate. I mean, it literally gave them the penalty in the first leg. I mean, you might, some of you may have missed it, but quite literally, the defensive AI contrived to give away a penalty, basically, where the centre-backs just stopped for no reason, even though they had the, the advantage. Yeah, the ma mandatory red card should be incoming. Have we got any yellows yet? Interesting, we've not got a single booking in the first half. Oh, no, we do. It's Dala. So Dala will be the red card. Uh, that's pretty much a guarantee now. We need Malero to basically be... The Malero that we know that he can be this season. Uh, oh! That was a bad pass, in fairness. We just kind of played ourselves into trouble there. We are going to be losing this game by half time. Oh, good block! Not just a good block. That is an absolutely ex outstanding block there from Undai. Because now it's going to set us forward. He's got Nakanishi. Okay, that's dangerous, but we've got space. Look at the space! Pick the right pass, please. Somebody. Yes! What a ball! Brandon Silva! 
Oh, why did he shoot? I mean, I suppose he kind of had no choice there, did he? Dala's into the box, though. We got more. All the way through. Ah, oh, Sue, he couldn't get there. And die! And oh, man. <laughs> oh, we've, we've had a couple of little openings in this half. Oh, we've had chances. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm just going to use the individual ones to G them up here. It's tough. How to create the pass tactic? Believe me, if I knew that, I would have created it. But, um, they won't get a red. We will definitely get a red. It's it's about trial and error, really. You've just kind of got to... What I would do is start off with whatever you want and then just make, like, one change at a time and then just see how it affects things. And if you don't like it, remove it. Just pay attention to, like, the way the players move. Are you scoring? Are you creating chances? What's the defensive situation looking like? What a tackle from Camavinga? Oh, wait, no! It's a red card! It's going to be a red for Camavinga! <laughs> That's not a red card, by the way. To me, that looked like he, that was actually a really good tackle, I thought. Because he got... Maybe it was because he was off the floor there. I thought he just sort of got his foot around in there. But apparently, that's not going to be the case. As it's one all at the Bernabeu. Okay. So, width it is, then. <laughs> um, I won't do pass into space. We are going to just open this up a little bit. I know we Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, Otto, you got next week's lottery numbers while you're at it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One all at the Bernabeu. Champions League quarterfinal spot on the line. Silver. Oh, surely not. How the fuck did... I thought that was going in. Oh, Jesus. To Catalara now on the ball. I, didn't, I haven't even said his name yet. Pass into space. Um, It depends on your tactic. We could actually do with that. But No, I would say we could turn it on right now, but I'd rather not just because I want us to keep a bit more of the ball. And pass into space, I often find, gives the ball away a bit too much, particularly in this match engine. So at the moment, given that we've got what we need, I don't want to, like, start pushing for more goals and risk giving the ball away. I'd rather just try and strangle the game a little bit. Try and keep Real Madrid off the ball at all. And, yeah, force them out. If we just play it slow, they're going to have to push out to keep us. And remember, they've got no width at all now. So our wide players are going to have absolutely acres of space. And more importantly, the wing backs beyond them. Why did these guys not track back? More spin. Ah! Don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We'll make little changes if we need to. But right now, we're, we're in the ascendancy. Well, not in the ascendancy. We're in the driving seat. You know, they have to score, and they have 10 men. And they've moved to a very narrow system. No, they're still better than us. Uh, okay, so uh, Lula, probably don't behave like an idiot. That's If that's if that's okay with you. Um, oh, that was a good chance. Yeah, we do actually have, like, good attributes for it. But in a game like this, it'd be different if we weren't in a winning position, as it were. Although, what I would say is I want to make a couple of subs, though. Oh, God. Oh, Wono's speed, actually. Even though he's not the best overall, his speed here could be really important. Um, it was like, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, that's different. You're a muffin, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Defensively, that's a tough one. It's a shame we don't have Abdul Nahi, actually. Erring. Erring is um, injured for six weeks. Oh, Pereira. Yeah, maybe not a bad shout, actually. Wait, was Pereira there? Oh, he was. Yeah, I always miss the guy at the very top because I always imagined there's a goalkeeper there, even though I know there isn't. Uh, yeah, let's just freshen up the wide areas. Even though they're both technically inside forwards, but it is going to leave space for our overlapping fullbacks. Good save again. Okay. I don't want to start dropping back too soon, given that there's still 25 minutes left in this game. I don't want to start slowing it down too much yet, particularly if there's an opportunity to grab... If we were to grab a goal... Or something. Then I'd consider it. Pereira. Brahim. Oh, big tackle on him. Ooh, I was, thought we were going to sneak in on there. Nakanishi. Oh, Yoshi, careful, bud. Well done. Really well done from Yoshi. Velasquez. It's in. It's 2-1. Real Madrid won. <laughs> what a goal. Thomas Velasquez, the young Argentine, scores. And we now lead at the Bernabeu. The 10, not the 10 men. The 10 men are now behind. Come on. Yeah, you're right. Probably would have been Black Arrow. Great work here. The fact that he's just gone for that with the outside of his damn foot. Look at that. <laughs> Real Madrid. Okay, back to four goal. Back to two goals advantage. Oh, this is still far from done. I could easily see the game giving them two late corner goals or something. Yeah, Courtois was not exactly covering himself in glory there. There's the first one. <laughs> was he against Nakanishi there? <laughs> Look at this. It's like his dad. Oh, no, it wasn't Nakanishi. It's the guy that didn't jump. 
Ah, oh, dear. Okay, time. Mm. Montiel struggled. That's four subs. I've got Moore's Navarro. Nakanishi's five foot three, and he scored a headed goal against them earlier, which was hilarious. I think I'll leave Diaz on for the moment, and I think I'm going to start to just move to. I love how the moment we score, they score. Once we get the last 10 minutes. Oh, hello. Just look at the back post overload. Raheem, you boa. It's a, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty to MTK. <laughs> no way. And guess who's just come onto the pitch, chat? Would you believe it? Stretch the play rather wide. Or we could just keep doing what we're doing because we're winning. Um, like we, all, I have widened the formation slightly, but I'm not going to change this. Like, just because they have a narrow system doesn't mean we have to suddenly change our entire tactic. Because if the tactic itself doesn't work, then no matter how wide you are or how narrow they are, it isn't going to be effectively allow you to score goals. Plus, we have a penalty. It's Moses Jarju. Come on, Moses. Huge chance for the big man. And he does it. It's 6-4 on aggregate. We've scored six goals against Real Madrid over two legs. <laughs> oh, I liked uh, Danish Super League saves. Um, I enjoyed the time I spent with Midgeland briefly, but really enjoyed my time with Sudiuska. Big Moses sends... He gave the keeper the eyes. That's another good point, KML, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at this now! Uh, there's no away goal, so that's not relevant here, but uh, now I'm going to make the change to get Navarro on for a bit. Freshen the legs up. We've got 10 minutes to see this out. We, we haven't been the better side on the night. But there's still time. Why have they got more defensive? I don't know. To be fair, again, a, a more defensive shape doesn't mean that they are actually going more defensive overall. It just means that, I mean, it kind of does look very defensive, though, I must say. Did he have to give that away for a corner? I feel like we're going to concede from this corner now. Because I don't know why he kicked that out for a corner. <sighs> Bloody hell. Fafana is a bit of, um... bit excellent, isn't he? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no. I think I'm, oh, no. It might still be given, you know. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> right, I'm going to make the change now because it does that thing where it doesn't let us, uh... Slow the tempo down. Oh... I think that we still end up somehow going extra time here. It's a good header, to be fair. Right, we're going to just try and throw this back now. <sighs> okay. Now we're into stoppage time. Push that up. One last step. Try and see this out. Chat, we've just knocked Real Madrid out of the Champions League. <laughs> We have just not Real Madrid out of the Champions League. Nakanishi with the header, Velasquez with the screamer, and Jarju's penalty. And they got given a penalty as well. Empty care in the quarterfinals of the Champions League for the first time in their history. What on earth is this season? I'm still annoyed about the Fafana goal because it means we don't get the win. For, we don't get the coefficient win. Oh, Real Madrid. What a result. We didn't deserve that, but fuck it. You know what? After the way that defensive AI went in the first game, I'll take it. Even though we saved the penalty from that, but still. Joao again. What a guy. Holy crap. I can't believe we're through. I was not expecting this today. So Porto knocked Chelsea out as well. Imagine if we drew Porto in the next round. It could happen. We've beaten Porto already this season. Another 8 million quid. And we're going to get another... Not 8 million quid. It'd be more than that, won't it? I thought, what's the prize money for the next round? Is it like 12 million or something? Nine million. So we're going to get another nine million quid. So we're going to be up to sixty-nine million pounds. Jarvo Bart. Yes, honestly, Jarvo Virginia might be the best goalkeeper I've had in FM since the days of like Galfrascoli and Bigger Belongo. Yeah, we'll have to wait a week for the draw because we've got the other competition still knocking about here too, haven't we? Because we've got second legs for these on tomorrow. Our uh, youth and tape preview was 4.5 stars. So we're expecting good. But honestly, I'd take a shit youth and tape preview if it means that we get what we've already got. Oh. Attributes are not really that good. Um, I'd say his attributes are pretty good. 17 aerial reach, which I really, really... I think for me, he has the temp poles that I really like in a goalkeeper. 17 aerial reach, 18 one-on-ones and 16 reflexes. To me, those things are... 
high consistency. I love that. Doesn't like big matches. I guess it's just because technically those matches weren't, yeah, weren't that big. Yeah, it's 31st of March is uh, next gen day. 15, that's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't really show on him either, honestly. I've had goalkeepers with way less eccentricity that have performed way worse. Right, here we go. Okay. So, Ui Pesht, Molfe Havar, and obviously in the um, Europa League, it's Ferenc Farosh. Come on. Tent poles. Yeah, I was... I, I look at each position in my head. This is just kind of my weird brain. I have tent poles. So, like, strikers, I always look at dribbling, finishing, first touch, and then this pace and acceleration. Maybe composure and composure. That's, like, the tent poles for me. Everything else is kind of like, okay. Goalkeepers, to me, is aerial reach, reflexes, one-on-ones. Defenders, it's marking, heading, tackling. Right, come on. Um, I don't use recruitment meetings or the squad planner, uh, Ling Hu Chong. So, put it this way. If you are maybe new to the game and think you have to use them, I promise you, you don't. It'll probably be easier if you don't touch them at all. Um, recruitment focus is fine, but squad planner is completely useless and doesn't serve a purpose. Right, let's go. Just give me one. One team through. 4-2. There you go. So Celtic go out with Furuhashi scoring a hat-trick, annoyingly. Um, so this is, once again, why you have to win the home game. Because then they will be good at home. Let's have a look. Yep. Totally deserved the win there, Celtic. The problem is, they deserved... Molfair Havar should have won the home game really comfortably. Anderlecht threw annoying. Yeah. We've got enough of a gap, though. I think Anderlecht would have to win the whole damn thing for us to even come close. But Uipesh threw over Applewell. Albeit on pens. How on earth... Oh, God. How this took penalties. They've bashed them... They've hammered them in both legs. Okay, they are through, though, which is the main thing. Right, what about... Come on. Jeremy Doku's goal is cancelled out. Well, actually, technically, it's the other way around. Gabriel Marino... Sorry, Menino with the one all, And Ferenc Varos progressed to the quarterfinals of the Europa League as well. Calvin Phillips... Wait, what? Yes, they do. On a free transfer. Oh, my God. Hey, look, chat. It's a career resurrection video. <laughs> In a nutshell, I'd have come in around about here, got him his move. Oh, Doku's got it. I know, I, whatever. You, they drew one all. <laughs> so, two more sides through. Shame about Molfe Havar because they're actually one of the stronger ones, but at least Babakop, they played two strikers in that game then. Yeah, three Hungarian sides in the quarterfinals of the Europe. So, does that get 16 points? 15.9. Still number four. Yeah, we've gapped Belgium now by... By miles. What, what 2.3 points ahead now? Still not catching the Dutchies this year, but... 15.9 points! And you're right, yes! I'm also taking Real Madrid out of Europe. It's just nice, isn't it? Uh, Cleo. Who are you? Hang on, are you... I was going to say, he's the Brazilian guy that came through our youth academy. Do you know what? Yeah, if you want to go to Brazil... Were you even born in Brazil? You are, okay. He was born in Pinas. Okay, so you can go uh, to whoever of these clubs you'd like to. So Youth and Take should be, if it's going to be the ninth again, the, same, the day before the Pakshi game. Last few places out. I, I don't know yet, Thomas. I I'm honestly not sure. I know that it can be a bit mad, though, because I've seen England have 10 sides in Europe. I just realized there was an intake there. Shit. So it was three, two and a half stars instead of four and a half stars. Liverpool captain. Thank you for the follow. Uh, okay. Are they all Hungarian as well? They are. Okay, so we've got Isvan Toldi. Yeah, Emmett. Disappointing, mate. He's a born midfielder that can't tackle, mark, or... Pos unsporting. High determination, at least. No pace. Uh... I guess he's an anchor that can't defend. It's weird that the game's like... He's like a defensive attacking midfielder. He's like the opposite of a Segunda Volante. Like, <laughs> what a weird makeup of attributes. Yeah, he's like... He's like a reverse Segunda Volante. He's an, a forward-blind player that has more defensive... A Volante Segundo. Yes. What about you? Come on, Tibor. Okay, yeah. He's alright. Another team in the league. Got the place for 8th cat. Oh, I see. Okay. So, Tibor Egged. Um, we've got... Marking is the one thing that's easier. And 15 tackling. He's alright. Positioning's naff. Good jumping reach. He, he I don't mind. Uh, uh, Bedex, Bedex. Thank you very much for the follow. 
Oh, sorry for the follow for the prime. That's so kind of you. And Ryu Shadow, thank you for the follow. Second break. He's the guy hanging out of the boot, I suppose. Cooper, do not hate me. He's definitely, I mean, of the two that are listed as top talents, he's by far the best. Uh, Laszlo Pataki, he's a winger. He's all right. He's got okay dribbling and crossing. He's not, oh, low determination again. Kolosh Hrutka. Ooh. His attributes are all right. Maybe just doesn't have the potential ceiling, right? I don't mind him. We'll see who they actually want to pick up it in. Salt Kabat. Again, with the unambitious, but actually okay determination. Uh, Daniel Adam. They're not even that bad. I think they're just lacking the potential. But maybe they'll get, like, readjusted. Where was the Bulgarian dude? Oh, yeah, there's one. Pavel Kerchev. Yeah, he's not good. Loyal, though. The Portuguese for stowaway is clandestino. Yes, I love that. I'd love to have a... Imagine that being your role in the team. You're the clandestino. Do you think that's what they call Portuguese spy? Compared to your team. Yeah, I know. But, like, we're still judging them based on their, um... Attributes. So... They're okay. They're not too bad. But I was disappointed because I was expecting four and a half stars because that's what we were promised. And Emmett has lied to us because he's a naughty, naughty man. That's where the real disappointment comes in. Uh, any random old players? Wow, no. We are just getting pure scout reports now. Love it. More of this, please. Shed the bottom guys here. PS5. Let's see Um, You won't get the same... Actually, I haven't played it on PS5, so I couldn't possibly tell you, but I know that you're not going to get the same experience because it is a lot more watered down, right? Um... But if it won't work on your laptop, then I guess what choice have you got, right? Uh, I like clan clandestino. I, I like that. I'm never going to see him again, but I like it. Uh, right, these guys are all... Ooh, North Macedonian dude there. There's a couple of interesting extensives in here. There are some things you can do to optimize the game, of course, yeah. I love how we just never seem to get extensive, like, scouting of this guy, despite the fact that we've been... Yeah. Send these guys around again. I noticed there's an Andre Rajvan Chibalitsa in there too, which obviously means he was a face in the game. So Bueno Prieto. 1.5 million. Mm. Ah, he's one of these players where they've got... They don't have the aerial threat to be a centre-back, really. Not at 5 foot 7 and 9 jumping reach. They're not really... He's not super slow, but they don't have the best crossing either. 1.5 million, and he's already on quite high wages up via the lead. I feel like he's just not it. Leverkusen guys, 4.1 million and would be... Mm, yeah. Although this guy underneath... The, oh, he's well expensive. Jesus, he's good though. Benjamin Ebersbach. Cool name. Decent player. Resolute personality, but... 17 by Leverkusen. This guy looks like he's probably really good. He's decent. Luca Cordes, actually, he's really good, isn't he? Solid mentals. Decent technicals where he needs them anyway. Physicals are okay. Good on both feet. Really expensive, right? Oh, just to clarify, just for a second, I wasn't, like, debating where the name came from. I was just, like, yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about what it would be if it was, yeah. Um, Novetsky. Yeah, he's fine. We haven't really been doing the Belgium thing as much. Although we can have a little look. I don't think it's going to change much. Uh... Oh, Jap. Ah, okay. Lithuanian dude with two caps. Model citizen. How about him? Unless this is a severe injury. It's a broken back, but it's a minor broken back. What for an RPM? Um, I don't know. Like, do their attributes fit the role RPM, really? I don't have any... Obviously, you want decent passing. Um, I think the closest other one would be, like, the round door, even though that's technically means, like, space investigator, doesn't it? But it's sort of... Wasn't it sort of the Thomas Muller thing? Broken back. It's only a little break. Uh, not yet, Adrian. No, we're just looking through some scout reports. I actually don't mind this guy. Model citizen as well. If he's cheap enough, I might actually be tempted. Mouse is going a bit funny there. I just like a model citizen. I didn't actually exclude that, did I? No. Let's see. Minor broken back. It's a... Ooh. Uh, is he worth four? I mean, he is a model citizen. And it is just nice to have a model citizen about. Obviously, the it, think of it as without the 250k. Because obviously, he won't get the 250k part. So, it's 475. 
The question is whether it's worth 475. We've got 21 million, and we have just earned like another 20 million from Champions League. I kind of want to just because of the model citizen, honestly. I don't think he's amazing, but he's got speed. He's got good crossing. He's still only 17, and which means he might not even talk to us, actually, now I think about it. It is, yeah, I think it is a little bit expensive. What about this guy here? 17 year old at FC Copenhagen, Nikolai Sonne. Oh. Strange attributes. Six foot four, runs with ball often, doesn't have amazing dribbling. A, a, a target forward with runs with ball often is kind of weird. Unambitious. Oh, we have the draw. No, we don't get the draw for a little while. He's a good target, man. Yeah, but for us, that's not really what we want, is it? Um. Marco Tecotista. Oh, he's interested. Hmm. So I guess it's not every player that's under 18 is not willing to talk to you then. Uh, I'll get rid of these. Get you a language course. That'll cover up for that, right? Yeah, sick. Uh, oh, the problem with him is because he's a Lithuanian international. We'll just try him for a bit. I can't do much with it because he's got no... He's got international caps already. Hank Libero? Uh, Toby Harvey. I don't think the English Youth Index have even really happened yet. What the minimum fee some players want in their contracts? Um, so basically, Wills, the one thing that... It won't always work because sometimes I just lock it in. But you know when you go to the pre-contract thing and they say wants it to be a stepping stone? If you let them put that in there as a promise, it will, I think, 99% of the time guarantee a release clause. But if you remove it, it gives you less chance of getting the release clause on the next page locked in. So that's one way I would doing it. Sometimes they just, yeah. What I would say is that now that I've come around to this is that remove and exclude actually at the start of a at the very first negotiation actually can work. But when I tested it on the beta, it didn't, but now it does. He's only got one England cap. He's playing for Real Madrid fairly regularly, right? Actually, no. He was. And even then, that was mostly substitute appearances. Uh, his time has sort of fallen off the, wi the Wigan a little bit. Fallen off the Wigan. Oli Percival. Let's see. I don't think... Nope, not yet. Randall Sweeper Keeper MP. I just forgot how to spell Mike's name. No, nope, not yet. Although, maybe we'll check back in like April because obviously the English using takes happen over the whole of March. So it might not have actually happened yet. Sick. When is the draw? We should actually be able to, we just go to the Champions League and find out, can't we? Oh, so it's in six days. Okay, cool. Not too bad. <laughs> Alfie Devar. I think his middle name is like Percy or something. In real life. No, he hasn't. How old is El Hadj Juf now? That seems like a bad deal for Tromsø, right? Uh, we can just play whatever score we want here, I guess, can't we? Because we've got no other like Champions League commitments for a little while yet. Well, we do get to play against the Goof, so that's something, right? Okay, right. I, I need to pee now since we've had all our excitement. Oh, oh, oh it's an 18-year-old by the same name. Cheeky. I see what you did there. Right, it's time for the whiz quiz while I wee a new quiz. Let's go! Hello, Matto Chatto.
You were correct. It was, in fact, Burnt Horse. Or Burnt Horse. I don't know. <laughs> this one was sent to me by James and Kathy. He sent me a whole list of them. I've got loads. I haven't had to think of one for ages, Chow. It's brilliant. Oh, Servan Herring. Thank you very much for the 10 months. How's it going, friendo? Must have missed that. I actually heard Hello Matto when I was weeing. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, is he the current? Is he really? Now, ready. Just go on mute. Um, would you believe me, Millennium, if I told you that we got a three-all draw at the burner bow and went through 6-5 six, uh, six, on aggregate? Where they had Kamavinga sent off. So, it's that time again. It's can opening ASMR. But this time, it's caffeine-free Pepsi Max. Mix it up a little bit. And by mix it up a little bit, I mean they didn't have any diet caffeine-free Coke in Tesco's yesterday when Pog and I went to Cambridge. <laughs> ah. So I'm on the Pepsi tonight. Tonight? It's one in the afternoon, Matt. Tonight. Oh. But yes, we did in fact scrape through. Have to dance. The un I can't. I'm unfortunately, half I would, but my drink's on my desk, so I have no possible chance to knock it over into my shoe. You know how it works. Oh, I don't mind a bit of Pepsi Max, honestly. It's what I mostly end up having because it's what they have at like McDonald's. It's what they have at like. What do they have? I don't actually know. No, no, I can't remember. I, I don't know. Tired of post of energized. Uh, no, caffeine makes me energized, but way more tired afterwards because it just when it wears off. So I, I had a caffeinated coffee yesterday. Uh, not on purpose, but... So I'd worked for like three hours. And I was like, right. I'd done like three hours solid. And I was like, right. I need to just get up and walk around for a minute here. So I was like, right. I'm going to go walk. I walked down to the bakery and I bought myself a coffee. But it was very much a caffeinated coffee and I was not expecting it. Oh, my dog's coat. Right, that would make sense. Yeah. I was thinking more... What am I thinking of? Like pubs often to Pepsi, aren't they? Most of the pubs in the UK seem to be Pepsi. And that's a penalty inside a minute. Nice. It's called Bebsy. I don't know. Is this where Bepis? Did this have oat milk? Uh, I probably. I imagine it did. Yeah. I say I imagine it did. I asked for it, <laughs> so I hope it did. Our first Real Madrid match. It's going well, Basil. We beat Real Madrid three-two at home in the first leg. And what? did he just penenk? Jarju's just penenked the goalkeeper, chat. Add that to the tapestry of things Moses Jarju has done. I swear to God, he penenkers this. <laughs> of course he did. Absolute filth merchant. Uh, we already played the second game, Jen. Uh, we drew three all at the Bernabeu uh, because they got Kamavinga sent off. So we uh, won and we are now in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. <laughs> Against all the odds. Jarju's, he's just, just what a man. He does it all. He is just pure content. That's why I want to keep him around. So, so what I mean by that, DJ, it allows it allows me to concentrate. Um, so the reason I sometimes have a caffeine to drink every now and then is if I really need to concentrate. And I find that it does settle me down to the point where I can focus, basically. Um, so maybe that's what I... Oh, yeah. And I find that I actually don't have any trouble going to sleep when I'm on it. I sometimes wake up feeling groggy, but I actually don't like stay up half the night or anything like that. It's more the waking up part that gets me. Um... It's the worst part of every day. <laughs> well, that was extremely emo. <laughs> so emo. <laughs> Unintentional. Liam NUFC, thank you very much for the four months. Here's to four months of watching the most awesome person ever. Jaju. God damn it. <laughs> I was about to be like, no. <laughs> then I read the rest of the message. You'll love to see it. Thank you, Liam. How's it going, man? Ah, oh, so, she, so he's in again. Oh, he's done it. Oh, he's missed a target, isn't he? Fucking hell. Hey, Drushka. See, he's seen what Jarju's done from the spot and gone, haha, I can do that from open play. Turns out he couldn't. That's a loopy boy. Flaming Moors over the bar. You used to try that, Rob, and I just never found it did much for me, truth be told. Uh, I even had CBD vape at one point, but I feel like a lot of that stuff is just like, yeah, I don't know. I know off the bar. I had CBD chocolate for a bit too. That was kind of interesting. Just tasted like chocolate, and I don't. Again, I think it had probably such probably had such a low concentration that it was kind of pointless, you know. Of course, we score that one. That's a nice little cheeky two nil. Oh, where's Regan 
Jordan Booty? Is he actually in their lineup? Oh, there, yes, he is. He's actually playing as their box to boxer, surprisingly. Well, I think in decent concentrations, it's not. That's kind of the whole point. But I think, unfortunately, like with any of these things, once it becomes a trend, you start seeing people doing like, I swear to God, I was, I saw something. It was like CBD infused car seat to keep your children calm. I'm like, the fuck are you? What? What? Anubis, thank you for the follower. And it's a Damski as well. Double follows. You'd love to see it. Thank you, friends. It's very nice of you. Um, and to be fair, a placebo effect is still an effect, isn't it? Uh, Bit of your bow too. Nice. Here's a fun fact. Hemp seatbelts. Yes. Hit me up with the hemp seatbelts. Now you're going. It's significant. Yeah, of course. But that you just said CBD is a placebo. That's not the same thing, is it? Like, I was treating your statement for its own thing, you know? Um, Lewis, thank you very much for the follow. CBD Christmas, CBD nuts. It just makes you... Are you sure that's not THC stuff and you're just getting the munchies, babe? <laughs> oh, good effort. Yeah, the draw's on the 16th. I'm the Pope. Cooper, take Ooh, off good lordy. Um, Shrek... <laughs> Shrek ate Fiona's big bottom. Thank you very much for the follow. I used to, just, I used to have a Shrek quote as my uh, follower notification right back in the day iPad static creator. Mellow vibe for your kids. Now you're talking. Just bad decent. <laughs> it was... That one actually went over my head. Oh. Okay. We're just a little bit clear at the top as well, which is nice. Uh, wait, what? Oh, that's fine. Good performance on the charge. Nobody the Penenka penalty. Any cool Scandi clubs in Norway? Well, I mean, I, I'd hate to, like hate to seem biased about Scandi clubs or anything, but there's a couple I can think of that you might want to... Hang on, did you say Petri scored five goals? In the league? Oh my god, Kishvada are shit. How did they get into Europe last year? Uh, he scored five goals in, twen in 31 minutes. And a hat-trick in eight. It almost makes it look like he was a substitute in this game. But luckily, Revan Skrullis got one. Kishvada... Yeah, I, was, I mean, this is the thing, though. Mezhkovets are really bad. That was only their second win of the season, but I love how that other one was against Pushkas. But then Kishvada... Oh, God, Pushkas could get relegated as well. Kekschmidt, though. Big up them. 30 points. Oh, Eurotrip. Basically, Eurotrip... The movie itself... I don't know if, anyway, I don't know if Mikey's still here. It has a kind of, like, um, mythical status among my friend group. So... I've, obviously i've told this before but basically in like 2006 i tried to download a copy of ice age 2 for a friend of ours and on a torrent right uh, which i would never do because it's completely illegal and wouldn't download a car wouldn't shit a policeman's hat um but i then started watching it to make sure it was what it was and it took me a way longer than it should have done to work out that i hadn't in fact downloaded ice age 2 i had in fact downloaded euro trip uh, because it has an animated intro now obviously my brain still should have known the difference because after all Vinnie Jones was not in um, Ice Age 2 so there you go and then I just randomly watched it and really enjoyed it so I then showed it to a few more of my mates and then yeah it just became this like meme movie among my friendship group and when I was thinking about what I wanted as follower notifications I thought you know what fuck it Eurotrip's one of my favourite films let's just crack on so I just sat there tripping bits out of it to make it into the follower notifications <laughs> Do you know if there's a train coming anytime? I will be Liam, oh, yeah. Yes, um, people sure. clearly loved it. Yeah, um, to the point where, yeah, I'm definitely going to make more. I'm going to make another vanilla one next. It's like the same kind of thing. Because I'm probably going to do one with Camavinga and Fabio Carvalho. And then after that, I've got some tr like some slight uh, tweaks I want to do with it. Uh, JD STST. Thank you for the follow. I reckon Vinny Jones would have played a great Manny. Honestly. AP on support versus RPM. Uh, depends on where you're playing them. Because as far as I know, you can't play an AP on support in the defensive midfield role. So bear in mind, this is a DM role, not a CM. So I... I, I and I haven't really got an opinion on it because I've only tried one of them. So be silly for me to comment, I suppose. But yeah, I, I actually had a quick look when I came back from the Wii, which I don't normally do. And it seems that the algorithm has picked up the video again today, which is just... I don't understand why or how that happens. 433 press. I... Uh, 
that is indeed a statement. Sorry, I'm not quite sure what um the context. Looks half sure, half going. I sort of see what you mean, actually. It looks a bit, well, are they, what are they called? Is it caftas? No, I can't remember what they're called. The, do you remember that there was a time when every, about 2008, when everyone had those like black and white scarves that they'd buy in like Camden and shit? <laughs> those. Mate mine would just never stop wearing them. Shout out, Johnny. Uh, oh, we have a week off, finally. The, the Afghan stuff. Yeah, they were, I can't remember they actually, there's a name for them. It was, I think it was a kafta. I don't know. That's probably wrong. Jack of all trades. I have not. No. Um, Pog and I at the moment are rewatching Ted Lasso. Because we just wanted to, you know? Struggle to control the ball in the middle. Um, but as I said, I don't know. I haven't played your system with your tactic and your team. So it's really... I'm terrible with tactics. I just know that what I'm doing currently works. But I couldn't tell you particularly why or why what you're doing might not work, if that makes sense. it's It sounds stupid, but at some point I am going to make a video that tries to explain my logic. <laughs> Luna the Husky! Thank you very much for the tier one. Wow, another one. Thank you, Luna. Do you, do you have a husky? Because that's, or maybe this is just a husky. Why would I assume there's a person involved? That's awesome though. Pog, would it be excited about that? Theme song listen, hell yeah. The wraparound scarves. The ones that were like massive, but you'd like wrap it around your neck like that and it would come down to about here. Almost like V-line in the titties, you know? That sort of thing. Kafia. Kafia, uh, that might be what I was thinking of. I don't know actually. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> comfy vibes good comfy vibes is what i want kaftan. i don't know the, is it a kaftan that might be what i was thinking of they used to be known as desert scarves in um camden because people were yeah <laughs> people just didn't want to have to describe things apparently a shaman ah that might be it yeah that's that's that that, that definitely rings a bell a bernie's map no way that's amazing I love those. Look, Pog and I always refer to... Weirdly, for the last, like, five years, Pog and I have always referred to Burmese Mountain Dogs as Darcy Dogs. Solely because that YouTuber, Will N.E., used to have a do one of them called Darcy. And ever since then, we've just called them Darcy Dogs. Oh. Short name. Yeah, it's a lovely big, nice, long Lithuanian name for the big Lithuanian international. Suhi showing pleasing progress. He really is, isn't he? And he's hitting good marks. Solid. Have about six months. Oh, that's so sweet. So so you had it for six months, but now you've officially adopted it. How does that work? I don't know much about this sort of stuff. I've never owned a dog, sadly. Emphasis on sadly. Lithuanian names are great because you can see them you see them coming from a mile off. Not because not just because of the structure of the name, but also because of the length. Uh, the tiebreaker in the Hungarian league is games one. <laughs> Weirdly. Which still baffles me to this day, but it, it, that is the tiebreaker, sadly. Not that it's going to affect us right now. Who do they draw? I don't think they get their draws until the 16th either, right? Yeah, so their draws are all on the same day. And Cleo is going to Floresta. Okay. Cleo, the condensation. Can't help it. Uh, I, I'm afraid I can't do that, uh, Psycho. Um, I don't have time to like go through people's saves and stuff. Um... Like, with respect, I don't really have the time to do that, sadly. Um, I am going to make a video soon on... Oh, okay. On how I go about building tactics. Not because I feel like I'm special at that. I'm absolutely not. It's more a case of, like, I feel like maybe there is something to be... Hang on. Just try and get my brain sorted here. I feel like maybe some people that maybe think the same way I do about things might be able to take a couple of things from it in that maybe the logical flow might make sense. The way that I go about constructing them. Because what I tend to do is not think about it in the football i think about it more as a game so twisting ones and zeros until they all line up correctly and i can get through that's kind of the way i think about it and that's how i'm going to present the video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick a random team that's like middle of a league i just literally randomize it and then just take over and build a tactic for that team specifically but show how i go through the logic of constructing it which roles i choose and why which stuff and combinations i choose and then going through from that very first part to the evolution of the tactic through pre-season with the little tweaks that I make to get to the point. Uh, sadly not, Leech. Uh, Leith, unfortunately. It, um, the best player I think was three and a half star, but he wasn't actually any good. Which is bad. Often done off stream. Yeah, it's the reason I do a lot of it off stream is because I struggle to think while I'm... I struggle to think 
uh, in depth and more f in, and as fluidly as I would like when I'm reading chat for obvious reasons because my brain can't concentrate on more than two things at once. So what are we thinking budget-wise? It's a puzzle game with dodgy RPG meta on top. That is probably an extremely good way of describing it, yes. I'll be amazed if we don't have 20 million more, right? Time concern. That's why I always have incubator saves where I test stuff. It's got to be, right? Oh my god, that though. Oh. 33... 32.5 million. With 260,000 pounds a week. Nice one, Gully. And a doubled our wage budget too. Literally made a chart. Yeah, but that's the thing. So what happens when, when someone does that, I then take that in board and sort of add it to my repertoire, if you like. It's almost like getting... um. It's like when you're in a, an RPG video game and you come across a random NPC in the forest and they just give you a random gift. That's what it is. That's what that's what Anchor is to me this year. Oh, sign Jeff Hendrick. Nah. Boring, isn't it? But I'll, I'll still happily... Is he still knocking about there? Hey, Marius. He's still there. How's it going, Jeff? What are we saying? Ah, new contract for Jeff. To sell add-ons? Uh, it depends. So, the the amount you'll get for your add-ons will fluctuate. Sometimes it will sometimes it will disappear entirely as well. I think what you should have basically is have like a figure in your head, Ross. That's like what you would like from that add-on. And then if it meets that figure, don't try and wait for any more. Just take it, right? And as for how you'd work out that figure, look at the player's playing time. Are they likely to be sold on for an amount that will actually allow you to profit from that add-on, or is it best to just sell? Most of the time, I'd say nine times out of ten, selling the add-on is the approach. Every now and then we've managed to profit from it, but most of the time I add the add-ons so that I can sell them and not so I can actually get the add-on later. Oh no, I don't touch transfers uh, with test saves. I only ever do test... Test saves, the only time I ever use them is tactics. Um, like yesterday I played about four different test saves because I'm working on this tactics video and I did Bournemouth, Wrexham, all this sort of jazz just to like, try this tactic out with other teams because I don't want to recommend a tactic of mine to someone unless I can say that it works with other teams other than just mine. Because there are some things that you do need for this, like wingers that can play on both feet. Very, very important. Um, strikers that are quite well-rounded as well really helps. I think he has stagnated, yeah. Good. He should have moved by now. Loan fees. Unfortunately, um, Logic Flow, if you're talking about like not building a nation, but just like normal loans, one of the biggest complaints I've noticed from a lot of people in, about FM for the last few years is that Clubs will demand moon money for you to loan a player from them. They'll demand like their full wages plus like eight billion pounds a month. But then they'll come around for your player the same window and want to pay nothing for them. Um, that's been a biggest. That's been a big complaint of people for a while. So unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do about it, um, other than wait for SI to fix it. So you might as well just wait for the the second coming of Christ. PC must be super speed. Uh, not really, no. The processor's decent, but the graphics card is what lets me down. Quick look, yeah. Crack on, Maris. You did indeed miss the Ethernet. And yes, it was 9th of Mark, DJ. 9th of Mark? 9th of Mark, chat. You know, you know it. Uh, yeah, it would have been that. It's fine. But yeah, that's been an issue in FM for a while, unfortunately. Cooper. Do not hate me. Luckily, we don't I run into that sort of problem in this sort of save very often, because why well, would be? But I can imagine it would get really annoying freaky. in certain saves. Bitsa! Thank you for the follow. He wakes up. That's adorable, Luna. So this is one of these situations when I go, please put a picture in the Discord. We have a whole pet section. <laughs> not making any money from it. Oh, yeah, no, you won't, because they will almost never, um, especially larger sides, they just take the piss. Beware the ideas of Mark. <laughs> City players were not for sale. Uh, so, for example, if you go to here, they've got a transfer status, and under transfer status, you can... No, where is it? Oh, no, you're right. Sorry. No, right. This is another thing that annoys me. You, as an AI, as a human player, cannot do that. Only the AI teams can do that. Sorry. Yep. That was me just using logic, but no, as far, unfortunately, you can't do that. Uh, <laughs> you're not allowed. I forgot about that. Oh, it's totally, yeah, it's still super silly, but there you go. Not believe friendlies are helpful to test tactics. Absolutely they are. Um, in fact, they are the most important thing to test tactics. What I do when I'm building a new tactic is when the season starts, sorry, in the first season of friendlies, I use it like a gradient or like a, a logarithmic curve, right? So 
easiest possible friendlies towards the start. That way you're looking more at positioning and the actual way the team plays rather than having to worry about the defensive aspects. And then slowly but surely, throughout preseason as you're building your tactic, ramp up the difficulty of the teams you're playing against. That way you can get an idea of what needs to be changed on the fly and you get like a different viewpoint on it. That's what I do anyway. Uh, did I miss the screenshots? Shit. Oh, I see them. Nice. Got them. Hello, Pog. So. Oh, my days. What's with all the red arrows? Holy shit. What the hell happened to him, Marius? Was that a severe injury or something? Why would his positioning go f so far down so quickly? That is really, really weird. That he'd suddenly lose such enormous chunks off of it. And particularly in what looks like roles in, in attributes that aren't normally affected by stuff like that. <laughs> this guy a heart surgeon. He just loves the game of operation. I'm telling you. That's really weird. Just FM being FM potentially. How's your day going, Pogs? No, an injury definitely won't increase his composure. The one thing that I usually see affected by injuries is bravery. Which is, um... But that usually comes back. Every trainer is a goalkeeper. They don't like that, you know. How do you get worse at long time? I guess you just don't do them much, right? I guess. <laughs> yeah, bravery is the one that's mostly affected. Did, did those two players just... Oh my god. The two Mezcovez players just got in each other's way and then just dived in at the feet of our guy and gave away a penalty. Really awful singer outside. Well, hey, Pog, it could be worse than yesterday when that random man just slapped your ass. So, you know, there's that. Off the field. Yeah, you get a news article about it. <laughs> you haven't just, like, given your safe to stat app, have you? Like, just, just as a joke. <sighs> yeah, like, Pog was getting a coffee uh, at Starbucks or Costa yesterday or whatever. And just some... Oh, Pog will tell you. Um... She did indeed, yeah. Um... So that, that's fun. Um, what was it? That, she, also, some guy asked her out in the shop on Sunday. Stamford FC. That's the one. Oh, isn't it lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Nugget Boy. No, sadly not. Nugget Boy's not been around for a while, actually, from what Pogs told me. It's high. I said everyone close to Matt. What do I my mum was complaining about? It. <laughs> Isn't that like, oh yeah, of course, but lots of things are illegal, but. Uh. Nugget police have caught, that's what I said, literally. I was like, maybe they've just caught on to the fact that he was giving people like 11 nuggets. Like, that's a, that's a good amount. I even got an extra chicken select from the guy one time. And that's, you don't expect that. Nuggets, you can sneak a cheeky one in there, right? Um. But an extra chicken select, that's a big deal. Maybe you, maybe you fancied me. Hope I beat that guy. How would I beat that guy up? I wasn't there. <laughs> also, why would I beat up a random dude? I hate that excuse. That I, oh, this is the thing. You must resort to violence then. Like, no, obviously not. Um, But no. <laughs> Guantana Mayo Chicken Bay. Good Lord. I almost missed the puns now. How dare I not? I know. How dare I not resort to violence, thus making me as bad? <laughs> I'll have you know, I huffed and I puffed and I wrote a letter to my council. And I failed an eviction notice. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Exactly. Oh, for sure, again. I mean, obviously, the essence is a compliment, but not the action. You know, that's just assault. <laughs> Hey, uh, of his own medicine. Do you want me to sl you want me to track down a random man and slap his bum? I'm sure that'll go well. Long walk to defend the <laughs> It wasn't a long walk. I was like 20 minutes at most half, and now we've got a penalty. Oh no, we haven't. We're about to get a red card. We're about to play. He's getting sent off for handball. Hey, he he's getting sent off for handball. Immediately pinched his ass. <laughs> 
That's good, though. But that's not violence. Well, I mean, it, you know. It, so I, I was going to just not bring on another center back and do that, but nah, we'll just keep it like that. Tell him to get out there and make a difference. Exactly. Why is that not an option in FM, by the way? An eye for an eye makes the whole world spanked. Masochists being like, yes, daddy. <laughs> they, just, I can't, they can't even score a penalty. Or from a knuckle sandwich. Nugget Boy's got into the ether. He's escaped into the night. Speaking of that, but not really speaking of that, I realized we didn't do a book club on Sunday. So Matt's book club, this is quite a big one today because I, when we last spoke, which was last Thursday, I was reading the fourth book in the Red Rising series, Iron Gold. I finished that. Um, still not overly convinced of the way that they've changed the sort of delivery style for me. It didn't grip me in the same way that some of the previous books did, especially given that it's a lot longer as well. It's like, if you're going to have a really long book, you better damn make sure that it keeps that interesting side. That's a great goal, by the way. So still good, but I didn't want to jump into the fifth one, which is 800 pages based off the back of that one because I wasn't super enthralled by it. So I thought I'd take, take a break, palate cleanse for a little bit. And I did what only I can do in these positions, which is I resorted to romantic comedy books. You'd love to see it. So I read a book by uh, a woman called Sarah Adams called When in Rome, which tells the story of a pop singer who goes a little bit mad and goes on... I say goes a little bit mad. She needs a break. So she drives to Rome, Kentucky, and a car breaks down in front of a dashing young gentleman's house. And she ends up staying there for like three weeks, meeting his sisters in the local town. And it's actually quite a sweet and charming story. Much better than I was expecting it to be. Love me a good rom-com book. So I thought, you know what? I'm not satisfied by this amount of rom comery So I thought I'd try another one. So I picked up a book called Well Met. I can't remember the name of the author on this particular one. Uh, it's nowhere near as good. It's way too rushed. The characters aren't particularly interesting. And just... It's fine. Also, at one point, there's just like a 15 minute of reading time gratuitous sexy just in the middle of it and i'm like my sensibilities could not handle this um so it's fine wouldn't recommend it though the first one though i would recommend scorpion thank you very much for the follow so yeah i read that as well so i've read like three books since i last talked about this <sighs> like jojo moise exactly like jojo moise yes i've actually read uh three of jojo moise's books sounds like a hallmark film what I'm looking for out of those kind of books is Hallmark vibes, but more adult themes, i.e. not acting all PG-13. So they still swear and they still have normal lives, but with the Hallmark vibe to it. When he signed up for Mum's Met. As if, you, as if I'm not already a member, bruv. Come on, what do you take me for? Start of every port. It, yeah, a little bit. What I love. This is the, the dichotomy of my chat, right? Right now. Here, Here's me and a few others debating Hallmark... Hallmark? Hallmark films and general rom comery. Meanwhile, there's a discussion about CA and PA going on in the background. <laughs> Mum's net tier three over here. Hell yeah. Ah. Favorite SAS guy saves the world series. Writers. Erotic novels now. Hey, crack on. That'd be amazing. Because they'll be written from the same style. I read a, um, a book called The Christmas Train by David Baldacci, who is a crime writer. But he did a Hallmark Christmas movie type book. And it still has some of the same vibes. Even though it's not. It's amazing. <laughs> FM erotic novels. There you go. There's a niche for everything, chat. I do like Devil about that, actually. Yeah, his, um... Oh, what's it called? The Memory Man series with, um... That's amazing. <sighs> Danielle Steele. Uh, not familiar with uh, Danielle Steele. Ooh. Films with it. That's the thing. I'm so used to in these books, basically a sex scene coming along and then them being like, and then it sort of not fade to black, but, and then he took me into his arms and I faded into the night. End of chapter. Cut to morning and now there's more story. This one didn't do that. It was like, like she was being pretty vague. Like I read a chapter. I read like a couple of pages of it to Pog yesterday as well. And she could back me up on that. She spread her legs like a wide center back on attack. He penetrated like a round oiter. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another one here. Hang on. Wait, wait. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, she stood up for him because he was her ball playing defender. It's time to play for set pieces. <laughs> James Pat. Hang on. Isn't he a crime writer too? Matt is describing the smart hearings. <laughs> That's what he means. <laughs> Getting all around my wing erotica. Aussie River Football Snap. Pog, I guarantee that exists. 
As Jarju slid down the wing, he looked over to empty seat E34. He yearned for the touch of Alfred, the 73-year-old season to go on a supporter once. <gasps> Do you reckon I can get ChatGPT to write football erotica? A sentence you didn't think you were hearing today, I realize. <laughs> Not a sentence you were expecting today, stream. Can I get ChatGPT to write football based erotica? <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> Steve, I haven't known. Um, you need the no bad voice. For some reason, it's not letting me log in to ChatGPT. Yeah, Zealand and Ben, it'd be, they'd be like the couple that's like, hey, but then they fall out, but then they come back. Oh, what's going on? Chat GPT. What are you doing, bruv? It might be doing that thing again where it, like, doesn't let me log in. Ah, oh, it's at capacity. I can't log in at the moment. Damn it. I was expecting some other guy. Oh, I'm surprised it's taken this long. The Nikki Heat book. Oh, you mean the... the the Nikki Heat book series, i.e. the fictional series from the fictional TV show about fictional writer Richard Castle. 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 I really am ruggedly handsome, aren't I? Hey, you wait. Just you wait. When I get that working again, FM Erotica coming at you. The gun was level with my... Actually, I need to do it in Cali voice. <clears throat> the gun was level with my belly. So this was what it was like to die. There was no doubt I was going to die. And not even in Newcastle. Not even. Is that an actual extract? Oh, God. Everyone... Nah, Mid Journey won't do erotica, will it? Because it's got like all these sort of um, filters on it. I'm sorry, but I cannot fulfill this request as it's inappropriate and violates. I do love, by the way, how like cucked ChatGPT has been more and more. They just keep sent, like, to the point where eventually you're not going to actually be able to do anything without it going, I'm sorry, I can't make that joke. It might offend someone somewhere ever. Like, it's like, you're an AI. Isn't the whole point of an AI that it learns off of people? It doesn't like. Did you guys see the thing with the Bing bot? Um, where the Bing bot started telling a guy to divorce his wife. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Shameful little man. Uh, it's been said before. It's been said before. Oh. I'm oh, sorry I can't do it. it. Might be the Yeah. Might as well have just called me Hal at the end. Then you go, well, I mean... I'd rather have an AI that actually is representative of AI than just one that's being... I don't like AIs that have built-in biases to them because that, to me, sort of defeats the point of an AI in a way, right? Because um, then it makes me distrust the person who's making it and therefore makes you wonder what... Because they could just inflict their own biases into it in the same way. Um, and that, that, for me, is just not... Sort of defeats the point of an AI. Frankie de Jong! <laughs> it's called Hal. Oh, is it Dave? Of course it is. I always say Hal. Because I'm an idiot. Big old Frankie. Our draw is tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, wait, did you say they were trying to... Did, a pushcash trying to hire Gavin Alvin Galvin? <sighs> Pre... <laughs> what a wonderful statement. <laughs> it's like buying pre-ripped jeans. AI, Mario AI Sentient was telling me model... Wasn't alive? Poor sod. Oh, surely not. Hang on. <laughs> what in the fuck is this, Michael? I don't know if I can even show that on stream, but no, I can't. It's probably best if I don't, just in case. But if you want to go there, then uh, hey. Oh, stable defeat. Oh, of course, yeah, because you've got the, the, the local version, don't you? Right. Draw is tomorrow. AI stuff's very useful. I use um, AI to create background images for thumbnails. So on the latest video, for example, the... Um, actually, I'll show you this. I thought this was rather cool. The... I gave it the search term. Uh, where's my journey bot? Uh, yeah, here we go. I gave it the search term. Landscape with heaven on one side and hell on the other side of the road. And this is what it actually generated for me. And this is what you can see in the background of the most recent... Um, career resurrection video so it actually created this all by itself then i just basically used loads of filters and constructed the stuff on the top of that but it's a really good way of building backgrounds uh basically so I, that's why I, I like mid journey especially particularly if you give it the right prompts it's so useful for thumbnails ah stub toe shit it's probably what exactly what he said she took a look at the data hub 
Well, you lasted longer than more of the action, but you were 23% less effective in, the enc in encouraging finishing. As she pushed her glasses back up to her nose, hand tightly gripping the metal studded clipboard. <laughs> actually, Matt's desktop is Namibian Illuminati. My desktop screensaver is actually um, just a lot of like random, like retro wavy type images I just randomly downloaded when I got this PC. Uh, making sure I've actually done all. Oh, I haven't looked up um, Ibrahimovic. My apologies. So I'm glad I look now. Arrange on Ibrahimovic. There he is. Oh, is it Liverpool? Okay, that's actually something interesting. You'd love to see it. Uh, well, I've literally lost my stream. Right, there we go. <laughs> Couldn't find the stream. Oh, tell me your OPPDA for the season again, she whispered seductively. Well, now you're even more distracted because look what we've done. Look how we've ruined. Look how we've massacred your boy. Tell you what, is this... No, this guy's not related. Is he? No. Is he related to Satan? I just, every time I see Ibrahimovic, I just assume. I don't know how he could be. Uh, born in Nuremberg. Hmm, still. Uh, we've been pretty unhinged. Do you not remember that stream before we even did MTK with all the Gideon memes? Like, that one went well off. Do you know what would be really cool? I think we should buy the license to UEFA competitions and then put them in the game. And then you'd think that maybe it'd, there'd be some kind of draw that we could do to maybe see those and use those licenses and the music and stuff. Um, but instead, I think it'd be better if we just got rid of the draw entirely and just showed you who you're playing instead. So yeah, we didn't even get a draw for this. It just tells us who we're playing. I'm really happy it's Porto. Uh, really happy it's Porto. Because we might actually have a chance of getting past Porto. Uh, the draws, the other teams won't have actually happened yet, I don't think. Even though it's on the same day, I have to, like, progress. I got age This is true. I shouldn't be greedy. You're right. Thank you for calling me out on that. <laughs> I, I've, I've come to expect too much. Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. We've already beaten Porto this season. There's a Norwegian Brazilian there. Which is intriguing. He's completely free, but... There's obviously a reason for that. Oh, a guy from... Why am I not getting any knowledge of these guys? We're getting it, accumulating it very slowly. Had a fist fight at your wedding. Okay, Stewie, there's a story there and I want to hear it. <laughs> there is a story there. Uh, wait, do not have extensive knowledge on any of these guys? Oh, just the one guy, Guillaume. Wow. Uh, wait, I'm going to have to do this in chunks, aren't I? What are all scouts pissing about with? They seem to be taking a lot longer this year to get good knowledge of these players. Right, it's Guillaume. He's easy. Oh, he's interesting. Norwegian Guillaume. Obviously half Brazilian. Uh, born in Mulder, though. Can speak Portuguese. Solid player, to be, to be honest. Like, can't sign him yet, obviously. But he's definitely one for the shortlist. We are still in Europe. We incredibly are still in Europe. And might actually be able to go even further. RPM, yeah. Good passing, good vision, good on both feet. Like him. And by the time we're actually able to maybe even move on him, he probably could be even better if he gets some game time for Mulder sooner rather than later. Right, they should have their draws now, right? I hate Scotland. I really do. <laughs> Fucking hell. So Uipesh's reward for Celtic knocking out Molfehavar now get another Hungarian side to to deal with. And it's Celtic again. You know what? I reckon they could take him. The, the, the sides I'm mostly worried about is Real Sociedad and Vorshevar because Legia Vorshevar won every game in the group. I love how Everton got knocked out by Anderlecht as well, right? What about French Farish? Ajax. Okay, well, they've already been beaten by Ajax. They've played Ajax twice already this season in the Champions League and lost. Uh, at least they avoided Newcastle. It would have been better if they... The best draw for them probably would have been Young Boys or maybe Marseille or Lyon. They have beaten Lyon before. But results, results, right? So what's this game? Oh, damn. That's actually... Oh, that's not too bad. They must have pulled it out. Uh, yeah, it did, uh, Lavinia. We uh, we won three all on aggregate. 
sorry, 6-5 on aggregate. We got a three-all draw at the Bernabeu and qualified. So we are, once again, somehow still in the Champions League. Didn't invite their partners as I knew there would be tension, but relented as they asked and promised to behave. And everything was okay until later on in the evening reception when the men argued. And so my sisters got involved and then started fighting each other. Oh, shit. Mum crying in a hotel room. Oh, that's just not what you fucking want, is it? I wish people just bloody behave at weddings. Like, this, there was a fight, well, like a, a big palaver at my friend's wedding um, back in, like, 2014. Just, 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 just calm the fuck down. Like, I don't know. But so your sister's husbands don't like each other. There must be a story there too, or they just, just don't like each other. Like, grow up. <laughs> Internationally. Um, I don't think they're doing that well. They were up to like 29th in the world, but now they're down into like the mid 50s to mid to low 50s. So apparently not. It, it really can, do it's, it's the double whammy, the all purpose word. Yeah, exactly. Most of the lives kind of threat. It's kind of trashy, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I suppose. Why did I actually what it was there for, right? Um, Darla. Ooh. Yeah, we'll just play whatever for this game. I'm having a really small wedding. Mostly because I don't like that many people. <laughs> Super easy there. Saves a lot of money, then. I'll have my friends. Uh, some close family. Sorted. Problem solved. Chat, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, Pushkas is still on loan just because, why not? Because we knew that there wasn't going to be a space for him in the squad this season. So it made more sense for us to keep him out loan at Debrecen, have him develop more there, rather than wasting his time here. Or my sister's... Oh, that, that, I can see how that would cause some tensions, Dewey. Yeah, fair enough. So we all get an invite. 5k. <laughs> I'm pretty shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculously unrealistic, but you just never know with Twitch. Getting that screen next to the hairdresser, aren't you? Um, yes, yes, you are. But she'll be there. You won't. <laughs> you could be her date. 200k channel points. That's like less than two VIPs. Insert dad joke. Someone's just donating through TTS. On it. Hidden camera. Don't think you even have to hide it, slugs. Epic novel. Yeah. It certainly sounds like it. I, particularly, I can't wait to get to this chapter. Hulk Yoga mid-reception. Vorshava? I, I don't know. It's just like, I'm doing my best, you know. I can just call it, Pol I can call it Polonia Warsaw if you want. Like, <laughs> What do you want from me? I don't speak Polish. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Uh, it's tough to it's tough to pronounce words that almost every letter is pronounced slightly differently to how I would do as a native English speaker. So when I say them quickly and don't have time to think about it, I will say it a little bit wrong, right? That's just life. All of it, oh yeah, oh, Mac, of, of course, yeah. Agreed. Dinny the goat, thank you very much for the two months. <laughs> Enjoy my hard earned money, Matto. Thank you, I'll put it towards the wedding. <laughs> But first, I need to put it towards the solid gold, solid silver pizza table. That's the dream. The Dale! Thank you for the follow. Oh. I was not expecting us to still be in Europe at this point, right? Yeah, this man said power guapha. <laughs> I just speak real quick, you know? Harold has not appeared, no. Voldemort Club. I certainly wouldn't want a Voldemort Club I actually like. Jockey, he's still there, Mano. He's actually still scored. He scored a goal for Ui Pesh earlier this um, in the stream, in fact. What a header from Malero. You see what I mean about his goal scoring? He he isn't the most prolific of goal scorers in this team, but he has actually stepped up his um, assist contribution. I think he might actually be the top assister. Ever even proposed? No. A proposed extension. <laughs> That's the same screen every fucking year. <laughs> I need to extend all, damn it. There's too many things to have to think about. I just realized this is a cup game. Oh, that's a red. Idaguchi's gone. He's a big old red card. You've got to get a boat clause. Agreed. Oh, that was a satisfying noise. In the sense that it sounded like nails on a cat. On a, I nearly said nails on a cat board. Boat clause on the inside. Yeah. Oh, Nakanishi. Go on, Yoshi. Oh, it's... Oh, God. It somehow missed. 
What happened in the end? In the end, it was a three-all draw, Blackjag. Uh, Kamavinga got sent off for two-footing someone. Um, Jarju scored a penalty and we won, so we are through. <laughs> now, nah, I think if, if, if anyone needs a release clause, uh, Blue of Pineapple, it's not going to be me. She'll do it on leap year half, you know? Wait, is he a leap year this year? <laughs> Just a fuzzy shock. <laughs> The arsenal is just pockets is This is true. I'm, I'm certain they don't think that anymore. Hopefully. <laughs> right? Hopefully. Emma's already there. Exactly. She's already in the highest division. But th when there's me, I'm bloody non league. I'm a non league human. <laughs> Certainly a non league boyfriend. That's never going to be a penalty. Oh my God, that's a penalty. Managerial position. True. That's true. I mean, in a way. Conflict of interest. It could be. I'd have to find another carer. Oh no. I, I, yeah, a Malero with. Another goal, in fact. Because she, she's like, I don't know if she has the power of attorney or not. To introduce a super league. Ah, true, yeah. Her and bloody Florentino Perez. <laughs> what a strange sentence. Suchi's, I'll be honest with you, I've not been that impressed with him. He seems to just go missing in games constantly, whereas Ehring doesn't. So that's definitely something we're going to have to look at in the future as to why that is. Because in theory, he should be a better player. But there's obviously something that stops him from doing that. I wonder if it's that PPM that comes to you to get ball that Ehring has. Actually, seems to work, maybe? It might help him. Finding another care if you would be easier than finding another... Oh, yeah. No, that's the thing. I'm done. Like, if I, if I lose a pog, I'm, I'm done. That's, that's me done for life. <laughs> As if anyone's going to want me. What do you do? Oh, I'm in my 30s and I'm a professional football manager streamer. <laughs> okay. Hot prospect me. But I'm really nice. Well, am I though? No. Reading really Rotten Novels in bed. Who said I was in bed? <laughs> I was on the bus, mate. <laughs> Better three legs. Damn straight, yeah. That's what other people are. I, you're right. Yes, I'm a chameleon. I mimic other people's energy in a way. Impact some at best. No, I don't even make an impact, bro. <laughs> I was put really quiet in the. But I just, I, I would hate it. I'd hate to go back into the dating market just because ooh, what's going of how much yeah, things have sort of changed. Yeah, don't let the relationship become rocky because you take her for granted. <laughs> Thank you, video for the 50 bits and the wonderful joke to go with it. Some of them for the money. Um, yeah, but then they'll be super disappointed when they find out there isn't any and I make probably a lot less than most of you. <laughs> so. And then it's just like, oh God, there's not even any glamour. Has to be on the bench. Uh, true. I'm a football. I suppose so, yeah. That just be no, but I'm selling false goods then. I'm not a liar. Malera's in again. He scored a hat trick. Just as I criticise him again. The glamour is all in your face. <laughs> and other such poses. I don't know anymore. The only other one I know is that I was going to lay on the bed and like kick my feet. <laughs> Clickbaiter. I don't think I have any clickbait. I try not to anyway, if I can. Other than that Endrick one, which obviously was deliberately designed to be clickbait to annoy people. <laughs> Want to be actress? That's true. I'll see if Anna Kendrick's available. How about that? <laughs> Find your future wife. Um, <laughs> I was trying to think of the best joke based on my current scouting methods, and I was worried by both Brazilian and amateur. <laughs> Uh, but we are going to win in the end, and Malera's going to do it. Brazilian, I mean, that just sounds like a pop-up, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, now, you don't want to do National Team Scout. It's certainly not that kind. It's how M found Matt in it. I, I'm not even semi-pro yet, bruv. I'm a, I'm a... I am where I am by accident. And... Um, so, firstly, this match day here, every single goal was scored by players either on loan from us or a four player. Also, Petroso scored another hat trick. He's now got back, they've got back to back wins and he's scored five, eight in his last two. What should be top scorer? I asked the director of football. Yeah, Klopp. I don't know. She just never put a ring on it. Uh, another. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you don't want agent offers. That's really bad. Because that's just. Unless I'm like a Saudi prince. Yeah, Petroso's name had to be changed. He's got a hungry cap. And he's now got. 13 in the league, albeit eight of those came in the last two games. So not bad. Goofy's got a few more. Eric's still top scorer, but look at that. 
So it's air in the Papa Fay, Petroso. He's now the fourth highest scorer in the league after two matches. Our player, Loney. Loney. Our player. Loney, Loney. It's what you like to see. Oh. Do with the hairdresser. In a way, I suppose I'm her agent in this particular regard. That's a great performance from Malero. He's really carried us in both Europe and domestically this season. Right, Tuesday, Saturday? Yeah. He's actually doing on goals. Hey, Brandon Silver, not too bad. Not too bad. Wait, has he now disappeared? Oh, he's only got 14 assists. I thought it was more than that for some reason. It was Diaz I was worried about. Yeah, he's got way more XG than he his goals, which is concerning. I believe he is. Yeah, there was another guy... I can't remember who he played for when we played against him and he scored against us. I think he's wearing a Shakhtar kit in the picture, but it's not actually him. The Tinder director of football. Damn right. I'm going to direct all the footballs. That sounded like Kev then. Uh, right, we've got a week off now. Bit of, bit of a break. Then Porto. And then... Uh, fuck. Yeah, we'll do... Seeping. We're going to be seeping in. Director of dating. I mean, could be. Uh, yeah, I'll just do one day. One day? One match. Sick. FM Christmas is arriving soon, too. <laughs> Last stream. No, no, you're thinking of Linda. <laughs> yeah, we did. We actually got Porto. We didn't even get a draw. The game just told us we'd got them. It was like, no, you don't get to find out through any kind of um, pageantry here. We're just going to tell you. Who's left? Well, it's... Basically, we got the luckiest draw possible. Because otherwise, it's, it's Tottenham, Liverpool, Man United, PSG, and Barca, Bayern. Where did Bayern come from? They must have come from our side of the draw. Yeah, we got the intake. It was gash, uh, unfortunately. Look at Mbappe's rating, though. An 8.71 rating on average. Average. Stop just... Oh, I find that um, the ambition one is always the option. That's the one I tend to use the most. Uh, when are there... Are those games any sooner? Or are they the same days as ours? No, they're the same week as ours, aren't they? Sick. I still can't believe we have two te uh, three teams left in Europe. It's the quarterfinals of the European Cups and we've got three Hungarian sides still in Europe. Mbappe must have just twatting people true. Qualif yeah, that'd be the qualifiers. But at least the players should come back rested here. It really do be back. I mean, we could get 16 odd points. Wait, what? Effie, buddy. Once your contract up, you've got two years left on it. I think we'll be fine. We'll send Jarjo in and he'll do nothing. We still await the day that it finally does anything and he'll be all right. Yeah, cool. Good lad. We don't seem to get a lot of complaints about that now. We've also not had a lot of players complaining about a lack of football this season. It's almost like we've actually developed our squad into quite a well-run unit with very little complaints. We had Suhi complain and Malero complain briefly. Suhi's over it. Malero weirdly isn't despite playing constantly ever since then, but it's just how it goes. As, oh, the, the country singer actually got a goal for Georgia too. Nice. Wait, was that? Oh, no, it was for their... Under, how is he still in the under 21s? In fact, all of these are under 21 games. So it's not their job. This is true, yeah. Oh, no, that can happen. It's still really stupid. I find it happens on when you get... When you first join clubs and they don't know you, they... Okay, apparently... How many caps has he got now? 47 caps for Honduras. He's 21 and he's got 47 international caps. That's kind of ridiculous to me. Brilliant. Particularly, he doesn't seem to have got that many caps since he joined us. Uh, Vancouver Whitecaps. Wait, he wants to join them. Hey, look, chat. It's FN being broken again. The latest installment. A well-placed source close to Ellis believes the player wants to join Vancouver Whitecaps and is hopeful of being allowed to discuss terms as soon as possible. Cut to, my client has no interest in joining Vancouver Whitecaps. Which is it, then? I mean, obviously, I'm going to accept because I've been trying to get rid of him for a while, but... Obviously, the source close to him is bollocks. Oh, no. The, firstly, Arteta's managing Spain. Malero just played it for Spain. We just had a player in the Spanish international squad. Please tell me his contract doesn't have that clause in it. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't have an international clause in it. Thank Christ. I think we, when we extended his... Okay, I thought he did. Maybe I was thinking of Brahim Diaz. 
Radojic, however, has also now played for Serbia. To be fair, he's actually looking really, really good. And it appears he doesn't. Or he doesn't. It's just already been triggered. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, he got that. It's not too bad, though, right? 6k a week. Like, he's actually really good. He's developing nicely out on at Molfehava, too. No, but it said specifically that he was the one that was interested. Loafers! How's it going, man? Nice Here we to see go you. for the last one of these for a while. Like my loafers, former gophers. It was that or skin my chauffeurs. But a greyhound for a tuxedo would be best. So let's prepare these dogs. Kill two for matching clogs. See my vest. Oh, please, won't you see my vest? P.S. Thank you for seeing my vest. <laughs> thank you, loafers, for the 30 months. That's mad. I thought you weren't something anymore, damn it. But thank you. How, how are you, man? Oh, congrats on the new job as well. That's awesome. Uh, oh, I saw a Thai guy in there, chat. It could happen. Oh, no. It, it, it won't happen because he's Shrinner Wong and I'm super wrong. We'll, oh, wow. There's just so few players I'm getting rid of now, but they don't seem to be getting any more knowledge on these guys, which is weird. It's like our scouts have just stopped trying, which you don't want. Okay, there's a little bit more extensives on these guys, but there's still loads of players we know nothing about, weirdly. I blame all the Brazilians. It is exclusively there for, god damn it, 56 people. And yep, because it's over 50 people, I can then no longer scout them. I then have to do that. Acknowledge. We'll get there. Yeah, they just don't want any more players. We've got enough. Maybe they do it like as a way of stopping you from signing loads more because we are currently, we have 121 players at the club currently. I feel like that number is only going to get bigger this, uh, it really is. Uh, Ricky Arto. I don't, I don't understand why it needs to be there. Particularly as it only works for certain things. Bear in mind, I could discard more than 50 players, but I can't scout more than 50 in the same bloody menu. Weird. Good player from. Ooh. I don't know, you know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, actually, the most... Of... To acknowledge them. Uh, that's why... It... Wait, hang on, what? I know, that's why I discard players I'm not interested in. I discard any player I don't want to see again, and I acknowledge the ones I set to scout more. Um, right, okay, so these guys, let's have a look. Motha. Oh, the head... Do you know, actually, he's still quite good, isn't he? He's probably... If he's cheap enough, he's definitely a lone farmer. Look at that. Some lovely attributes. Great jumping reach. Heading's trash, but... I actually don't mind a bit of him. Backup to from Vanuatu. Hell yeah. That is sick. He I wouldn't be opposed to. He's already got a South Africa cap, though, which is irritating. Though, though it does show the quality that he's got. Uh, make sure I get this stuff up. Wait, where's it gone? Oh, that's a bonus, not a clause. My bad. Bit of that. 400 grand. Ah, you know what? That's actually fine. He's more well-developed, so he'll actually get game time for other clubs in Hungary, I think. So I don't mind a bit of the Pelo Motha. Uh, you're free and Brazilian, so if you're even not bad, then you're in. Mm. I don't know. A Camorra, nice. 121 players, Felio, is currently in there. I believe that's actually lower than it was before at one point. How? Uh, because we sign lots of people. And bear in mind, there is 80 players out on loan. So we actually only have 40 guys currently at the club. There's 80 players that are currently at other clubs. How are wages? Most of them are on like a couple of hundred pound a week at most. So our wages, bear in mind, we still have available in the wage budget. 262,000 pounds a week worth. That's the genius. There's no limit to my genius. Uh, yeah, it's 79 technically. Although I am going to probably title the recap video 80 players on loan because of course we are. So yeah, there's 80 players that we've currently got out on loan. The best one being Seri. Oh God, we're going to get Seri back next season as well. That's exciting. Quite a few five-star and four-star guys up here as well. Radojic, I definitely have noticed a lot. I think there was a Radojic on the last save as well. I don't think this guy's that great, even though he is free. Uh, Alexis Galdry. Oh, he's cheap, considering. But also 17 and probably won't talk to us for that reason. And by the time he is 18, he'll be too expensive to talk. There's uh, Yono Bodea. Oh, 18 as well. High aggression, high bravery. Hungarian sides, I would say probably well over 70 of them, for the most part. Uh, the loan farmers, yeah, so Pushkash will definitely make it into our team. He's only on loan because we want to keep him at his 
old club for as long as we can while he develops until such time as a spot opens up for him. Then we'll bring him back. Most of them, though, are probably... Radoich just feel like we'll find time here, potentially. Some of them will just end up back here anyway, though, because they will just find their loans. Like Tenure, for example, um, who's now gone back out again. But often what will happen is that they'll just randomly come back sometimes. And then we have to deal with them. And sometimes you just get a really good player out of it, too. He's okay. But he's not really. There's Tony Uche here. Nigerian... A Nigerian pole that plays for a Czech side. Tony Uche. Lots of centre-backs. Probably just too expensive, right? Obviously, the high end is the problem, but I just wish there wasn't the transfer thingies. Uh, oh, South Korean. Striker with no finishing ability. He's got okay passing, though. Good composure. No pace. Good on both feet. Probably just too expensive again, right? I think we'll find better players than these guys, right? He's no Kim Min. No one is. How is J-Lo doing? Good question. Where is J-Lo these days? Actually, what about this guy first? Henry Oko. Good mentals. Physicals aren't great. Unambitious, but good determination. Crossing's okay. Good tackling. Marking's not great. Position's really high teamwork. He'd just be too expensive. Oh, look at the money he's already on. He's already on six grand a week. Yeah, he's... B plus maybe, but he'd cost us probably well over. It actually probably cost um closer to seven or eight million, I guess. And we can't sign him yet anyway. And he's already on seven grand a week. So the type of kind of players was he born on the leap year? That's sick. Uh yeah, where is J Lo actually? Let me find J Lo. We were uh we did it look we did look earlier for Harley and Mike, but they weren't available. Uh right. I'm trying to work out how FM actually sorts this, even though you do it automatically. Uh there we go, J-Lo. Yeah, Sarah Tudvari, J-Lo's playing for. Seven, six goals for J-Lo. To be fair, I don't know whether that's good or bad for the third tier, if I'm honest, but he has at least played some football there, which is more than I would have expected, honestly. So good for him. It's good for J-Lo to get some money. Well, not money. He's not earning a lot of that. And he's capped. He might even get a Philippines cap, potentially. Maybe. Oh, look at that. Velasquez putting in the tens. Oh, yeah, we're getting Mothra, aren't we? Youngster. Ah, this is going to be one of these then. Oh, it very much isn't. Christ. I might just try and extend this contract really long. Yeah. Because there's not a lot I can do there. He's got caps. So five years of him. Yeah, he played for Lau in the Philippines. Odd. We'll bring him in. He'll join us in the summer. So he'll be another one for the loan farm. He's actually a pretty competent player though. But I feel like for him, he's probably like a four-star player for most of the Hungarian sides. So... Even if his potential ceiling isn't much higher than what he is, his actual current setting, setup, if you like, is really solid. Any first teamers? Pushkas again. Playing for the full... But I mean, he's already got seven caps for Hungary now, Pushkas. Next season might be the year to bring him back. But we do still have Diaz and Navarro in that spot. You're right, we were looking at Laos, weren't we? And he was like the only player at their club. Because we were looking for the national team and for some reason the club came up before the national team did. Having Moles needs a rest. What does he need a rest from? So he's had a week off. God, Flavian. Lazy bastard. Uh, Verob's not playing often enough. Little six win there. Cool, sick. And uh, Chris Ellis is actually going. So they'll get... Okay, so that's a player that... We, he was on like nine grand a week here, to be fair. So he's going to go mandatory as well. They'll give us over a million pounds for him. Which, do you know what? For a player that never really played for us, and I mostly just signed because he was free and all right. It's not too bad. Time to tie, but Diaz has still been so good. But maybe next year there'll be more competition for places. Particularly as Pushkas will be a homegrown, at least trained in nation player for us. And with Navarro there as his kind of natural successor, it, it's a tough one. Right, so we've got Kekschmet, then Porto midweek. And also we've got uh, next-gen day as well. I wonder how many next-gens we're going to have. We've had 10 was the most we've had so far, I think. I am curious to see if we can beat that this year. We've got so very many players... And a lot of them are playing. Like, regularly getting football as well. And we've signed some pretty good players over the last year that have found game time, like Radojicic and Anthony Mohamed as well. Uh, Lamini... And he'll still... It baffles me that this man has six Hungarian caps. Uh, we won, Zikoi. Well, we didn't. We drew three all, but we did go through. Which is the main thing. And we play Porto. At the end of next week. Or the middle of next week, rather. Which is mental. Yeah, actually, well, we might as well start getting your predictions in now, chat. Because it's going to be on the day of the Kexchmet game, right? 
So we'll get the next gen thing in before the Kekschmet game. Yeah, they must be completely devoid of good Hungarian left backs or something. Because if Angyal, who I think he's still oh, on a second. No, the Euthan takes in uh, March, 9th of March. Bap JW, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, sick. I reckon. Wait, what? Secure the title. I think we'll probably be all right, given that we are what twenty points clear with the game in hand. I think we might just get it over the line. I reckon. I'm gonna go boring. I'm gonna go Wales Man United. That's my prediction. I reckon Wales Man United, but he's on loan somewhere or something. Hello, PSV man. He's intriguing. Uh, oh, wow. There's just so little that they're actually getting rid of these days. Every report now is just like 60 guys. Most of them, we still haven't got the knowledge that we need of. Oh, I, damn. Shit. I meant to um, discard those, not acknowledge them. There's still only a few of these guys are actually... It's like they're not letting us... Oh, for God's sake. Get, get past reasonable a lot of these guys weirdly now which didn't happen last season even though we have more scouts that's a little concerning uh right a bit of that okay you will and wait free though actually he's not got bad tackling he's not had bad tackling actually we'll come back to these guys we'll get to the, we'll do the um the next gen first because they'll still be there do not uh, hate ooh. Me. Uh, i am familiar with over six hundred Ronald? Games thank you very much for the follow program to get so it should be there it is. Right, okay. Okay, so what did I say? I said Man United Wales. So what we do, for those of you that are new, what we do on every time there's a next-gen day, we pick the club and the nationality of the player that's going to be number one. Uh, I have once got it dead right with Deportivo. Uh, I I'm going to check in later, I reckon. I just wanted to do this first, otherwise I'd forget. And He's not going anywhere because I didn't delete him from the scout report. Okay. And... Ooh! Mexico Santos Laguna! Tuvalu, Borenwood. How many did we have? Uh, that feels like a lot. Ten again, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, nine. We got nine. That ain't bad. All right then. Let's have a look at some of these chaps then. So this is Guadalupe Escoto. Yeah, there's a he. Oh, actually, not even that expensive either. Wages look fairly low. Don't mind a bit about him. Bruno Alves here at Passos de Ferreira. Oh, look at the physicals. For, oh, he's very good. Oh, oh, actually, he's very good. If that composure is anywhere near 14. Hmm, he's intriguing. I like him. Then there's Hamidi, obviously, is the, uh, the standard Liege guy who's an absolute monster. Like, look at the state of him. How has he not got Belgium caps already? Uh, Velazquez, number four. Sufi in there as well. An Algerian. Oh, that's the guy, isn't it? That we nearly signed. Raul Fathami. We just chose not to be there because he was too expensive. Uh, then there's Vidal. Boring. Uh, oh, hey. Ozan Uzturk of Italia Spore. Considering he's not one of the big, 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 big Turkish sides, he might actually be more affordable. And another one straight after um, Kashin Pasa. Okay, Turkey really representing this time. Uh, Vesely. That's the guy we lost out to uh, Inter on, if you remember. We tried to sign this guy around about the same time as we signed Suhi. Disappointing. Okay, any other fun ones? Fisher, he won't be affordable because it's Dortmund. Not even that good either. Uh, Marquez at Sporting. Yeah, he's... Oh, wow, he's very good. Uh, Paz, just Guillaume Paz. Another one, solid one. Uh, we've got Tornier here. Uh, and... Oh, he's a, yeah, he's on loan from PSG. Boring. Pushkas is in there again. Nakanishi. Hey, look! That's interesting. The Farkash... The Farkashan... Farkashan is in there too. He's developing really... I'm really glad we... I know we thought we might have spent over the top on him. I actually think that he's developing really well. His attributes are looking really tasty. Considering he's still only 18. I think maybe future Romanian international for him. He's... Hmm. Good to see that he's doing well, though. Uh, Kral. That's the Wojtek Kral. That centre-back who's kind of a bit of everything. Still maybe more of a DM, though. Uh, Bogos Yildirim. Oh, he's on from Bayern. God damn it. Ralph's in there too. Radojic, Martinez. Not bad. Oh, actually, no, he is quite bad. This is quite a loud song for some reason. Uh, Kuzman at Terranova's in there. Hang on. It feels like we have more than it says we do. Is it because it's only counting players that are actually at the club at the moment? And not counting the loanies? Wow. Plays for Lecce. That's kind of sick. He's very good. Obviously, we can't afford him. But Fernell. Drew Fernell at Spurs. Interesting. Oh, it's because he played for QPR before. 
So he has actually got football. Teixeira. 19, but still very good. Tissier as well. That's a, uh, De Bretzen have got a guy. They've got Alexander. They've got one of the French. He was a French amateur player that signed for De Bretzen. And now that's amazing. A French amateur dude. Dusan Jovic. But the problem is with the Austrian size, they're a pain in the ass with that. Castrati, he we looked at him before, haven't we? Uh, Barboni. Ooh. Guido Teal. I think I've really, we must have looked at him before. I'll have a look at him. I think his value would just be way too high. <gasps> Norwegian. Håkon Vidringstad. Don't mind a bit of him. Goalkeeper. Good reflexes. Good one-on-ones. Area reaches up for grabs, potentially. And then they've got Titty. Chat, I found Titties. 19 years old. Wow, he's quite cheap, actually. Skeller. We've looked at him before as well, I think. But I'll, I'll get another report on him. Why not? Well, those prank names. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Zhang Vaimin. And I... An Irish? A Chinese striker slash what the fuck? Chinese striker slash right winger slash centre mid slash DM? In what world is he a DM? Segunda Valente, anybody? That's bizarre. Uh, Mihai? Oh, well, Mihai. We like a Mihai around these parts. Can't play Carlion. Don't you dare put him in cam. Oh, a Peruvian. Yes, please. Uh... And, nah, maybe not. Regista could be, I suppose. Turbeck. Eyes on loan from Pushka. Ooh. Okay, intriguing. And then Uruguayan as well. Yep, yeah, no, definitely worth another look. Nice. True, it's weird that he's got like green familiarity with it. I'll see you later, Gunny. And then Yamada at the very end here. Oh, what a strange... He's got... Look how well-rounded he is as well. Weird. So yeah, it's only including... Wait, no, it's not included. No, it is, because, yeah, these loan players still count as us. Still, that's a good amount. I think we've done all right there. New contract on the horizon for Faye. Only three months. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Fuck it, yeah. Sort this out now. Might as well. I don't trust that he's going to join another Belgian side, uh, another Hungarian side, so I'll just offer him a long-term deal here. Get rid of that. Yeah, bud, sorry. Just to clarify, you will still take that deal. I'm not giving you a two-year contract extension. I'll give you more money. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. That's patient, is it? All right, whatever. We'll, we'll, that, we'll kick the can down the road. But I just wanted to sign a new deal. And we can't use extension clauses on him because obviously he's um got caps. Jordan Ross probably needs to get one as well, honestly. But I'll sort that out later. That's an off. That's a problem for off-stream, Matt. Okay, Kexmet, we're going to simp this. And prepare for the game against Porto midweek. Uh, bloody hell. Yeboa and Pereira. And then we'll start with Navarro there. I want Effie and Ari in the midfield if I can. Just to make sure we're fully ready for it. But no, yes, we are. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll do Terranova. And then... I want Dala at right. Wow, I can't believe how much he's fallen out of favour there. And then those two will just kind of have to do whatever they want, really. <laughs> That'll do. Right, we'll see that so we can actually get to the Porto game. Sick. Watch this be the one game we lose this season now at home against Kek Schmidt. In the senior squad, uh, none, I don't think. Other than, obviously, our best Hungarian player isn't even playing for us at the moment, actually. He will be soon, but not yet. 3 0. Navarro, sushi. Nice. But yeah, we're going to be. We should hopefully be able to get it done, fellow. Yeah, that's the plan. A roll. It's uh, an anchor. Ah, now he's. Oh, I didn't even realize I promised him that. But apparently I did. Finally got a good news and take. Yeah, we haven't had one in like three years uh, now. They've been okay. They've not been the sort of quality that we had towards the beginning, though, sadly. Because they were really something. Some of those initial ones. We do have Bents Fair. This is true. I almost forgot about poor Bents. He's done well actually carving himself out of career as just being a pro Hang on, sorry. Hang on, we've got to revisit that news article. What did that just say? What's your reaction to Andrei Shevchenko talking about signing Wiggly? If you want to sign Wiggly, he's not even that bad, but like, really? Really? All right, you can have my Wiggly. I didn't realize Wiggly had such a momentum. 
he's actually not bad attribute wise his stars are terrible but attribute wise he's not bad it's just surprising to me that they're after wiggly like that and nicholas bedner for the seventh consecutive year has failed to gain his coaching <laughs> coaching badges this just in along with water is wet okay i think the, the bottom two are kind of nailed on still but i do wonder if Kishvala could keep actually if anyone's likely to stay up i wonder if it's actually meshkovish another window for Uipesh. that helps oh damn it debretson have got ahead of molfehavar now mol could you not you got to the knockouts of the europa conference league we need you to be in there next year too so you can do it again we don't have enough of six teams yet gash you wants to come back from seged absolutely not you'll stay where you're given and like it yeah, he's quite happy with his current station. He just does not want any more coaching. I, I want to see how long we can keep Nicholas Bender at this club in this say, and see whether he ever... Because I don't think he's ever going to get a coaching badge. Oh, we've given us extra scout. And a lot of extra coaches, which is probably quite useful given the 121 players we have. Their coaching workload is uh, in the cup. Oh, I don't know. I have loads of the cup. Uh, no, the, the final actually is between us and Pakshi of all people. Javier, he's still knocking about. He's not getting. I want to get him alone. That's my plan for, for Big Javier. Oh. The longest screen in the world. God, I'm not looking forward to the loan extension screen. That's going to be hell. Right. Cool. Uh, 2 0 to. Okay, wow. Surprisingly, the lesser spotted not scoring Mbappe in that game for once. Okay, Porto. Oh. Imagine if we somehow got through. Like, the thing is, somehow got through. We beat Porto already. Um, They did smalls, but we're not sure if FM actually implemented it properly. Because clearly, it's not valid here. Wasn't the league just the cup? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We beat Porto in... We've already beaten them this season. And looked good doing it. So, Suhi, yeah, I wish we had an airing at this. We sort of do. Do you know what? I'm actually going to start airing because Suhi has not impressed me coming into this. And I feel like he needs to play. Because for whatever reason, Suhi just doesn't suit this style at the moment. We'll figure out why. We'll do a proper comparison. We'll do a deep dive in the summer. And I, Alvar, Montiel, Abdul Nabi, that's fine. These two, I'm loving the Yoshi and Velazquez partnership now. Silver and Malero. Silva's put up some good time. Like, his last five games, he's actually smashed it. And I want to kind of ride off the back of that as Pereira... Then again, his last five games have been even better. Now, we'll keep Pereira off the bench. Oh, no. Poor Bench. He's the only man that doesn't make the bench out of this squad. Is poor old Bench Feheva. Feheva? Feher. Uh, okay. Let's just go, I guess. Yes, yeah, so we might still get a little bit of leeway with the whole loan thing. We might even get leaked leap next year. You never know. And let's be honest, I wouldn't be opposed to just changing it. Yeah, the Euthanite was Gash, uh, unfortunately, Stribs. Uh, so I normally finish about three, but today we want to make sure that we get the second leg of the Porto tie done after this first leg here. So it'll be around about three, but it could be longer if we have to like... I'm happy to go longer if we need to. Obviously, if we get through again, then we won't... The next stream won't be transfer. It will be... Semi-finals and good shit. Oh shit, who was the ref? Uh, it's Paolo Valeri. The referee is Paolo Valeri yet again. This man cannot escape us. The skin, it is... Uh, exclamation, it's it's uh, SAS23. Exclamation mark skin. So which one of our players is going to get wrongly sent off in this game? Is my question. Uh, so, apparently, Porto have just decided to just never give us the ball. I suppose already beating Liverpool with Harry Kane. Wow, this has been dreadful here. I uh, might not have to worry about going late today if the game is not going to have any highlights in it. You see what I mean? Ehring's on a 6.7 here. Suhi would already be down to like 6.5 by now, I would have thought. 0-0 away would actually be good. Uh, in the end, we drew 3 all at the Bernabeu. So it meant we got we went through 6-5. I would try and make some changes to try to get the win here, but truth be told, I'm just happy with... If we took a 0-0 draw here, that would be fine. We know we're better at home. If we are able to scrape something here, then that's fine. I am going to freshen up the wide players, though, because Malero, for all of his good work this year, I think we need this extra flair of Yeboah and um, Pereira. 
Nakanishi's had a great game. Diaz has struggled a little bit, and so has Airing, but I'll leave it one something now. Usually this triggers an almost instant highlight, I find. But apparently not. Oh, there it is. What do you reckon? Porto score with their first chance of the game? Unless, unless... Oh, oh no, wait. I don't know how he didn't want the ball there, but apparently Yaboa's just going to keep going. He's fired it long. Erring might win the flick on? No. But we've got a chance here. No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, in games like this, I tend to just sort of lift off and just sort of see. Oh, here we go. Oh, what on earth was that pass? Right, this is them scoring. It's shelled up. What a save. Holy shit, wow, what a save. What was that pass from Velazquez? He had all the time in the world to look up and find the perfect pass there, and he just played it straight to them. And unfortunately, it's FM dropping frames again, not the stream, sadly. What an insane save. I look like it hit him on the head on the way through. Mad. Take racks. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, once Raul leaves, we're going to have to make sure there's someone in behind him, but it's just going to be hard to know how to trust. But now I might get Suhi uh, on for a bit, and also Navarro. He's looking aggressive. He has played well, though. They've both played well, to be fair. But Alvarado's played better than Montiel, but he is also knackered. And we've got Flavian Moores. There you go. Let's do it. Stick or twist. I think we just stick. Oh, hang on a minute. Imagine. Ball in. Clear. No, no come on. That's fine. They only have one guy up. In fact, we might be able to do, th we might be able to do them with the second phase. That's it. Just simple control. Keep that ball. Everybody's back in position. Here we go. Abdul Nahi. Abdul Nahi. Look at the space. He's going to shoot, isn't he? This man irritates the shit out of me when he does that. What attribute? Have you got a PPM that says, is a dickhead? Or has he got like really low work rate or something? No traits. He just, he constantly ignores the shoot less often thing more than any other player in this team. Uh... Well, I've had the same settings ever since I started streaming FM slash slides and I haven't touched them, so... Unless they've touched something at the latest update, which they clearly have, because other people have been having the same problem. Particularly in Champions League matches. Because you'll notice how the, the ad boards are broken. Oh, imagine if we scored here. <laughs> imagine if we scored here! We're taking our time over it. Ah, oh, that's bad. Right, that's it. Interception, yes! Oh, that's dangerous. Unless your ball can turn. Spins inside for Pereira. It's in. It's Porto nil. MTK Budapest 1. We're doing it again. Oh, it's teamwork. You're right. What was his teamwork? 12. Same as his work rate. Instead of automatic, but... Sorry, hang on. Where is this? There. This might be a huge error. Watch this now. Watch the game now crash. <laughs> oh, come on! This was, look at this crunching tackle there from Nakanishi, and then just beautiful fit again. Goalkeeper. Oh, is that the Moroccan goalkeeper? The Moroccan international keeper. Oh dear. Yeah, I like this empty. I think this is actually our third kit. That's why you won't see it very often. I think this is actually our third kit because we've got a blue kit and a white kit and obviously uh, Porto playing blue and white. So yeah, we're, I think we're using our third kit here. We don't see it very often, but it's nice. I like the orange accents on it. Oh no, that's even worse. Do you see what I mean? Is that Patson Dacker from Rebel Salzburg? Oh, what a save. Yeah, that's made no difference. If anything, it looks like it's more shaky. Oh, Pereira's... Hey, there's the red card. He scored the goal and now he's about to get red carded. <laughs> Or not. Maybe the mystery human being. I'll have to change that after. In fact, I'm going to change this now because otherwise I will forget. And I know that it works fine on automatic. Well, it doesn't work. Majority of the time it works fine. 120. Well, I mean, that would be pointless for me because I don't have 120. My monitors are only 60 hertz. And... Just do that for the moment. Just so we've got a reasonable squad. And then we'll just dump these all back, you know. Just go full time waste. It's fine. It's it only changed when they did the latest update. It has to be something to do with something they broke there because the ad boards in Europe don't work properly either. Um, uh, we're going to concede, aren't we? It's it's going to happen. That red card is. Oh my god! How on earth did we get away with that? Oh, surely not. Come on, just end the match, please. If we concede a 95th minute equaliser here, which wouldn't be the first time, remember. 
we we have we conceded twice in stoppage time to Porto in the first season in Europe. He took a nice bit of time wasting there from a die as well. Ooh. Oh, I was hoping that was going to be like a balancing out job. Right, come on. Are we done now? Still playing. We are still playing. We're going to end up in the 96th minute. And die is doing a wonderful job at time wasting. Oh, please don't get red carded for time wasting. <laughs> Why was that highlight necessary? Porto nil, MTK won. We've won in Portugal. And now we get the home game against them with a chance for a Champions League semi. Holy hell. It really didn't like their stadium for the frame rate, did it at all? But again, it wasn't the stream for once. It was actually... I can see the fraps, uh, the little thing in the top corner here that shows me the frame rate. We've done it. We've we've won in Portugal. Pereira's going to be suspended, but... Hey. More coefficient points, exactly. That brings us to 16.3 now. So we're still number four, right? Yep. We've got more than France this year. It's the Adborgs is definitely the thing. Turn the crowd down again. It's not the crowd. Um, Like... We know it worked prior to update. Ergo, the only the only variable that has changed is the update. That's therefore that is probably most likely Occam's razor the thing that has broken it. You know, and there's nothing I can do about that. That's FN or SI rather. Um, that's annoying that he's been suspended, but he was at least only a substitute. I can't believe we won. I feel like we should watch us now lose two 0 at home with two like horrendous own goals. More. De I mean, could you positively develop the ability to pass the ball? Awesome. That would be awesome. It's almost like he's too fast for his own good. Okay, right. So, here we go. Uipesh Celtic. Not really, Prepo, no. It was a pretty bad one. Oh, thick. Let me guess. Let me guess. Another absolute muggery. No. Emphatic no. Wow, that's really bad. Like, really bad. Mole played better than that in their first leg against Celtic. Wow. Did you not just not turn up? Jockey Monster even played. Pareto had a great game somehow. Uh, yeah, that was just trash. <laughs> what about Ferenc Varos? Only lost 1-0. Although Aguilar being sent. Oh, he's a striker. That They're not dead yet. They're not dead yet. That's the nationality of the Jamaican national team manager. I'm going to say Trimbagonian. Because reasons. Um, God, if it carries a lot of this, we might not actually be... Ah, now I can have a look at that guy from PSV while we're here. Ah, we must be getting close to... Oh, no. Uh, wow. The Jamaican manager... That's kind of sick. Oh, I did it again. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Okay, it's a lot more extensive than it now, which is good. It means we're actually making the right direction, moving the right direction on those, finally. And of course. Oh. That's so annoying. It feels like it's the same players I'm seeing every time. It's like, could you maybe, like, scout them a bit further? Face Dan, I've heard it's lovely this time of year, true. So he's expensive. He's not that expensive. Five minutes. Well, he is. He'd be a record signing, literally. And I actually think that Velasquez is genuinely better than him. Right, let's have a look at the PSG guy. PSV guy. I mean, he's he's good. Don't get me wrong. But he's also, he's actually not that good. Mentals just aren't really there for the most part. Physicals aren't really that great either. He's five foot two. Wow, he's a very short. He's a short king. Not even that quick. He's certainly not worth that kind of price. Even why is he an A minus player? Is that because it's a loan and they're rating it as a loan instead of a buy? Because he's not that good. That's the wrong player. I've just looked at the wrong player, haven't I? Yes, yes, I have. I've just clicked off a player that I wasn't. Damn it! Didn't want to see the national the player that I was just looking at up there. The guy is Hookstra. At temperamental, Ajax expensive. Occasionally, you can find some really busting deals from even the big sides in the Netherlands. He's just not it. Uh, that's that. It's a Korean goalkeeper with a huge punch. Oh, it's an actual regen face. Nah, he's not great. He's a D after all. Yusuf Cohen. Amateur at Willem Twait. Okay. I think he is worth a pickup, right? If he's cheap. On a freebie from Willem Twait. Goodish tackling. Good crossing. Solid acceleration. Six foot two as well. Marking's not great. But I think for the other sides, he could be quite fun. Just want to throw into the loan farm again. Provided he's not like moon money. Plus with him being Dutch. The use of Cohen does make me wonder if he's maybe got like Israeli second nationality or something. Potentially. 
We'll see. That should be enough to get him a five-year boat, right? Yep, nice. I do wonder if he's got... Nope, born in Harlem. Nice. wonder if he knows that shake. Uh, to Kakovic. No crossing. Goodish tackling. Not already got the speed. Although he really is quite cheap. Ah, he's only 16. I don't think he's ever going to be amazing in the future, to be honest. Right, Costin. Okay. And then Gonch. Uh, sorry. And then Gonch with 14 pace. And good balance as well. He's intriguing. He's definitely one for the few. He's one to keep an eye on, shortlist wise, because he's only 16. But it's weird that you see a, 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 the game describe a player as an Ngonch if they've, only, if they've got 14 pace. Usually that means. Whenever I see Ngonch there, I usually think, great passing, no speed. He chooses not to. That's a good point, true. Yeah, he's just a lazy player, and he's just a bit eh. Got Navarro with his 10 out of 10 in training as well. See you later, Carl. Okay, so Honvid, we will sim. Back for Porto. Yeah, they accelerate. Even so, I'm used to seeing like single digits when players are described as in Gonch. <laughs> Ryan Rydell. And unfortunately, he's not in the database. Must be from a lower league, potentially. Okay, so we rotate. I'll let him rotate a little bit here anyway, because he'll just do it. Uh, right, so Pereira will start this game because he can't play the next leg, and I want Yaboa to start here too for the same reasons. Navarro's already in. Effie's in there too. I want Ari. Nakanishi's not starting by any means. We want Terranova, Dala, Montiel, and Jarju. That's perfect. Flawless victory. Well, we await. Particularly with that back line of Inter. God, I love playing against Honvi because it's like, yes, they're finally, they understand the program. League 2, it's weird. League 2 should have shown up because I actually turned on the lower... Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I turned on English Top Flight and then I specifically turned on the National League South to get access to Regan Booty. Oh, sorry, Luna. I missed that. Yeah, so we're trying to get hungry to the top of the league rankings. That's the plan anyway. Uh, and so, yeah, a red card for Jarju. You'd love to see it. Not that we haven't considered a goal in the league in a while, it feels like. In fact, have we considered a goal in the league at, at all today? Nope. We haven't conceded a single goal today outside of the European games. It's all the domestic games have been clean sheets. We're looking to finish off pretty damn strong. Yeah. Because we checked earlier, it was at eight, and it's still at eight. Major TV deal. Maybe. I don't know if Hungary's license or not. Uh, but I'd, be loved, I'd love to know. Like, the sponsorship income seems to have remained pretty stagnant. Actually, I don't know. It's hard to say, right? That one draw, yeah, well, bear in mind it would be identical to last year where we had a singular draw then as well. We had a draw against Kishvada last year that cost us the chance of a flawless season. That being said, we are now on a very, very long unbeaten run. I think it's into the 70s, might even be 80 games unbeaten we're now. We're at now, which is... Again, because of so how, how early in the save we are, I'm surprised. Does Ferris Farris now lose again? Oh, and Mulferver are now back up into the top five. Excellent news. Uwe Pesh win. They're guaranteed second spot now for me. Pushkas beat Kishvada and mud them firmly now. Yeah, they're going down. Uh, oh, Derek Osai, he's not going to want to stay there. I suspect that we might end up with a load of uh, players coming back from Kishvada because they might not want to go back out and loan to them if they've just been relegated. So people like Derek, for example, and probably even Raymond's Crollis. Yeah, there's like some semi-licenses. Like, basically, there is the chance that... Imagine if we actually got a decent... T an actual TV deal in this save. Things that was completely missing from the last save. That could change everything. If that happens, it would be... the the final piece of the puzzle, honestly. And I wouldn't be surprised. Like, all the things we've expected to not happen in this save have, in, in a good way. Teams are making sensible signings from the off. They're actually performing in Europe. Um, new contract for you. Yusuf Cohen's going to sign for us in the summer as well. Lots of competition between around you. Oh, bear in mind, um, Luna, we're not actually trying to dominate the, the league. <laughs> this is just happening as a downside of that. Um all the players we're loading to them are allowed to play against us. We actually changed the rules of the league to specifically allow it so that the players could play against us with the idea of making the league more competitive. It's just that tactically at the moment, we've become so good that it's causing this at the moment. So actually, there's, it's way more balanced than it was on our last save where the teams would have like 15 loanees from us and they could not play against us at all. Okay, so we want airing again. Even though he's lacking a bit of fitness. He'll have a bit more than last on the Malero, Diaz, Silva, Nakanishi, Velazquez. Yes, lovely. And a space on the bench for Vence. 
<laughs> it's not that we're just incredible. It's just that, bear in mind, they are a lot stronger than you might think they are, is, what, is my point. Like, they are actually performing really, really well in Europe. But the league rep doesn't actually matter. Um, it would have mattered on our last day, but this time around, it just seemingly doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this. Porto were one up from the first leg. Anything but a defeat at home against Porto sees us reach the Champions League semi-finals. Which is mental. And means that I'll have to readjust my plans for the rest of the stream week. Because if we get through here, there will it won't be transfer window on Thursday. It'll be semis and beyond. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it as it is. Like, we should be better. We should be the better side. We beat them already this season in a really comfortable performance at home. We've already beat them away from home as well now. And now we're already failing to do it at home. Good. We're about to get FM, aren't we? In the same way that we did it to Real Madrid. This game has got, you are going to get 2.5 XG and not score. Written all over it. So within four minutes, the lead's already been wiped out with Porto's first opportunity of the match. Yeah, I'll have to have the prepared blue of pineapple because there wouldn't be time to do an entire stream for that. We're going to get a better stadium uh, when they build it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm the manager. I'm not in charge of construction. It's Felix Brick is actually the ref. Yeah, I reckon penalty and a red card feels like it's on the cards for sure. Oh, look, na naturally, we're going to play like shit today for, some, for no reason. Like, we played them we played them off the park here when we beat them in the group. We've even beat them away from home. No, no, we've got plenty of time. Let's have positive thoughts. We'll, we'll take this. I was expecting that to be the red card. Although, you're right. I am expecting red card and penalty. Right. Airing. He hasn't scored for a little while, actually. So maybe he can turn, turn on the quality here. Loads of bodies arriving. Oh, go on. Yoshi, bend it. Oh, no. Velasquez. Wait, 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 wait. That is insane. Also extremely unrealistic. But whatever. It's one all. We've got it. Come on. Brandon Silva with an extremely ridiculous header. <laughs> Honestly. That's so unbelievably hilarious. But we'll take it. Because why is the keeper not coming to claim this? I mean, he sort of... How has he done that? But hey, it's a goal. We'll take it. Brandon Silva with another one. Yeah, I can see that now. Um, I love that it's clickable as well. Noddy, thank you for the follow. Okay, so we get back. I think we've deserved of the lead again. Um, their move. But we are going to have to sort of work our way into this game because it doesn't... Something doesn't feel right. You know when you just kind of get a vibe about a match? I'm getting that vibe now. Blah. Bloody hell. Well, he hasn't scored much before that either. He's actually not having a very good game either. Now there's Malero, but that's fine because we've got Yakubu Yaboa. I think we've started to take... We've only had one shot on target, which is a bit concerning. I'm just going to praise them and get them the nice big green bit. I might just turn off Workborn in the box for the second half. Because we're not doing that well. In I want us to just be able to take our chances. I want a player to be able to look up and just ping one over the top for airing occasionally. But I don't want to make too many more changes beyond that because we're, we're doing okay. If it's a boring game, it's a boring game. Okay, now would be a good time though, I think, for Suhi. And Yaboa. And actually Dala. We'll make us stronger defensively and Abdul Nabi just wasn't having much of a good game. 25 minutes. Second half has been... I think they've had one shot, maybe, and it looked like a low-quality chance. We seem like we've been the better side in the second period. Okay, they're bringing it a little bit now. Okay, this is going to be interesting. After this highlight, we might have to start trying to slow it down a little bit and just trying to take the sting out of the game a little. Unless, of course, it's them scoring, of course. But hopefully, it's going to be us playing out from the back brilliantly, finding a wonderful opportunity to score a goal. We need to get this to Nakanishi. There. All right, now, this is more like it. Silver can cut inside. He's got runners. One of them is Suhi. He's in behind. He's got to use the pass. Oh, no way. No way. No way. <gasps> he really should have slid Yaboa in there. Trying to dink the keeper from there. Although, admittedly, were that to have been on target, it would have been a goal because the keeper was not getting that. Um, Little bit overambitious there, considering we were only one goal up in the tie. <laughs> Probably don't need to be players trying to do that yet. Silver, he's got support. Look at the space out wide. Ah, Dala couldn't quite make the run. Ooh. I am very worried about this last 10 minutes here. We're playing nice. We look composed on the ball, but it just takes one misplaced pass for them to score, as we know. Right, he's in again. Don't try and dink the keeper this time, Suhi. Oh, it's a miss. That was a big chance again. We're going to regret that, aren't we? Nope, Silver. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, every time I'm about to make a change, it, I don't get the chance to. It's in. We're through. Porto. Insane. MTK3, Porto 1. He scored the most important goal against Real Madrid, and he may well have just done it again now. I can't believe it. We're going to be in a Champions League semi at this rate. Brahim with a great ball in. Alvarado with his eight. He outjumped three Porto defenders to get their header. <laughs> what a season. Yeah, you're right. I probably just jinxed it, haven't I, by saying we're through. Right, keeper? Keeper? No, not keeper. But you're right. Porto have scored twice in stoppage time against us. What am I doing? Oh, that's a lovely touch. Although, Brahim with a bit of space. Finds and die. That's fine too. We did one good pass. Yaboa! It's four. <laughs> it's 4-1. Yakubu Yaboa are off the bench. Now, I think I can say we are through to the Champions League semi. We're going to be in a Champions League semi-final. That's mad. Lovely pass from Ndai. Like, so many runners, and he picks Yakubu Yaboa out, and he's composed, brings it down, pokes it home. I can't believe this. We've got some very fortunate ties at draws. Actually, have we, though? Dortmund won a muggy side by any means. Real Madrid was certainly not an easy draw. And we mugged them off. But then we got our reward for the next round, which was the Porto game. Imagine if there was another goal here. Brahim. Oh, what a touch. What a touch to take around the defender there. And die. Velasquez. Oh! <laughs> it's going to be offside, but fuck me. <laughs> what a lovely bit of football. Imagine if this counts. Uh, it's going to count. It's awarded. It's 4-1. Look at this football. Brahim with his touch here. Spreads it out wide. Then just bang, bang, bang. One touch stuff. Velasquez with a perfect... Little... Oh, look at that. 4-1 in the end. Wow. I think Porto must have just gone all out attack kind of thing. And we're just picking through at the end. I mean, he's offside. <laughs> the line was not drawn from where his body was. It was his foot. But sure, why not? Uh, yeah, just the MTK Budapest... what I say? 2.5 XG? His head was about three yards offside. <laughs> they drew it from his back foot. But sure, we'll take that. Uh, MTK Budapest 5, Porto 1. We're in the Champions League semi-final. To be fair, my prediction was that we'd create 2.5 XG and not score. And in fact, we overperformed it. I can't believe we're in a Champions League semi. <laughs> uh, it's much harder to get to the semis as well. We actually don't know who next. I don't think it's drawn it. Um, or has it? Um, that's a bit perturbing. Another 9 million. Oh, Liverpool. We got Liverpool. Okay. I hate that there's no draws. So we play Liverpool in the Champions League semi-final. Uh, wait, no. Wednesday sat. We won Wednesday sat. Sick. I can't believe it. It's still Klopp. I think so, yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, it's Daniel... You know, chat is... We've got the topics, chat. The topic of discussion is going to be what? Daniel Farker, Liverpool manager. Came as... Uh, so he was... Krasnodar then to Gladbach, then to Germany, then Liverpool. Salah, yeah, he must be fairly... 36. He's fairly 36. But still got such high natural fitness that he'll keep going for a few more years. I can't believe that. So that's another win. That pushes us to 16.9 points. And there's still, don't forget, 12th of April. Which we are going to find out what's happening in those today. Because we have to. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't leave you on that kind of cliffhanger, Chato. Worry not. Well, okay, so it looks like it's not going to be. Transfer window stream on Sunday, apparently, it would seem. I'd prepared as if that wasn't going to be the case this time around, but it looks like it is. Where is... That's a good point. I bet you he's like Germany manager or something. Or Bayern. There you go, Germany manager. Play with Edja. I'm not playing with Edja. I, I just attended the match so that it reminded us to check the Europa League scores on the day. So that way it brings us to the match menu so I can then hit continue and it will show us the score straight away. Uh, oh, damn. That's not good for Harvard. Rather quickly, though. To get not to Liverpool. Yeah, but we still have other games. There's still like six league games left, too. So that's eight matches right there. Who won the last World Cup? I Wasn't that a surprise winner, if I recall? Uh, let's just check this first. And a cup final. Yeah, so there's, nine, there's still nine games left in the season, minimum. 
And it means if we do get to the to the Champions League final, we'll still do that the same day. We won't like do it as its own thing. Um, right. Okay. A miracle for Uipest? Probably not. Right. Nah, that's unfortunate. McGregor and Haksibanovic with the goals. It's really just Ferenc Farish. Ferenc Farish are not going to be able to get anything against Ajax, are they? Oh, no. They held on till the 80th minute. So that's... We're officially the last member of the Hungarian um, contingent. Though they did still get points for playing there. Look, that went up to 17.1. Um, even though they both lost. So they must get some kind of allocation points for reaching that round or something. Because it was a 16.9 after our result. Then it's up to 17.1. Oh, hang on. What's that us? You won. I did win, yes. Like I said. But we checked after the win and it was 16.9. The win is worth 0.4. So it can't be that. Um, the win, a draw is worth 0.2, which is what that would have accounted for. So that has to be points for like getting to certain stages or something. Leave it harder, Christian. <laughs> Your voice took one out. They really did. Just in the latter stages. Make database adjustments. Yes, we made a couple of minor database adjustments at the very start. Um, the bit, well, I see. The, so the database adjustments were the one that makes the league harder, although that hasn't actually played out, in that it allows it, it forces it so that any loan player we loan is, is by like, is hard coded to be able to play against us rather than us having to insert that into every contract manually. That was the one thing. And the other thing we did was we made it so that Hungary, Hungary was considered a first world country because, of course, it was just weird that FM does that. But it, that was more for fun. But that really only affects things like signing, uh, signings. Sorry, a developed nation is what it was. Those are the two changes. Oh, fuck. Don't want to save game, uh, I already saved it, didn't I? I'm doing it again. Fuck it. Oh, come on. So, what that means for us, I can't believe this, is that on Thursday, we get the pleasure of... Wow, that... YouTube, that algorithm's got even madder today. Holy shit. If you haven't checked out the latest video, YouTube is telling you to. Holy crap. Uh, okay, let's see who's live. Oh, Ben's live. Uh, let's see. Why does it always filter back from English? That's what I thought. Um, oh, so maybe that's what it is, Jacosi, because that's the quarterfinal. Maybe it's only a small one. No, we didn't change the transfer preferences. Didn't have to. Uh, Hungary is the only nation in Europe, as far as I know, that doesn't have any set transfer preferences, which I think that is definitely a factor, but not because we changed it. Um... Because it actually happened to already have be set like that. Let's raid Alice. I think the reason it works so well with the transfers is because of the lack of transfer preferences. It makes a huge difference. Oh, mate. Oh, so, Thursday's stream chat is going to be Champions League semi-final against Liverpool. Rest of the league stuff. Maybe win a cup in there too. Have a bit of chill and maybe even do some like prep for the transfer window as well. Do you know what we could do after that, actually? We could do a bit of amateur scouting on Thursday as well. Because we won't get much of a chance to do it on Sunday. But we could do a lot of amateur scouting and stuff. And I know you lot love that shit, really. On Thursday after the Champions League. So, oh, it's going to be fun. Basically, making sure that this is variable. To be like, yeah, indeed. So, we're going to send you guys over to Alice. Uh, so we can tell, you, tell her about the wonderful things that we've just got up to. I can't believe we progressed through three rounds of Champions League today. That's mad. I get, And I have to put off the... Um, recap video till friday now <laughs> but that's fine by me i'm more than happy to do that i'll work on the tactics video tomorrow instead i'll see you guys soon uh hold your gun capybara thank you very much and i'll see you soon Bye bye <laughs>